the world spoke to me so clearly Every time I asked its name But I know now and I know dearly This world is not the same Though you came to rescue me Still I died in Saint Denis I left it all behind once Built me a home of friends I watched you tear it down once And you tore it down again But still I built that home to capture souls And they lived there on its walls Though this last time that you tore it down Was the first time it would fall So you came to rescue me I died in Saint Denis <laughs> Hey Snaps <laughs> <laughs> it's catchy, eh? <laughs> you came to rescue me, but I died. <laughs> Howdy. Corb's here with another Red Dead RP stream. As George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. <laughs> It's Taco Tuesday, so let's giddy up. <laughs> oh, I don't get it either, Snaps. Like, some people, like, it's like their life mission is to let everyone know, like, why is there a, why is there a song every time I've been the game? It's like, if you, ne if you never played, like, literally, like, any video game before, like, there's always, like, the opening, like, logos or, like, an intro cinematic or something. Or, like, what, do they just want a blank? dead quiet loading screen like just a still image like it's it's odd it's an odd thing it's odd people will complain about anything and i don't mind when people make legitimate com complaints as a chronic complainer myself <laughs> all right you came to rescue me but I died insane, Denis. Thanks a lot for not saving me, you prick. <laughs> Thanks for just letting me fucking die. <laughs> uh, sleep in at the old strawberry lodge. Luxury. Let's get down to old black water. Can you make a mute button? Well, get this right. There's actually a mute button on your fucking computer. <laughs> like, if you've got all your uh, audio levels set right, it shouldn't be blowing your ears off. And like, there's also there's also like ways you can control your your sound devices. <laughs> And your computer. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like someone um being like, do we have to have the, the 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 music and the text at the start of a Star Wars movie? Like, can we just? I don't like it. I don't think we should do that anymore. <laughs> what? Are you mad? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Don't like it. Oh no. Howdy, partner!
Howdy. Hello. Uh, did that, did that pig get in or do you, or just? Uh, no, this is a uh, black bear. Oh, was that a bear? Ah, uh, yes, a small uh, black bear. Oh, it got in trying to get the horse. Um, I, I, I this is uh, my horse. Um, I, I just saw a black bear in the pen, so I thought I might, uh, might uh, kill it. No, oh, yeah, get it out of the out of the pen. Yeah, no, good thing. I, I thought I, I, I wasn't sure what I saw, but that's a relief. Good. Uh no, yes. I, yeah, get uh, that out of there. Yeah, good stuff. Killing uh, livestock, uh, big no no. So. Uh, nah, nah. Yeah, bears should know better than to come creeping into pens. Nah, I just wanted to check, just make sure everything's all right. But good job, Bob. Uh, no, that is okay. Um, what, uh, what is your name? My name's uh, Sheriff George Hughes of the West Jurisdiction, and yourself? Uh, I am uh, Dakota of the uh, Iokawa. Oh, nice to meet you, Dakota. Yep, from uh, Wapiti? Uh, yes, uh, that is uh, where we are mostly. Oh, yeah, I recently, uh, recently uh, been uh, spending time with a uh, Ato Hinto from up there. He's a, he's a lovely young fella. Uh, yes, we went on a spirit walk with him and uh, showed my uh, how to do spirit walk. Oh, yes, um, yes. Yes, it was a good experience. Uh, but, uh, yes... Oh, that's excellent. I'm looking forward to uh, learning more about the uh, the culture in the next few weeks. But uh, uh, I better get yes. down to Blackwater because we better better get out on patrol, make sure everybody's okay before. It's, it is Taco Tuesday, after all. Uh, yes, I hear. Uh, yes, me and Maya were going to uh, look after the bison for a little while. Oh, while good. Uh, people that are heading down that way. Uh, and hopefully we maybe we'll catch someone uh, hunting bison. But oh, sure. I'll tell you, hey... I like to include in my patrol route every chance I get to stop by the bison herds. I, I, it does not sit right with me that people hunt them. It's just not on in, in my books. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that uh, greatly. It's a yeah. If you if you ever catch someone, you know, hunting the bison like that, and uh, and if, if you know any lore around, come drop them at our doorstep, and we'll happily help you process them. Because yeah, need to make an example of some people. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, thank you, uh, Sheriff. Ah, my pleasure. Just happy to help. But uh, yeah, I better get down to Blackwater, get to work, and uh, you have a great day. Nice to meet uh, you. Yes, good day. You too. I thought it was someone coming in and killing someone else's pig. There was a bear in the pen. Jesus. That's concerning. But now everything's good. <coughs> Oh my god, snaps, right, like, I'm, I have no idea, like, we have a plan of what we'd like to do tonight, but honestly, no idea how Taco Tuesday's gonna go, um, I, I expect things are gonna go wrong, I really do expect things are gonna go wrong, <laughs> um, yeah! I'm concerned, but well, it should be fun, right? It should be fun. Also, Saint, thank you for the lurk. Hope you've got a a magical Taco Tuesday ahead of you. <laughs> I ah oh, snaps. Yeah, I I I foresee there being a lot of drama. Um, I yeah. I think I think we're. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> It's gonna be a time. Like, will the whole country just converge on Armadillo? I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna play my part and just. Oh. Uh. Oh. Dear. Woodman's around. Oh, Parrot, thank you. I, I was like, which one is it? Let's try them all. <laughs> Let's try them all. I was like, howdy, Looper. How you going? Thank you, Looper. I hope you've got a magical Taco Tuesday ahead of you. Yo, Twerk. Yeah, it's Taco Tuesday. Oh, who knows how it's gonna go? Maybe it'll maybe it'll, it'll be fine. Maybe it will all be fine. Oh. Maybe nothing will go wrong. Oh 
Parrotfish, there's your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is the alert coming from out in the water? What kind of bullshit is this? Howdy. There you go, fella. Is hey, it, anybody here about the alert about getting robbed? There's a few gunshots just going off about there was three minutes gun, ago. Yeah, there was, yeah, yeah. Some, what is there? Someone down here just got robbed. Not you fellas? No, I don't think anyone got well, robbed here. No one's here. No one here? All right, I'll check these. Howdy, fellas. Anybody know about a robbery happening down here? No one no, seems to no have run off. Here? No, no, no robbery here. I've been here the whole time. Huh. Strange. Or is it this guy? At it, partner. Howdy. Dude, you happen to know about it? Uh, anybody getting robbed around here just now? Around here, no. Yeah, no. just got just got word that someone just got robbed down here, but there's, I've really just come across like eight people. No one's heard or seen a thing. I literally just caught the train in that second, sort of thing. Oh damn! Oh well, if they didn't see it, then I, I don't know. Maybe it was an accident. Oh, oh, well, thanks for thanks for your time anyway. Do you know who to look out for? No, no, just just that something bad happened here. But uh, yeah, right. That's all we got. Some... Somewhere down here at the dock. So I guess just. Keep your wits about you. Easy. Thank you, Sheriff. Huh. Who's messing me on Discord? Oh, yep, yep, yep. But you came to rescue me. Yet yeah, you let me die. Rest in peace. <laughs> Who's left a wagon here in the middle of the fucking road? They might have been on a boat mission. Who knows? But, like, it... I got there pretty quick, all things considered. I don't know. Probably people being shit. Okay. Is that a stepladder? Stepladder, what are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, stepladder? <laughs> Help me, stepladder, I'm stuck. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy gold. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all fucking night. <laughs> hey, look, there's no bodies on the ground yet. Got my fucking eye on you. Better check my telegrams. Oh god. Right, Twerk? Right? My god. We just don't have the numbers to deal with all this mob stuff. But then it's... I don't know. Is there, um... I'm just concerned about... You know, there's got to be the balance. Like, I'm all for, at the right times... There being, like, a large group of people present for a scene just to make it cooler. But then people also need to remember the numbers, the, the you know, the group limits for hostile activity. Um, 
I think that could get me getting out of hand. Like, you can't just be going everywhere as a big group. Um, and not be considering that hostile actions could happen if you're going around egging people on. Oh, that was yesterday. Whoops. Howdy, Toadfish. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I think so, Toadfish. I think so. Um, like, yeah, I think it's it's all well and good for people to be in large groups for, you know, your average scene. But they've got to have, they've got to have the hostile stuff in mind. Like, and I personally don't mind if sometimes there are hostile events where there's loads of people involved. Um, I personally wouldn't mind seeing that, but... If it's happening all the time, um, I think that just gets a bit out of hand. Again, like everything in RP, it's that balance. Making sure everything's fair for everyone's... Do these doors just get unlocked themselves? my notes do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And that, that's another fantastic consideration, Looper. Because um, that is... That can be... Um, like, if there's not... Um, like, if there's not many... Um, doctors on... Like, that can quickly... That can easily get out of hand. And same for Law. Like, we, we struggle to have the... We're still trying to get more recruits and stuff. Um... And, but then some nights, like, people just can't... People can't get on every night. Um, 
Like, that could be... Yeah, it's... Yeah, you gotta think about that side. So I imagine, uh, you know, staggered... Um... You know, medical RP is fine, but yeah, like, ten in a row, and then you go to another ten... <sighs> God, yeah, that would get... Like, and I feel that as a law player, where... Yeah, if you've got, like, if you're constantly dealing with these big groups that you're processing, and you've got, like, you've got everyone in the same room talking over each other, you've got to get the, you know, number from everyone, you've got to talk, give them the spiel, you got to, like, find them all, you got to confiscate all their weapons, you got to send them to Siska, um, you then, you're, you're then battling sometimes the system's not working. It's, it is draining. It, it can be really draining. Because a lot of people don't change their, uh, voice to, you know, like, whisper in that. Like, some people don't, aren't mindful of that, like, at all. <laughs> oh, he's probably got some grey hairs popping out, twerk. <laughs> Is, yeah, just, I think, maybe, maybe it should become a thing where it's like, Friday or Saturday nights, between certain hours, you can have big groups for, like, big stuff. Um, but all the times, you gotta stick to the rules, like, the, the three file style activities and stuff. Just maybe something like that. Um... <laughs> Hopefully, Lieutenant gets my telegram. Because he said... What did he... Was anyone around yesterday when Lou spoke to me real quick? He's like, there's a package for you. Near the... I can't remember what he said. I thought I would catch him later in the night. I really thought I'd catch him later in the night. So hopefully Lou, hopefully I can see Lou before we go down there. I think it's for RP purposes where he was, I think he was going to get like some fake bottles and fake glasses or something to like make it look like we're drinking alcohol, but we're not. Tequila, we need to bring one of those. See, it's nice when black water's like this. For a bit. Because <laughs> it can get very boring. But it's nice. Very nice. I wish people would stop putting animals in my pockets. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to I need to copy down the new um serial number of my new pump shotgun. Take a photo of it and write it down later. <laughs> Oh, I saw it yesterday, but I just like, I see it and I put it in the back of my mind because I'm like, I need to, I'll deal with that later. People have been sneaking stuff in George Hughes' pockets ever since the server opened last year. Um, I don't know what's worse. Like, so when the server first opened, um, you could send telegrams to people. Like, you could receive telegrams in the middle of the street. Like, whenever you sent a telegram, um... Uh, a, a postie would come running up to you. Yo, Hammer! Uh, a postie would come up, come running up to you, no matter where you were, to deliver you a note, a handwritten note. And people really, really abused that. No, this, this was... So when the service started, um, they could just access your name. They, could, they had literally, like, access to a registry of every player's name um whether they were online or not 
Um, there was no escape. Anyone could telegram anyone. So you can, you can probably see why it was changed. Yes, Feezy. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And then some other people from Generosity went just a little bit too far. And I had to be a little bit stern. Where it's like, maybe we don't send telegrams to people streaming on the server. Pictures of dicks. <laughs> The beans was fine, but when people started doing, like, drawings of dicks, I'm like, can we not send that to the streamers, please? Just, you know... Just a thought. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be a party pooper. Or a penis popper, but, you know... Can we not... <laughs> I can't believe I had to say that. That's fine. If Nutties wants nuts, that's his, that's his, that's, that's his right. It, it was funny, but yeah, it's like, you don't want to be like, we, this was like the first week of the server being live. And like, you really didn't want, oh. Good, good ah! morning. <laughs> I didn't sneak up on you. Oh! Holy shit, miss! You scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. No, that's I didn't know right. I had so that effect on you. I was a. Uh, I had a uh, had my head in the clouds, and now my yeah. hands are in the clouds. Oh, there they come. Are, They're down. Are you, are you are you feeling all right? You seem very tense already. And I'm <laughs> fine. I'm just waiting on a telegram. Oh, oh. Well, you missed a shooting in Valentine. When? Oh, like ten minutes ago. Three victims. Oh, really? Was and there... I, I tried to call for help, but I think the way of calling for help may have changed. I think it has. Um, I, I, I love it when people let me know things like that. I know how to I know how to check these alerts, but I don't know how people send them. Right, right. Um, that's how I'll figure it out. It might be alert sheriff. That that's what I'm thinking. I don't I don't know. Do, do you want to test one now? Hello? Anyone in here? No. I okay, I see that. Alright, that is the way. Alright, I get it. And now yeah, I yeah. have removed that from my memory. Good, good yep. So that That's is the my, that is the new mind. way to ask for help. Now uh there was so there's three victims that were all hickeys. Oh my uh, god. Ginger what they... and Elijah and Jed. Wow. Now, then they had somebody yell at them something about Billy something, the Billy boys. When they got taken? The Billy who? The Billy boys. I have no idea who that is. I'm losing track of all these Oh, groups. God. Was there any law up in Valentine when this happened? No, sir. That was just me. Oh. You're, you're all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I can handle it. Those hickey but, boys, I swear to God. Well, actually, the, 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 the poor, poor younger one, his name is Elijah. He only just came into county an hour ago. <laughs> He's already <laughs> facing the wrath of the hickey's face. Yeah. <sighs> I told them, Poor thing. I literally told them yesterday, can you boys keep your, your tomfoolery out of towns? Well, to be fair, they didn't start it this time. <sighs> who did? Do you know who did start it? The Billy Boys. Oh, the Billy <laughs> Boys. And who who's the Billy Boys? George, I have no fucking idea who the Billy Boys are. Yeah, you've got your, you've got your finger on the pulse of everything else why don't you know about I'm the bullet losing, boys yet i'm losing track of everything that's not a government conspiracy at this come point. on you got to pick up the game uh, you don't pay me enough you don't let me pay you that's right so i ain't doing shit well i guess the bullet boys reign of terror begins now because good mm -hmm. folk will just stand by and let evil all right, you say it like I ain't constantly putting my nose in other people's business. I'm trying to keep no. my head down. No, you'd never do anything like that. Never, ever. Never. Anyway, you coming to Taco Tuesday, 7.30, right? Mm-hmm. I just saw the governor walking around with Dolores, so. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'm going to wait around here until maybe about, I don't know, quarter past, 20 past 7. <coughs> and then I'll head down and hopefully uh, hopefully uh, group up with a uh, yeah, lieutenant. Sheriff Wolf and we will, uh, yeah, we'll find an opportune moment to, uh, mm -hmm. 
whisk the governor well, away for tequila. Of course, yeah. Well, if I'm around, I'll come with you. Um, but I'm going to be soon and then come back, I think. I don't know. I, I think right now I'm the only doctor in the county at the moment. I haven't, yeah, I haven't really seen anything going on. Oh, I he, saw he, Dolores he, and I saw William, but I think both of them are off duty. All right. Oh, he comes oh and I saw Becky, but... Becky's a recruit, so. Oh. Who's that down there? Is that the That's governor? That's Dolores and the governor. Or is it not Dolores? I don't know. It's the governor and somebody. No, it is. It, it is. I couldn't see from here. Now, look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but... We'll, what? we'll have to no. We'll have to play it by by ear with with no. the Pinkertons and the and the uh, and Wolf. I don't know if everybody can come to the. No, it's fine. I ain't involved in your your plot. I'm just the, gonna be there. To the tequila. Uh, maybe, maybe not Tuesday. talk about it in the street. Shut up. So I says to them, "Can you get your damn long arms off in town and quick oh, quick speeding around? Down, there sorry. are children trying to walk to school." This is getting ridiculous. I need to, I need to put this away. Todd, you mind getting your holes off the sidewalk? Oh no. Todd, what are you doing with that horse? No. Don't leave uh -oh. it in the middle of the street either. You told me to get off the sidewalk though. Where's the Yeah, but then don't no, no, put it in the middle of the intersection. You're gonna block traffic. The governor's, the governor's right over there. How do I point? You flex your B muscle. Are you good? The governor's right over there, Todd. <laughs> hey. I swear to God, it's another gray hair. I can already uh see your blood pressure going higher. My blood what? Your blood pressure, it's like how how fast <laughs> your blood moves through your body. If it gets too high, you're being stressed out. Don't know what you're talking about. My blood is all inside my body and where it should be. No, that, that is where it's meant to be. That's yeah, that's what right. But, that's what I'm saying. But, I mean, if it gets too high, maybe it'll <laughs> come out faster if you get shot. So try to stress I'd, out. I'd, I'd rather keep my blood on the inside. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. How you going, Todd? Right. It's nearly Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. I hope you've been uh, saving all your pay. Oh, I want to talk to you about that. <laughs> about what? Taco Tuesday? No, about was, your pay? I was on duty for seven hours yesterday. I got paid just over $120. That's ridiculous. No, you should be You should be getting just over $100 for five hours. Well, it was almost seven, but that, that's, still very, that's still very poor. What? <laughs> like... Yeah, you know, it just, so you're it getting paid like 34 cents a minute, right? So let's go 34 times 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? So 34 times 60. Wait, hold on. Point Wait, 34. So you're saying I be getting $60 an hour. No. And then, so 20.4 times five. Yeah, five that hours. Five hours will get you just over $100. Wow, that's that's really bad this is to see y'all at taco uh, tuesday oh a absolutely taco sir Ab Todd, get off the wagon taco no, tuesday that the, the amount that the all the ranks are currently Bye. getting paid is an agreed amount between sheriff wolf and i just for this month we need to see how both ledgers go over the next 30-ish days and then we'll reassess the prices then because we both agree that people should not be taking on the the duties of the law just to get just to make money. No, but I sh okay, okay, finish it look like this, all right? All right. So let's say you you get a hundred dollars for five hours work, right? Yep. So in that five hours, if I take the ferry twice, that's fifty dollars. You you shouldn't I be needing to take the ferry. Why not? Because it's not expected. Well, I have to take the ferry constantly. I you, don't get paid for ferry. You're only getting paid on paper to be doing law duties in the West okay, jurisdiction. Uh, yeah, 
no, no, but you know, we get caught across to the east a fair bit, and they come across here a fair bit. This is why there, saying, there is you know, no expectation to be going taking the ferry. Okay, so you take a ferry once, which is twenty five thousand. No, no, that's out of your pocket. There is no. They should be realistic with their expectations that you you'll be riding. Okay, so I'm riding my horse to Saint Denis, okay. so I'm going to use. Five bits of hay, which is fifteen dollars. You you do not need to be feeding your horse five bits of hay per trip. Wait, does Todd get this meal allowance as well? What if he gets hungry on the way? Does he get some chicken? Well, we're about to start talking about food next. Over five hours, <laughs> I'm probably eating five chicken's. So we're looking at twenty twenty five dollars there. Plus, and drinks. that's not you to leave. I made George's life more complicated. I'm going to the ferry. I'll be back. There, there, the, the pay does not, you, there is no, if people want no, to take no, the ferry, no. that is their choice. There is no expectation for people oh, yeah. to be no, taking the ferry on doing it. All I'm saying is that you got to, you know, take into consideration all the extra money we're spending. Like, we're not just clearing $100 every time. We, we might be clearing 20 of that $100. What do you mean clearing? Well, you know, like, as I said, $80 goes into ammo, food, ferry rides. How much, how much are you shooting on shift? Sometimes. What? Eh? I've been I've been keeping stocked up on chicken and apple lemon smoothies with a similar pay rate, and I've had no issues like that. I've never found that I've never been able to put some money away in the savings. Okay. Oh, and are you using hay everywhere you go? Are you? Are you? Oh, when I gas the horse, I do. Yeah. Why are you gassing the horse? Okay, well, we've got to be quick. We could be first responders there, Hugh. Come on. It's it's not expected to be there super quick. And it's, kind, kind of and is. you're not supposed to be when when we've got the the jurisdiction sorted. You're not people aren't supposed to be going over to the from the west to the east and vice versa all the time on duty because we're west sheriffs we're not east sheriffs they'll be handling their their area we handle ours yeah but and there's law horses you can borrow on duty to get you around between our towns as quick as possible actually technically i could get from town to town faster from my horse if i guess that, that's day. You, there's no expect there's no expectation to be gassing your horse. Okay. So the only the only expenses that really should be coming out of your pay that that has an impact is your food and hydration. Okay. Now look, I appreciate you wanting to get around faster on ferries and gas your horse and that, but we realistically can't do that yet. I'm I'm not gonna be riding people up. Oh, uh, I, I guess I guess my argument is we should be getting paid more money. I... <laughs> let me. Let... Uh, I, was, I was just a bit shocked after yesterday. I'm like, oh, this should be at least two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? What for almost seven hours work? Yeah, that would be completely fair. Fair fair work rights indicates that people that work five hours or more are entitled to a break, right? So people, it would See, be fair I'm, to say. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you spoke to the actual government, they'd be looking at people making fifty dollars an hour. We, do, let me let me tell you this. Each month, we only get twenty thousand dollars. Okay. And if we go raising everybody's pay, yeah, that will go very quickly, especially when we get more numbers. So at the end of the first month, um, we all we had left in our ledger was four thousand dollars, mainly because Harkness and Sledge went and took out a bunch of items to get smelted down, which granted us two thousand dollars. So we were we would have been at two thousand dollars, but then we were at four thousand. So at the start of this month, that's all right. That's eighty hours. So then they they topped up uh they topped up our ledger with another twenty thousand dollars a couple of days ago. So we are okay. sitting at we are currently sitting at. Let me find it. I re wrote this down. Twenty four thousand dollars. Okay. That has to last us for the next just under thirty days. Now, Wolf and I 
have talked about this, and uh, yeah, we we've uh, set the rates for each jurisdiction to be the same, and then we were going to take another look at them to see how both ledges are at the end of the month. Okay, I get I get that, but you know you're not going to get many new recruits if you like. That, here's your I don't hundred dollars for five hours of work. Five hours is a completely fair shift time. If I did five hours in the mines, I'd have about three thousand dollars. Well, then you 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 don't have to be on duty every day. You can go take a mining day. No, no, I'm just saying. Yes, the 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 point of this job is the love of upholding the law. I feel sad for you though. What? Why? Because you could have like a really really great horse, but you don't. I I save every. I'm saving my money every chance I get. I'll have a really great horse eventually. Okay. Now I said I set the sheriff pay really low as well, and this is for me and Wolf. Okay. Do you know where Mister Wolf is? But look, let's say let's say at the end of the month, when we get topped up again, let's say we were we had you know way more than four thousand dollars left in the ledger. I will definitely then raise everything. Okay. And I will speak to Wolf to, for him to do that in the east as well. Okay. It, it just sucks that we you know get news back that the uh, other. Fellows over in the east were on double what we were no, on they the they were, but no. Wolf Wolf said for me when I when I wrote to the government that he said he was happy to. We yeah, we sat down, we came up with prices, and then uh, and then we went and uh, we told the government both jurisdictions want this. Oh, once uh, gold gets out of his coma, you're gonna do a weapon deal with him. I'm I'm gonna do a what? Weapon deal. What's a what what kind of? Buy a bunch. Uh, he'll give you like, you buy bulk from uh, from the store. You know, you can outfit our sheriff's department with a bunch of weapons. Why do I need? Why do I need bulk weapons? So we can have better sheriff weapons. <sighs> Maybe, but the, the what kind of weapons like we've got don't even work. It was originally in talks with Mr. Bowman. I could. Well, I'm not Bowman. Okay. I'm gonna have to need. I'll need to see something in writing. I can't guarantee I'll honor that. Okay. Like, how much money would he be talking? I don't know. A couple of thousand. Couple of thousand for what? I don't know. Probably like, you know, twelve lamats or something. <sighs> Look, I'll consider it, but I ain't promising anything. Again, yeah. it's not expected for lawmen to be cotton around carcanos and all that. Like, well, I know, but, you know, if we're all rocking Henry Peters or something for day to day, it'd be alright. Yeah, and but then people go out on patrol by themselves and they get fucking robbed. Well, that that's the that's the whole point in that we're not losing our own items, and it's just the sheriff's items we're losing. Yeah, but then we're losing money from the ledger, and then no, if we run out with the ledger, but then, then, you know, no one cool gets paid. When we're, on, when we're on, you know, bad money and then when someone takes a, a good weapon. You not a, there is no expectation sheriff. for people to be taken out more than a, cow, a cattleman and a carbine repeater. There is no expectation to be ta pe taken out more than that. Uh, but I don't want to hit with a wet noodle. If 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 a lawman can't make use of a cattleman or a carbine repeater, they need to go back to fucking firearm training. They should be avoiding getting into gunfights too. Yeah, I guess so. Do you know where Mr. Wolf is? No, I have a feeling he, we might not see him until the start of Taco Tuesday. Speaking of, we probably should oh. head out soon. Uh, should we get changed for Taco Tuesday then? Yeah, I say stay in something you know, smart, casual, but out of uniform. So I'm going to change into my, you know, my orange vest. Uh huh. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bearded Texan. I, I am an I like I've said I get Thank paid to be a nerd. I get paid to be a nerd, and it's great. <laughs> and I don't think I, I I don't think I smell nice at all. <laughs> I, think I, I think I smell really bad. <laughs> Red Simeon, he did. Just because I didn't go no life in the mines for the launch week. I'm out here role playing. It's not money simulator. <laughs> I will have a horse. I will have a good horse in good time. 
if people are getting the best of everything in like the first couple of weeks, like what is? Jam, howdy. How are you? I'm good. I'm just getting changed, ready to go down to Taco Tuesday soon. You heading down? Uh, yeah, we are too. Oh, well, you wanna you wanna come down with Woodman and I? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, yeah, Woodman oh. should be around. He's get he'd be Thanks getting changed, and I Sorry, won't be I long. Can't and see anyone. Howdy, oh. Lily. How you doing? Howdy. Yeah, I'll just get a uh, change him something a bit more slightly casual. I'll be right out. No worry. <laughs> That's right, Steampunk. There is no expectation for people to be on duty every waking moment of every day. That is... That is not expected at all. Hey, you got my clothes. Oh, get the fuck out of here. I've been wearing what? this shit no, since oh, I was a baby. That. Look at that. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. You we'll based that off me. Look, look, look at this he, He's He's got my clothes. Wait, uh, did you get changed or am I? Yeah, I got changed. All right, hello. Hello. Hi. Todd, are you getting changed or not? Why oh, are you? I just did. Coming what I wear. Oh, I'll go more. Oh, I'll go get changed. Okay. Jesus Christ. Don't you mind if I borrow you for a chat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jeb, I'll just be a sec. Yeah, yeah you're right. Sorry, Jeb. No, you're fine. Watch out for the horse, my kick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hopi. Hey, Dex. Hey, Rando. Hey, everybody. What do you want? What do you want? <laughs> what can I do for you? Alright, so without the whole Yeah, I, I get okay, I I did notice you did something with your hair, okay? I wasn't gonna no, say it before. I didn't George, that's not what? I did notice you changed your hair, alright? Oh, it's kinda sweet that you actually noticed. Um <laughs> that's not what I was talking to you about though. Oh. Uh I was talking about I just had a strange interaction with Dolores. Um What'd she, you say? She's been trying to seek out Lieutenant all night for to give him some documents apparently. Um and she was said that her time is running out and she was storming away from them. And I said, hey, Dolores, what's going on? And she said, to be honest, Cynthia, I don't trust you. <laughs> Holy my own, shit. My boss doesn't trust me. And she said that her time is running out. And she said she did something and it was bad. And it's to do with the whole Caldurn situation. Oh, so I'm God. just preparing you that, you know, when you were saying about doctors being involved, that I think that's going to come to a head at some point. Oh, and, God. Um, that. Well, did I you tell her? Oh. Well, Lou, Lou should be heading down to. Lou was just in the water. Oh, the interrupt. Hands in what? the air, both your hands in the air right now. Hands in the air. Oh. <laughs> I warned you, George. I, I, I'm a doctor. I warned hey. you. Could not give a fuck what you are. I warned you, George. What the hell's this about? Let's go. Get her on the horse. Let's go. Warn me about what? I don't even know who you are. Call for help! Call for help! Cynthia, everything's gonna be help. okay! The hell? Help! I would do it. I would not. I would not fucking do Let it. Oh, why? They've why taken not? Cynthia! C call the law! We're leaving. How's it go? This, I, I got you. And <laughs> one of us oh is God. looking around. God damn. Sorry, Miss Cynthia. Don't mean you Holy so shit! Oh, are you okay, what Cynthia? What was that? My heart's hammering out of my chest. They, they, what do they mean, George? What did they tell you? I don't know. So they said they warned me about something. Who? I, I heard something about the, the the Billy Boys matched that description. I don't know who the Billy Boys are, but that's what who was attacking Valentine earlier today. Uh, tell they, you what, the per I'm person with the purple flower hat and the overalls. What, were they sure Billy that Boys? Guy, that guy sounded a lot like John Black. Then I couldn't tell. Warned me about what? Everything all right here? Uh, I just got somebody attempted to kidnap me. Looks like my fucking telegrams are coming true. Oh all right. Do you need help, George? Oh, I'm very glad that Woodman, Jeb, and Lily were nearby. Yeah, it was just yeah, an was... attempted kidnapping right here on the street. You should thank Miss Lily mostly. She's the one that noticed. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Are you what I say? I should become a lawman or a law lady? I'm oh good at seeing things. My God, they I, came I, out I of nowhere. I couldn't see anything over there, and then you, Lily's like, "Hey, I've been getting getting robbed or something." All right, well, if you guys are all right, 
should probably move on. Yeah. All right. Jeez. Well, uh, we, we should uh, get on the road, I think. Yeah. My God, Miss Wheeler, are you all right? I think it, something about that felt like. Uh, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, uh, can we pick up some hay from the stables before we go out, cute? Yes, we can stop by the stables. Thanks. Oh my! Who who the hell is that? Is that Lou? Who is, who is, is that? that? Lou, Lou, are you okay? Lou Dolores is looking for you. She just took off. Okay. I don't know what happened. Happened. Also, uh, somebody just tried to kidnap me, and I guess George kind of, they kind of took me and not you. I think they were just going to, they sound like they were just going to take you. Just just here right now, Lou, two people came up and held guns at us, and they were going to take Cynthia, and they'll tell me that I've been warned about something, but I, I, about what? I can't remember. It's, you get warned about things daily, George. That's right. It could be one of a hundred things. That's not good. Do um, you know what they look like? Somebody in overalls with a purple flower hat was one of them, and uh, they had just been involved in a shooting in Valentine. I don't know who they are. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. I just woke up on the dock there, sorry. My vision's a bit... Jesus. Right, Christ. Take your time out. You, I did see you get some water in your lungs. Water? Local doctors must have... Oh, so Sting and Gaming, thank you, you for the raid. Had an incident. Sorry, uh, very oh, bad Dolores. timing. Wait, is that not Dolores? Oh, no, never mind. I thought Dolores was coming back. That's Jesus. Well, yeah, Lou, we're, we're just about to head down with this group of people yeah. down to yeah. Armadillo. I will meet you there. I will I come to the, Armadillo. Uh, water. Okay. Stuff and, Thank you, Jeb. Uh, oh, my God. I'll get down early. Good thing we're here. Have you seen you okay? the, the governor? I feel like I'm going to throw up. And the governor is around. He's been having meetings. All right. Well, I'll meet you guys there. I'll <laughs> oh, see you down there, Lou. Step. Oh, my God. How are you going? Oh, we. Yeah. Uh, sure. If my horse will ever come. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, what is. is this warning that was talked I... about? Is, is someone trying to get to me to get to you? I don't know. Or is this to do with the stupid tail? I don't know I what's happening this. anymore. Oh, you're right. I'm trying to think, you. What do they say? George, you were warned. George, you were warned, and then they tried to take me. Oh, yeah. Can we stop at the stables, George? I just want to see if they got hay. Okay. I'm trying to think. What warning? Yeah, I don't know. They all, like, I was just talking to Jim. Miss Liz said, hey, I think they're getting robbed. I actually couldn't even see where you guys were, where we all stand. Jesus Christ. Like, Woodman ran in the opposite direction. Yeah, it was really dark. <laughs> I had to say I couldn't see anything. Right. Looks like I'll stay off duty for a bit, and I'll stay with you. Yeah, I'll oh, get yeah, tired. We'll need to go off duty. It's like what warning? Oh, I need to stop by the bank real quick. Ames, we're heading down to Taco Ames. Tuesday from Ames. the stables in a minute. Ames, tell him what happened. I... Ames, somebody just tried to abduct me like a minute ago. So, someone, what two, two people talked to us and they were going to take Miss Cynthia away, but lucky Jeb and Lily and Todd were nearby. Right on the street by the clothing store. They said, George, you were warned. The hell? Yeah, one person wearing overalls with a big hat with purple flowers on it, in case you see him. Well, I'll get my heart out for him. That's, uh... Hmm, alright. This is, uh, less than ideal. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some provisions and I'll meet y'all down there. Yeah, Lou's right, we'll on his way. Alright, catch you there. Hey, I just need to get some money out. Thank you, Miss Lily. No, nothing in a, nothing in a telegram. We're just not going to let you uh, walk off on your own together, that's all. Appreciate that, Jeb. I don't know what warning they could be talking about. Do you have any telegrams or anything? No, I checked them just before. Hmm. What warning? Go. 
go. Okay, yeah, I'm good to go now as well. Maybe snaps, because, like, I don't remember hearing, like, any, like, direct warnings, like, George, you need to stop doing this, or stop that, or stop this. I do not recall, like, at all. Hey, George, just have your gun out just in case we get jumped on the way down. All right. Bad idea. Mr. Woodman, don't pull full too far ahead. Hey, what were you saying, Jim? Said you shouldn't pull too far ahead either. Oh no. So I'm, my mind's racing. Sorry, but I'll I'll keep up now. Sorry, my mind is racing. No, you're right. I'm yeah, trying Mr. to think Hughes. what the hell I could have been warned about. Mr. Hughes, you just went through something. Don't uh, feel like you gotta change there. People keep telling me I gotta go slow because my head stuff. You know. I appreciate you that, Jeb. I'm just I'm I'm trying to rack my brain as to what the hell. Like, firstly, what the hell just happened, and then why? And then the fact that they were going to take Miss Wheeler, I'm... Um, I'm in... It's obviously there. someone who knows we're very close. I'm in shock. Yeah, well... I, I don't... I don't know what to make of it. So it's okay. I'm not saying that you two have the same sort of relationship at all, but uh, it's a constant worry I have about Miss Lily. Someone's gonna use her to get to you? That's right. Yeah, I think everyone has their person that people know they can hurt them with. Mm -hmm. George is definitely that for me. Yeah. And on Taco Tuesday, too. Can I at least get a taco before I die? Right? If I'm gonna die, at least let me die with a full belly of oh, It's a bit of a sour on the mood, isn't it? Yeah. No. You know what, Mr. Hughes? You gotta try to not let it get to you too much. I know that's hard, but... Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, if uh, we start second-guessing our own happiness, then people like that win. That's how I see it. I'm just glad we've got this ride for me to process it. Just yeah, think of the true. positives. They, they didn't take her, so... I'm so grateful I'm, for all y'all being there. I'm glad I was able to yell out and holler. Pretty yep. uh, bold of them, right there in front of us three. Not far from the sheriff's department either. Yep. Hey, actor. Yo, potato. Oh, they didn't realize General the, potato. Uh, they didn't realize Will there as well, you know. Thank you for the primer, potato. General Tater. I would suggest, Miss Cynthia, if you can, try not to be alone for a bit. I will make sure I'm with someone at all times. Yeah, good idea. See, Hughes, I don't think they realized we were there as well, though, you know? No, well, they they came from the middle of town. I don't think they looked around the corner. Yeah. Oh, I've been all right, Potato. You know, up and down. Expected eagle Have you been? Really back here. She, uh, I will say this. If Lily ever does join the sheriff, she'll make a hell of a sheriff. Yeah. Not wrong there. Howdy, Cam. I think this is the first time I've been to a Taco Tuesday, to be honest. Well, I'm glad you get to experience it. I wish it was a better one, at least. And, oh, know, well, that's okay. I'm not, considering a potato. Uh, I can say this, safely say this. It's better than open brain surgery. I'd like to be well, somewhere well, else by I the end of the year. That today. No, I hope for your sake. The splitting headache I've had the last three days it doesn't seem to be dissipating itself. Well, I'm fairly certain the surgery they did on you helped them understand what to do with Mr. Gold as well. Oh, well, that's good. I guess. Although, I, I have heard a lot about this Mr. Gold, but for the life of me, I can't remember it. Well, what? a lot of people don't like him, but I think he's a nice fella. 
I've heard he's always been kind to me. What's so, who's uh, behind us? Who's who's behind us? Is that Lou? <laughs> oh, it's it's Lou. It is, <laughs> Wild animals are out after me today. Yo, Anarchy, oh, I am. Better one, wild animals than people, I guess. One wolf and, sorry, four wolves and one cougar. God damn, Mr. Liv. Put on the wrong cologne this morning, or? But who knows, mate? Who knows? Oh, what do you got there, Lou? Uh, cougar. Oh. Like cougar and four wolves. Oh. Did you get a clean kill on it? Uh, this one, yeah. Nice. You're at, George? <sighs> Not really. Not really, but I don't know what choice I have. No, I don't think we have much of a choice. It is, yeah, it's 90% what I've done on the server well, hi, as well, okay, Anarchy. I'm still here. It will be fun. I never asked, who's that on the back of your horse, Mr. Woman? Excuse me, fella. Oh, uh, fella need a lift in uh, Blackwater down to Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it is a mood. It's like, I am not okay, but I don't have a choice. If I get... If I get occupied tonight... Are y'all able to keep an eye on Cynthia? Of course. It's alright, I'll make sure I'm always with somebody. I'm, I'm anticipating some sheriff meetings while I'm trying to eat a taco. Yeah. Uh, I need to have a chat with Mr. Wolf. As much as possible, I will stay within view, and if not, I will be with somebody else looking at me. Cynthia, can I make a suggestion to you? And what's that? If you're riding in a group, try to explain to the person who you're riding with oh, that yeah. your horse should not be the last to come in. Yeah, I will. Whoa, you need a drink there, Miss Cynthia? Um, I chose a day to quit drinking. If I were you two, I'd probably change your clothes. You're very recognisable. Oh, I just bought her out. <laughs> Where's some pants? Yeah, yeah. yeah she oh, should go with the uh, all black look. Well, definitely people have a harder time working out too. Uh, Let's get some tacos. Jeb looks yeah. like, uh, what's his name at the moment? It's down this way. What's his name? Oh, that was rough. Ah, oh, Lou. Oh. I don't know what I would have. I don't know what I would have done if they'd made off with Miss Wheeler. Well, if I find them, I'll, uh, I'll see what information I can get on them. Apparently, Actually, apparently it's over. Like I've been warned about something, but I can honestly not remember what what the hell they're referring to. The amount of people that come and talk to me since I've become sheriff is ridiculous. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I can't. Um, I can't remember any warnings. Come over here. Come over here. What could they possibly be warning you about? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I like to speak in open spaces. Fair enough. Um, what could they be possibly warning you about? I don't know. I've just been... I've just been handling things as usual, as far as I know. Yeah. Um... Do you reckon it could be what we're discussing here today? Could be some, like they may they may have, because uh, yeah they were gonna they it seemed it felt like they were gonna leave me and just take Cynthia, and mm -hmm. like Cynthia's already receiving you know riddled threats. Riddled threats. 
Yeah, she's been receiving like odd telegrams and and. Uh, uh, right. Did you hear she's about a uh, wolf had a bit of an argument with Dolores yesterday, over really? over her involvement with a uh, the Blackwater Saloon owner, and that you know, their group gunned down I think about six Hickey boys yesterday, and uh, Dolores is currently I don't think she's exactly a fan of the law department right now, and she straight up said to Miss Wheeler that she doesn't trust her either. Interesting. Dolores, apparently Dolores wants to have a chat to me today. That's right. Yeah, she was looking for you just before. Yeah, right. I wonder what about. What, I wonder what Dolores is doing in all this mixed up mess. I don't know, but Cynthia says that Dolores seems like, don't tell her that you know this, but mm -hmm. Dolores seems stressed that she's running out of time about something. Yeah, right. That's That's all I know. That's all I've heard. Finish today. I'll go have a chat to her. See what I can find. Yeah. What? Well, so now, what time do you think? Like, I guess we wait for Wolf to come down, and then do, what time should we try and get the governor away? Well, we need the Wolf. So we need Wolf. We need the governor, and then we go up to that, you know, that little house down there. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Let, let them hang out for a bit. You know, give them a couple of drinks. So they like be like, "Hey, governor, we're gonna take you out for a bit of a boys' trip." You know. Uh, Come with us a little bit. Did he say that Taco Tuesday there was an event from seven thirty to nine thirty? Possibly. So by nine thirty. By nine thirty, yeah. Like what? What? Yeah, whatever works for you and Wolf. Well, I'm down for whatever. I uh, I have nothing planned at the moment. All right. Well, I, I guess do... let's keep an eye out for Wolf. Yeah, I do need some information for you though. Okay. Do you remember the horse racing event? Yes. The fella that won, Jax with the white Mustang. Uh, he came first. Right. I need whatever information you have on him, please. Jax, um, what? I can't remember his last name. Um, what's it, what's his profession? I don't know much about him. I just know he uh, he's won the horse race. He wears a like a flat cap, the blue flat cap, white Mustang. Now, I, remember, that's, I only remember him by name, Jax. Now, it's not Jax, Indiana, is it? Or Dax? No, there's Dax, Indiana. He's in the department. No, and no, then no, there's no. Jax. Right. Jax and Jay. I don't, now, I, don't, I don't know if we know anything about him. Well, I was following a bunch of leads yesterday from drug sales down at Caligar Hall and Braithwaite. Uh-huh. Now, I was one of the guards doing patrol at Caligar. And he was being sneaky, you know, hanging around Caligar Hall. I don't know what he was being sneaky about, but he was the only person there selling drugs. Well, not selling drugs. I can't assume. I can't say he was selling drugs, but he was the only person there at the time the drug sale. It's likely, drugs. yeah. Yeah. So I want to see if he's got former drug charges or possession charges, and maybe I can do a bit of an investigation on him. All right. Well, yeah. When we get back, when I get a moment, I'll see if yeah. we got anything on uh, Jax. How do you spell it? Not too sure, to be honest. I just, like I said, I know... J-A-C-K-S or J-A-X? One of the two. All right, I'll but, check uh, for both. If... It doesn't have to be today. Um, maybe ask the boys in the department if they know anything about him. Okay. And then get one of them to talk to me or seek me up. I'll keep that in mind, Lou. Thanks for the heads up. Appreciate that. I was going to ask you yesterday, but you seemed a bit busy, so... Oh, every day, Lou, every day. Yeah. Valentine seemed a bit crazy, so I was like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of tension between Blackwater folk and Valentine folk. Yeah, right. What, who's got the dirtiest town? <sighs> Probably. My town's dirty. No, my town's dirty. Bang, bang. I'll go have a chat to Mr. Ames. Excuse? All right. Howdy, ladies and How's things in here? Uh, yep. 
pretty, pretty fun party. Yeah, where's Miss Cynthia? I think she's just outside. I'm gonna go check. Howdy. Howdy, sorry, I was catching up with Mr. Bill Horn here. Nah. I haven't seen him in about a week. Oh, howdy. No, you're right. I feel, feel like we had a lot to catch up on, isn't there, right, Mr. Bill Horn? You want a bit more time? No, it's all right, George. I've caught him up. I was just fill, uh, filling him in on that abduction attempt. Yeah. I can't believe someone would do it. I can't either. Yeah, this place is getting worse and worse, I swear. On the other hand, Mr. Bill Horn here didn't recognize me, so. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And also, I couldn't hear shit over everyone else talking. Well, that is true. Yeah, it's a bit loud in there. Oh, tell me about it. You get a couple of people in a room, you can't hear shit. Yeah. And you got the few people that can talk over other people. It's actually quite impressive. Yeah, like the governor's voice carries and a few other people. Now he's looking at me. He's not making me any less nervous. Woodman is. He's pointing binoculars at me. Of course he is. <sighs> anyway, I'm just a humble doctor, and I almost got kidnapped, so that's interesting. Yeah, really nice. interesting. I actually met William today as well. Oh, did you now? Why it sound like that? William and I are not on speaking terms. Oh, shit. A lot's happened. Yep, that's just to a point where uh, he won't acknowledge my existence and I won't acknowledge his. So oh, I'm not allowed enough. to talk about him, actually, so I should shut up. Yeah, who? Precisely right. I don't know, I used to uh, this one being so full when everyone's coming out to him around. You know why? It's because half the people who keep walking out to have meetings are loosely connected to uh, what happened. Yeah, right. Oh god, who's that? I'm not getting dragged in the dirt here now, am I? Hey, howdy. Well, if oh, you feel that way, you can have some space. Oh, know. thank God, it's the ranges. I'm used to the dirt. I live down here, after all. I might have to take you up on that bakery job offer. I'll dye my hair and we'll pretend I'm a new person, all right? I'll run, catch that train real quick. I've done it before. Yeah, you do that. You take your You've time. You've done it before? Uh, I mean, don't worry about it. Jeffrey! Oh, wait, if that is your real name. Uh, uh, Jeffrey's my name. Howdy, Howdy rangers. Howdy, Howdy sheriff. sheriff. You, you boys got a second for me I'm to sorry, give you an update on something? Yeah, sure. of course. Sure. All right, let's uh, all right, let's put our horses uh, somewhere nice. Well, oh, anything else happen? Any good news? Anything happy happen? Uh, I'm a fully fledged doctor. I can't remember if I told you that. Yeah, I think it, it's been a while like that has. All right, all fellas. Right. What just, can we do for you? just before we headed on down from Blackwater, something very disturbing happened. I was uh, I was standing the. On the one of the main streets with a uh, Miss Wheeler here, and a couple of gentlemen in in black outfits with masks uh, pulled guns on us, and they uh, they hogtied the two of us, and they were going to kidnap Miss Wheeler, exclaiming that I had been warned about something which I cannot recall. So yeah, we're a little bit on edge here tonight. So just uh, yeah, as we as you would normally. A lot of people around had guns and were able to help us. Yeah. So just all right. Was it just black attire? Oh. It's two people. One of them had like a black overalls on with a big hat with purple flowers on it. Very recognizable. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Um, but the other one, same thing. Black attire. Uh, any colorful hat or? I didn't even pay attention to them. I was too busy distracted by the damn hat. It it was mainly a black outfit. It all happened so very fast. Right, I... Oh, that's fine. But yeah, they would they. Apparently, I've been warned about something, but the amount of meetings I've had over yeah, the last few days uh, since becoming sheriff of the West is ridiculous. I, I can't pick anything out. Yeah, all, all meetings will probably blur together at that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just, you know, I know you should be expect, you know, looking out for trouble all the time I'm anyway, but my telegrams in case I got we anything. may be looking at more trouble to tonight than usual. Right. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Sheriff. No uh, worries. We'll definitely keep an eye out. Um, yeah, if you need anything, by all means, you're all more than welcome to ask us. Uh, well, after all, you know, uh, hell, uh, at least while you're here, our, our ranger station's your ranger station, so to speak. 
by all means. Likewise. Same, with, same goes for the West. And uh, Well, I guess the only thing I can really think of is there might be a, a moment in the night where some of the law leadership might be uh, trying to have a private word with the governor. Um, it's just, yeah, if, if, if the local folk here... Um, oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's fine, Mr. Hughes. Uh, Marcus uh, did mention I may need to, uh, ask the recruits to keep an eye on things outside a little bit. That would be greatly appreciated. Todd Woodman from the West is also here. Um, I haven't seen any other law yet. A lieutenant's around. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate I that. I uh, passed him on, on his way out, but yes, oh, Howdy, uh, William. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to keep the recruits Whoa. Oh. occupied. And, uh, keep, keep the area clear enough for, uh, whatever comes uh, I'm fine. Now, for I, this meeting, of course. I'm just, uh, getting my head across everything as well. You're, are, are you Mr. Smallhole? No, 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 uh, that's, no, that's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's yet to come in tonight. Uh, my, my name's, uh, Ranger Ossock, sir. How do you spell that? Uh, O-S-A, uh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, A-M? I spell, uh, O-S-A-R-K, Ossock. Oh, sorry. And what's your postal ID? Uh, that's a fantastic question. Not many people have actually asked me that one. 298, sir. 298. And uh, you got a last name, Osark? Yeah, that is my last name, sir. Oh, sorry. Uh, what's your first name? Uh, Cadis. Okay, is that it with a K? A C, actually, sir. Oh, C-A-D-I-S? I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that for now. Okay. That's that's fine. So, look, I personally go by Cade because uh, I've had Kate. experience with some Cade. Uh, yeah, I've had some experience with people from Saint Denis. They they uh they heard Cadis and they instantly start calling them cat ears and uh, I just, I just oh. had to had to move away before uh for Ranger Marcus uh my, Ranger Marcus's training uh, uh rubbed off on me too much and you know he's uh, yeah he a bit uh aggressive is probably the nice word for it. I oh, appreciate that, Cade. Um, and if no you ever need to reach me, mine is just a six. Six. Wow. Very that's, simple. That, that, that's quite the number. You uh, you definitely came in pretty early, <laughs> County, on that one. Oh, I try to be punctual. Uh, any more punctual, sir? I reckon you would have bet the person that was taking the number. <laughs> All right, all right, Cade. But yeah, that's that's the situation. I better get in there and yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't, don't all the formalities. I'll, uh, I'll keep a run around, dear. Let's uh, hopefully the night goes well. Let's hope. I'll, I'll go grab Miss Wheeler and you yeah, get to mingling, I guess. Yes, sir. All, all right. right. Well, I might uh, quickly pick up some tacos myself before I start my definitely before they're all the, gone. Uh, so yes. All right. Well. Pleasure oh. to meet you, the rest of you, and uh, stay safe. Why are you doing all that? I haven't seen you in a while. All right, I'm shall we go inside? Around. Probably should make an appearance. Yeah. You're out there, Ranger, just looking at the wall in my eyes. Oh, you're in your head. What about? Howdy, William. Hey. We do. Howdy, Governor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a really awkward time for you to come in, so I'm sorry. Hey, I can help you. Why? Well, what, what, what's wrong? Yeah. No, just the, what the ladies were talking to me yeah. about. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear anything, if that helps. Oh, well, it's probably a good thing for both of us. Hey, I can help you, son. Oh, I was just coming over to say hello to everyone. Um, he has a lot of kids. To start enjoying some tacos so and kids. enjoy the festivities. Oh, oh, Look oh, at him, I'm though. glad you're uh, enjoying it. Oh. I was going to say, how's the, how's the West been going for you so Should we stop calling him Grandpa uh, Joe instead A bit of quiet. Oh, We're just so still true. really hankering yeah, on some new recruits. Good looking. He could be, but, uh, he could be just, Ames' talking to dad, the, uh, and then, the, the you know, my before, granddad. And they said they yeah. got a few recruits yeah. coming yeah. through, and they're actually Ames showing real good promise, so you might be getting those recruit, new recruits oh, sooner than later. Oh, that would be great. And and I've had a couple of meetings with Wolf, and we're, you know, we're... We're lining things up with both sides and just trying to find a way forward. So, yeah, you know, more more recruits would be good. But apart from that, we're making the best of the situation. Oh, yeah, it's good to hear so. Well, can, I, can I buy a drink or something or a, a uh, taco? Or? Uh, just a taco, if anything, sir, but no pressure. I, I'm, I'm just on the water. No, no I'll go grab you some grab you a taco, son. Be with me. I appreciate that. Ames, ladies. Howdy. Everybody enjoying their Taco Tuesday? Oh, hey. Yes. 
love Taco Tuesday. You managed the tacos. Though. Oh, yeah, cool. they, they they may be one of the only things yeah. that I look forward to every week. Oh, thank you, thank you, Bob. Yeah. There you go, Mr. Hughes. Oh, thank you, sir. That's really kind of you. Oh, oh least I can are do we some. still doing the thing later with the sheriffs? The oh yeah, later? I don't know. The thing. Thing. The thing. The thing. I think I forgot the thing. The thing. Did you forget about the thing? I think I have. What oh. thing, sir? I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember oh, that myself. Oh, that with thing. all the sheriffs, you know? Yeah, that thing. The bonding thing. Yeah. Oh, I kind of remember, but I don't. See, this is why we told you to stop drinking. A yeah, bonding thing. Why are not allowed to drink? Exactly. We're helping your memory. And other well, things I'll, too. I'll talk to that about you. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe see? I ha feel like I have been drinking. I had one tea and I already feel like I've been drinking. But uh, Mr. Hughes, I'll talk tea? to you about this uh, bonding thing once I remember yeah, the details one, myself. Oh, okay, sure, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm, Should uh, we I do it today? Uh, oh. Maybe. Hopefully there'll be more sheriffs around. I'm going to go check outside if there's more of them. Alrighty. You try and jog that memory of yours, sir. I You've sure got will. this. I haven't seen Wolf, if that helps, but I'm, I can't imagine him missing a Taco Tuesday. I was going to say, I, you know, we, I'm sure he would be wanting to reunite with some of the boys back down the ranges. I bet. I bet. All right. Well, I better I better uh, keep circulating around. But, yeah, if, if anything comes up, happy to, you know, you know, have a glass of water with y'all or right, whatever no works. I'll uh, keep you in mind. I'll let, come over and have a chat with y'all a bit later. I'll be around. I should be here till the, you know, 9.30. Or oh, right. whenever things simmer down. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later in the night. No problems. I just realized you're wearing pants. It's your fault. You want to get those right, pants on the dance floor? Sure. Right. Enjoy yourselves. Wait. All right, how the hell does this work now? You got to uh, hold your right muscle on me like you're going to fight me, <laughs> and then there should be an option. Right. Just a moment to not be thinking about getting abducted or anything. Well, I mean, if you really want to be doom and gloom, this could be the last time we get to dance. Oh, God. Just please, can I have a... Just enjoy some of the tacos here first. Oh, of course. Of course you can. Can, can, if, when I, if I die, let's say I die, right? Can people ride my tombstone? Mm -hmm. He died eating what he loved. And that's Taco Tuesday. Tuesday tacos. It, absolutely. If oh, I'm allowed to deliver a eulogy, I'll talk all about tacos for you. All right. What do you want on your gravestone? Um, she. Mm, well, I actually have never thought about anything like that. I don't know how I want to be remembered. She chose her own way. That sounds like a good placeholder for now, at least. And also, uh. Don't invite my parents to my funeral. Oh, no problem. No problem. Not that you have their addresses, but... No. <laughs> no, I do not. Uh, just trying... Just thinking what all these other muscles do. All right. You're a lead. I'm just a bit scared about my wow. two left feet. Let's see what this does. Uh, oh. Oh. Didn't know I had it in me. Look at that. Look at you. You've definitely improved since the dance. That's because I'm not drinking. <laughs> Me too. I chose a hell of a time to stop drinking and smoking. Alright, what's this do? Oh! Don't I'm not gonna drop you. I thought you were gonna drop me. Nah, oh, Like I said, I haven't, I haven't had... I haven't... <laughs> oh! I haven't had... I've just been drinking orange juice and apple lemon smoothies for day... Weeks, oh. even. Weeks? How long has it been since the dance? 25 days or something? Uh... Look at I, you. I'm I don't know. Out. Oh, look! Alright, we're going around this way. Just like that. Yep. Nice and simple. Easy. Does. Don't want to go too fast. Get. Oh, and. Oh, and back the other way. Look at that. Clear mind. No two left feet. Thank you for the dance. And what is this? What about <laughs> this one? Oh, there we go. Oh, another one of them. Uh, and thank you. <laughs> And I uh, hope you didn't eat too much. Any touch? How many tacos? I have not yet Let's had any see tacos. Who's oh look, time for another spin. You dizzy yet? 
A little bit. Sorry, I'll stop. You've learned like two new moves and you just gotta keep using them. The the spin is it's I think it's a I think it's a favorite from of dancers all across the world. So how's things? Oh, you know, just mortal peril as always. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Every day, just when I think I'm getting on top of all my responsibilities as sheriff, the the universe throws more more pickles in my direction. I'm sorry to be such a pickle in your direction. Just please, yeah. I, like I've been telling you, I've been doing, following all the orders and keeping my head down for days. Just whatever's happening is not because I've stirred the pot lately or nothing. Well, yeah, not we, since the weekend. Yeah, we need just more of that. Um, I'm doing my best. And more and more, I'm just thinking about when's that vote coming? And look, I, I will not be mad. I will not be sad if I don't get voted in. Maybe it's time I became a, it might be time when that happens to become a train driver or something. Find a or safer a line of work. Get that ranch you wanted. Yeah. I'm gonna keep saving my pay so I've got options. Or well, yeah, I might need to drive trains for a while, but I just I mean, yeah. Well, Jeffrey wants me to work at the bakery, so as long as I change my identity before I do. So maybe I can be Christina Walla. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that I'd remember that at least. Oh well, yeah, you can barely remember my name now. I, that's not true. That is not true. I'm surprised. I'm surprised when they threw me on the back of that horse. They, they didn't say it, something like, uh, "George, we warned you. We're gonna take Christina." No, it's it's Detective Wheeler. Oh, Detective Wheeler. I tried to put my badge behind me, to, you know, since I uncovered everything I got in too deep. Oh dear. Yeah. I just. I only ever wanted to find Jeb, and at least he's happy. I just. <sighs> My, I froze up. My mind was racing. I was trying. I was trying to think two steps ahead. I'm thinking if they just leave me here and they ride away. I'm thinking, where the hell? Where could? Where would they remember go? Remember what I said on that hunting trip that we had? What? That if anything was to happen to me, it's not your fault. I kind of feel like it is if they're telling me they warned me about something. But you don't even know what the warning was and even then even if something happens to me you've done your best maybe they did tell me and i forgot it no you remember important things maybe they maybe Do they I? have overestimated their importance in there and now live i just it filled me with a lot of fear miss i just because i don't even know where i would start looking it was a very oh the doom room where the hell's that? That weird basement in Valentine filled with organs that where Schubert <sighs> took me. I'll, I'll check off. I'd scour every place I can find like that. I'm just glad he didn't come to that. I'm, I feel like we should tell Wolf what's happened. <gasps> I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking and, uh, maybe if the remainder of the wheat we keep laying low at the end of every night in strawberry. I, I think so. Rants from a native. Thank you for that answer. No problem. I didn't throw up that time. Hey, Marcus. I'm proud of you. Good to see you back guys. Marcus. How's the East treating you? Howdy. So, sorry, Tom. Can I interject? I just need yeah, to for Marcus for a minute. Howdy, Tom. Hey, go for it. Hey, you go, I mean, Good. I, I've I haven't tried stocked up on some tacos. I've stocked up on some uh, orange juice. Yeah. And I'm just, glad to, I'm just glad to be down here away from the worries of the world. Well, there you are, Tom. Beautiful. It's good to see you down. It's good to see you around here. I'm, if you're ever looking for something else more than orange juice, too, uh, Mr. Billhorn next to me, too, has supplied us with uh, some nice Earl Grey tea as well. Oh, I might do that, because I'm still off the drink, so I'll, I'll consider that. Yeah, that's right. Let me know. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Billhorn's graciously put on some uh, some tea, and all the proceeds go to himself. Appreciate that. And you've been well? Yeah, it's good tea. I've been, I've been doing actually really well, partner. I've, uh, just this week, I've managed to uh, pay my loan to the government about the saloon. So the saloon now is 100% in my name. And all <sighs> proceeds are going to myself and Armadillo now. So that's a bit of, bit of good news. That is fantastic to hear. I imagine, yeah, how much more business do you get on Tuesdays compared to every other day of the week? Tuesdays are my best day of the week. It's 100%. And I think it's good for all of Armadillo, really. I mean, you know, people come down, go see Jeffrey see myself but you know it it's a it's a great help doing days like this when people come down and show the appreciation of my my countywide tacos it is no it's uh I, i'm not sure 
anything else in recent times has mustered up as much excitement as Taco Tuesdays. Oh, that's good. That's good. You should have heard when they tried to announce the uh, West versus East boxing event for the law departments. Yep. Dude, you could have heard crickets or a, a coin hit the, <laughs> hit the ground. But, you know, anyone mentions Taco Tuesdays, everybody's faces light up. Well, maybe I could sponsor the West versus East uh, Sheriff's little bout there and maybe put on, like, a, a supply of tacos for the winning side or something like that. Maybe run that by the governor, his assistants, when you talk to him soon. Yeah, I might, um, I might. Cause, yeah, I think we just need a little... Let's just do none of the Lord Palm were really very excited to do that. Oh, they need just a little pick me up and maybe make it a bit of a speculation type thing, you know, like yeah. it was a spectacle. That would be that would be nice. If... Come dress in your finest east side and your west side and you know, we'll think of something. That could be nice. But yeah, there's a, there's a, there's an idea for you. So that's and yourself, good. how are you being, Mr. Hughes? Oh, well yeah, it was I feel like I'm still only a couple days into becoming the new sheriff of the West, and mm -hmm. every day there is new challenges, things I could not prepare for. Well, I believe uh, you wouldn't be thrown in this position if the, uh, the county didn't have the utmost uh, confidence that you're going to be able to succeed. I, I understand. It's just hard when sometimes I only have one or two deputies around. And oh, yeah, yeah. You should see these gangs marching around with long arms in, in the towns. Like, I don't know... What can we do about that? I guess there's not much you can do apart from, uh... Yeah, there really is much you can do, is there? I mean, how, how's the... Is it... You still getting... You know, losing to the east side with your recruits and stuff like that, or...? They've got less than us currently really? active now, somehow. Yeah, when they oh. stated Marcus Wolf as east sheriff for me as west, a whole number mm -hmm. of east took a... Took a leave of absence, and then, yeah, um, Sledge on the west had to go away on a camping trip. It's just, we just don't have the numbers to deal with all these groups. It's a... Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's very um, concerning to hear upon. I mean, it's um, especially, you know, I understand you want to do the best job you can, but without the manpower, you, you're really stuck, aren't you? I'm just, I'm just really hoping that the new wave of recruits that come through bolsters our numbers. We got a few people that have come back, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just they... They, they, they just don't have the means to be on a lot, which is fair yeah. enough. It's just until we get those regular stable numbers. Oh, well, have you got any, uh, have you any, got any contacts with any past sheriffs or something like that? See if they, uh, if they're able to come back with something like that and do you a bit of helping out for a little bit or. I could, yeah, I could, you know, speak to Lieutenant and Marcus Wolf and see if they remember anyone from their old counties or training days. Yeah, I would suggest reaching out maybe to some uh, some old some old sheriffs, see if anyone's willing to come back just for a little bit and, you know, help boost some numbers for a little bit. And... Yeah. You, you'd, never be, you'd never be too surprised. I mean, I guess once a sheriff, always a sheriff, as they say. That's Hi, true. Marcus T. Oh, had it. Ah, uh, gentlemen, how are you? Good, yourself? Uh, good, we're just talking about the, uh, the situation you two are in. Oh, right. Not enough tackles. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty to give. No, I just think you're, uh, you know, trying to do what you can with what you got, top thing. Of course, yeah, yeah. No, we're we're doing we're doing well. Mr. Hughes is doing well. I'm doing well. Um, you know, for for what we have, I think you know, yeah, all our deputies are doing fucking really well. As uh, you know, and that's 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 the best thing. Just wish there was more mouths for all these tacos in the departments. Well, why the fuck are you wearing that uniform? Well, well, I thought I'd blend in. No, no, you don't that deserve to wear that. You wear uh, blue now, you motherfucker. Fucking, it's a reunion. Oh, no. <laughs> don't you hear? He's got the East shoe shining now. He gets shoe shines every every five minutes paid by the government. Shoe shining? Straight God damn, heart. look at this guy. He's Straight to my heart. Let's not get any new look, he's all no puffed it up. Look, is that, is that, what is that? What's that on your face? It's straight to my heart, on my straight to my shoe shine. Yeah, <laughs> blush on your face. Look at you, you little pump up. Well, you been drinking. well, you know, I did get one of the lightweight boys there. High, or you got me some up. blush on there. Well, I mean, the ladies are everywhere. Oh, you me. I just gotta I duck out the back for right, okay. Sorry, busting, busting. You're looking good, Ranger. How are you, Potter? Hey, good. Got about. Like eight recruits going right now. Much. <laughs> yeah, I'm really Fucking, excited for it. I've been stuck in Armadillo for the last like three days. 
Well, more than welcome to come up. Jack, right, is that uh, you? You know, this is getting out my underwear. Oh, good to see you, Jack. Howdy, Jack. Howdy. You just got here? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Come, come over I'll here. Up at the office. Jack, just before we left for Taco Tuesday, I was chatting to Miss Wheeler here across the road from the tailor in Blackwater. Two men in dark outfits jumped us, hog tied us. They tried to run off with Miss Wheeler, yelling at me that I'd been warned about something. I cannot, I cannot recall any direct warnings from folk, but it was very lucky. Lily, Jeb, and Woodman were nearby and, and sp spooked them off, but... Oh, well, that's good. But, yeah, so just watch your back and... Yeah, I will, definitely. Keep your head, yeah, just... Oh, there's a lot going on. As well. There's a lot going on, Jack. I'm just really worried about everyone. I just want everyone to be safe. That's why I'm Thank following you. around. I'm just trying to stay close, because that's what I was asked to do. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe Zen might need to find Lou, actually. He's he is around. Wolf's around. Um, so I guess, Jack, Thank if you. uh, if after Taco Tuesday, things are looking a little bit more hectic, I might need to take Miss Wheeler up to Strawberry or something and lay low for that's the rest fair. of the night. Yeah, little strawberry, I would say, uh, somewhere else. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll or go on strawberry. that snow hunting trip after Taco Tuesday. I mean, can't we always stay in Wapiti? Since you know the cheap. We could. Yeah, well, we so might so consider so that. In. We might go north. So, so yeah, Jack, um, if mm -hmm. I if if I if I can't get a hold of you, or I go, you know, you can't find me after Taco Tuesday. Just yeah, assume no, that going. we've gone north for the night. Okay. Maybe for the All next good. day. That's um, fair. I can't blame you there. I don't need to go in my head for a minute. I'm just gonna be hopefully in this room here. I think this works. Right, go try and find Luke quickly, then. No Stay worries, safe. Jack. You too. Something. Just keep your eyes peeled, partner. Dang it. No, no good will. place to go in my head. You just need a minute, do you? Yeah, I do. And I'm trying to find a place to do it. It's not going to get me in trouble. Upstairs. Hey, you doing, good to see you again, partner. Here is good. I'll just sit. All right. Howdy, Ames. Yeah, that'll be a nice little paycheck for you. I think the little check going. I've been better. Making the most of it. That was good. Now, Ames, did you hear that? Before that, they've the 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 assistants have planned a bonding experience for the low leadership with the so governor what tonight. What's going on, Ames? Man. Oh yeah. My. Yeah. I Could was, they wasn't aware, but I am now. My. Could they have heard what we planned? Did you catch that no one, Jeffrey? I think so, yeah. I said, why? Oh, why? Oh, no I was idea. trying to be polite, just trying to get to know uh, the, uh, the patrons. Come from, but anyway. My. Yeah, I guess she really doesn't want to tell you. She keeps saying why. I mean, you just yeah, want right. to see how everyone's settled here. Well, I mean, I yeah. appreciate you coming down. Did you, did you try a taco? Mm, yeah, he, was, he, was, uh, he was out of the office. Would you like to try a taco? I'll give you one on the house. Not sure. What the plan is, but... Uh, no, spicy. Yeah. yeah, I'm just no, waiting no, to hear, no, no. Uh, hear what uh, Lou and Marcus are thinking. Mm -hmm. I can't say it. Yeah, yeah let's ball. 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 So. Let's see. Well, how about you want I, I'll give you one and then you, you, need, you, know, you can check it out. If you don't you like it, I'll be, now, I wouldn't be offended if you throw it on the floor. Jeffrey Lair. Jeffrey Lair will probably get on his hands if he doesn't need up anyway. Oh. He's outside with his assistants and William Seliger of all people. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, that's true. you did what you needed to do. So, oh, wow, I sure you did. So, okay. Hi. Yes. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you something neat. Somebody just collapsed on the ground. No, grab well, I'm just right. going to put this on the table here, and you can grab it when you like. Mm. Yeah, just don't drop it on the floor. She might actually eat it like that. Yeah, you try that when you want to try it, if you want. Mm. Thank you. No worries. Uh, I might go downstairs to have smoke. No worries, Ames. Got so quiet so quick. You want to smoke on the balcony? Yeah, it was like I'm this last week. I'm trying to quit. Why? 
it's uh, I'm, I think sometimes I rely on it too much. Yeah, Doctors say they're good for you. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's smoke. That's true, I guess. Oh. I mean, we have this tradition now. I guess the last few Taco Tuesdays, we end up in the same spot smoke. That's right. What a night. Yeah, I'm what you, feeling what, it's not over yet. What are you thinking if, uh, depending on how the rest of Taco Tuesday goes, maybe we go on that snow hunt trip tonight? After? What are you thinking? How, I mean, if it's not too late, I can do that. If not, maybe tomorrow or later in the week. Who's that group of people over there? I'd be willing to bet lose one of them or a ranger. Oh, I'll have a look. I'm just trying to stay aware of my surroundings. Yeah, me too. Howdy, William. You want to buy the governor, Mr. Hughes? Oh, I am? Something about a, a bonding experience? A bonded book. All right. All right. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. I think it makes a match would be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Howdy. Okay. Howdy. Hello. All right. Shall we? Uh, I'll start running around getting them. Okay. Uh, what's it? Bond? What, what, we bonding horses or something? No, no, no. Bonding sheriffs. Bonding sheriffs. Bonding sheriffs. Oh, mm -hmm. oh God. What are you going to make? Mark Marcus and I wrestle or something? Oh, my no. God. Well, I would like to Actually, see that. That'd be pretty funny, but in saying that. Now that you say it, I would love to see yeah, that. Maybe oh, we gosh. It up. This is why yeah, I should just keep my mouth yeah. shut. Should we do a sheriff worm race? Oh, that would be good. Yeah, I like that. What do you reckon, Hughes? Ah. Oh. You don't have to say anything. It's fun. I already. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Go. Oh. He loves it. Great minds think I, alike, I guess. Does, I know. It does sound like he loves it. All right, you right, Governor. I sure am, son. You boys around in a second. Of I've course. Got, what do you I've need? I'm getting the uh, one of the uh, my assistant to go around and herd all the the shares. Cause y'all are gonna start uh do a little bonding exercise. What type of bonding exercise are we doing today, Governor? Well, I'm going to give y'all a bunch of guns with rubber bullets, and I'm going to get you to pair up in twos and show me who, who's the uh, best law around. Um. These rubber bullets, they might bruise us. Will they? Could they, sir? That's all right. I'm sure you're tough. I'm, I've got no doubt about that, ma'am. I'm, I'm thinking more of uh, the hypothet... Oh, uh... Ranger, you see the that call out to Tumbleweed? Quick, get your horse. We'll uh, we'll go have a quick look at that. So, sorry, Governor. We'll uh, we'll be back very shortly. Well, all right. All right. That's strange. Yep. Hey. Just, sorry. Is what's he going on? Riding a scrawny nag? Are you kidding? <sighs> what's this uh, bonding experience about, Governor? I'm not really into bondage, though, Governor. You will be after this. Uh, uh, is that you, Hawkins? Yes. Oh, you got I can't even tell. You, you, you're looking so different right now. I have to dress different down here. Oh, yeah, I'm just more more about the, the face. I haven't seen that, that, that chin of yours for a long time. Okay, oh, I think yes. I got most of them. You're what? Ready? Maybe shave. Um, the, the other three said, Give me a minute. Oh. Give me I sound Thanks just like them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I see it. Yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Alright, is that all of them? Okay. Um. Well, are they ones up on the balcony? Why are there people up on the balcony for? 
I don't um, know. Because then they get to watch the... Because they're watching the event. The <laughs> bonding event. We're doing it in the middle of town? Event? Um, kind of. Oh, neato. So, you guys will be separated into groups of two. Um, and set around the town. And then when you come into town, obviously last group standing wins. Big Wait, prize. What? Are we shooting each other? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, another chair. Navies. They're gonna be robber boards on. Navies. You that snake here? Y'all y'all have navies on you? No. Yep. Anyone who doesn't have a navy. You, um, you're right there, son. I can help. Oh, I'm just practicing my aim there, Governor. You be careful when you're putting that thing. Um. So what are we trying to achieve with this? Well, we gotta work on. together as with your, with your team, mate. Mm -hmm. Bash, 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 shoot each other with. Well, bonding. see, each person, each team, I guess, will get a different position, right? So depending on your position and how you're going to come back into town to, I guess, eliminate the other teams, and you don't know where their positions is, it's kind of like bonding with the person you're with. Yeah, it's teamwork skills. makes a yeah, dream work, eh? Exactly. Well, why the hell work. am I doing this? Um, I didn't sign up for Because you're a marshal. Because you're still doing? part of the sheriff's department. Uh, well, I'm not part of the sheriff's department. I've got my head for a bit, sorry. You technically are. It's okay. I, 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 we'll explain it when the other three come here. I was going to say, I, I think this has uh, already been too much of a headache, so I'm going to go have a drink. Wait, what? Uh, Before you don't let a drink. There oh. What's he drinking? Howdy, Frank. I, I don't know. Howdy. Hey, Frank. Hi, Frank. Are you doing bonding? Uh, what type of bonding? The, the good kind? Why have I been asked that like three times? Because you don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't worry, yeah. Frank. It's not a sex thing, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of bonding is a sex thing? I mean. Well, but uh, is that a trick question? Um. Let's ask the governor about one woman. Oh. Say that no. lie to the uh, governor. Um, oh, Repeat yourself to the governor. Uncle what Joe, what, what's bonding in a sexual way? <laughs> Blame woman. Well, no, I've been no, asked what, what kind of bonding like three times, and I'm now confused if there's a second type of bonding. I was just telling Frank this isn't a sex thing, that's all. Fucking we'll be nudged it. Oh, we'll get another drink. I don't have time. <laughs> oh. well, I, I don't have any answers. Okay. Why well. is he drinking? Stressing out. Motherfucker. Off God damn it. Woodman, that was right on my fucking head. Huh? I mm -hmm. see you on your piece of shit. Alright, so. Which one of y'all don't work a lot with the other? I'm guessing I can't put Woodman and Harkness together. Nope. I work with George a lot. And Woodman. Yeah. Yeah, I work okay. with George and Harkness. We all work together. Yeah. But you know, as we don't work with is mainly Lou and Me? Scott. Hmm. Okay. And Ames. And uh, I work with Ames a bit. Okay. All right, I think I know who to put everyone with. All right. Um. Oh, Ames, you don't have a navy, do you? Uh, oh, no. Fudge, and it won't be I'll... upgraded too. Does everyone have else have an upgraded? No, but I have a navy on me. Uh, what what upgraded? pistols do you have, or, or revolver sidearms? I got Mausers. Mhm. Mm Got my Schofields. Uh, yeah, I've, got, I've got to upgrade a navy. Well, that's what Walt Gold said anyway. But my yeah, navy's navy's, navy's are better than Schofields and whatnot. Yeah, they're in my box. Um, I'm oh. robbed. Sheriff Wolf. Pass with the uh, standing ovation on the uh, balcony there. I oh, know. Well, they're gonna get to watch. Watch what? Shoot, what are we doing? One. A bonding event. Yeah, oh, Wolf, it's not a sex thing, by the way. We're doing a bonding event? I, I'm, I'm not, mm -hmm. not interested in a sex thing. What, what you doing? Darling, I got <laughs> people to train Can someone please to explain what the sex thing is? Oh, no, that's okay, Mr. Woman. Don't want to know. You don't, you don't have to explain. 
I don't want to sound rude, but I got people to train to go to these other the departments. Navy. I don't have time for no, bonding. But why they're gonna be Schofield training with with the other department members? Yeah, but I need to train new recruits for these departments. I got like five people over there waiting on me. Oh, I can do they do they not want to be part of it? What are they gonna learn from here? Bonding, like shooting, how to teamwork. Shoot. Oh, How to work as a team. Fucking giddy oh, up, go. baby. Jesus. Look at that. Christ. Yeah, my oh, name wow. is in my box. Right, where are the others? Hey, is there any more that showed up? No, sir. Just us three. That's fine. Oh. Does everybody have a sidearm? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, okay, amazing. All right, so for this event, you cannot have anything but a sidearm equipped. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, or two. Um, one. Just one singular sidearm. Um, all of the newbies with the rangers, we might, we might get them with everyone else. Yeah, okay. Um, hello sir, what's your name? Oh, sorry. Sure. sorry ladies, Hector I gotta, Hernandez. I gotta go talk to Alright, Hector, you can okay. go with Woodman. Hey, yeah. sure. Howdy. Howdy. Now, yep. Hello, Hi, sir. Junior, Hello, Miss Pena. All right, you can go with Miles. I'm a recruit again. Mm. The fully trained, uh, ranger. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just going down the line back here. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, wait, oh, two, four, six. Seven, if if eight, I need to sit out, man, that's perfectly fine. No, no. God, um. <laughs> Would you I'm like to? No, 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 of course not, man. Rangers, we're always up for a challenge. Okay. Well, you're with Harkness. Fantastic. Where, Where's he gone? I've lost oh, Harkness. Right in front of him. He's, oh. he's right, right Normally there. Normally he's got a coat on. What's going on, Harkness? Hello, uh, sir. What's like your name? One. Conroy Spindle. All right. Conroy? You're Conroy. with a Mr. Hughes. Sweet. Uh, over there. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, gold hat. Well, Tom would be my knife. I would have bought my knife with me. My name's Frank. Sorry I'm about that, Harkins. I'm Lou. Nice to meet you. I said about Tom would have bought my knife. Nice to meet you, Lou. All right. I'm like four of them. All right, Lou. I'm with you. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, Mr. Frank. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Unless you want to go with Frank, I'd, I don't really don't care. I'll go with anyone. Ah, uh, Frank it is. Lou. Yep, yeah, gone the ball hat, sir. Yeah. Lou, balcony. I know. So... Lou's with Frank. Losing Frank. Man, yes. Oh. Why? Yeah, why not? Split them up. No, I'm splitting people up. I apologize, Arkness. Because these, get you, these uh, two have, have worked together before. Yeah, I've worked with everyone. This is the problem. You work with Lou all the time, so yeah, the I, I know him inside out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, did you want to go with oh. Frank and then Mr. Wolf goes with Lou? Sure. Yeah, um, let's, let's do that. All right. It's we all point. can go with Lou. Hey, Frank, we're the Ballard team. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, Dad. There's no one here for you. Unless... Unless... Governor. Smiley! I got the governor involved. Oh, oh, do, you, do you have a, do you have a you side on? some work. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's alright, I've got a name. So how Davies? Yeah, but this is good practice for him. You know? Wait, I'm doing this? Yeah, yep. what's your number? Sure sure Alright, everyone, let's gang up on the governor. What's your number? <laughs> uh, do I just use my current sidearm? Yeah, what do you have? Uh, my mouse. Mouse is not bad. There you go. Mm. Would you like my volcanic? No, no, it's alright. It's the mouse. Okay. okay. It's a spot, right. so I put all my good Wait. shit in the back. Yeah, everybody good on bullets. Doesn't don't no one needs to go buy some. What kind of bullets do we have to use? Uh, Are we all this honestly, whatever's in your um. Honestly, okay. whatever and yeah, whatever you so got. Explosive ammo. Good. God, you guys stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so white. I know. Hey. <laughs> if he takes his hat off, it's even worse. 
You should see when the governor takes his top off. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. Yeah, we'll keep that information as confidential. <laughs> that is very confidential. So, what should we do? Some things okay. need to stay all in right, the mouth. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> should we start from left to right? Yeah. So we okay. Shoot each other. Uh, well, considering how many people are dressed up in similar colors, I think uh, this is going to turn into a Rangers Hello. versus um, everyone else situation. Hello, you are set up behind yeah. the stable somewhere. Oh, we're just doing a big old death match, okay. that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bond. Alright, um... Down there? Mm, Y'all get to start from behind the doctors. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. oh the doctors, yep. Yeah. On it. Ah, right, spindle, let's roll. Yep. Yeah. Right. What was your name again, sir? Uh, George Hughes. George Hughes. Uh, what was your first name again? Conroy. Conroy Spindle. Conroy Spindle. I remembered Spindle. Has your you're you're one of the new recruits down here with the Rangers? That's correct. How's that going so far? Uh, second night, so it's good. Ah, oh, glad to hear it. Hope it's hope it's a good time. Yeah, no, I'm enjoying it so far. You are east or west? West side. West, nice. It's, just, it's been a it's been a challenging few days. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll tell you that much. Valentine, let me guess. Valentine and Blackwater. They. Just everyone's acting up. All these gangs are just they're just acting up. Oh, oh gee. All right. Uh, we got a plan. I reckon we take it slow. I see movement off the way I'm facing, off the other end of the train line. I reckon yeah, we watch for a bit. You keep an eye out that way. Yep. I'll keep an eye out this way so no one comes up behind us. Might just take a peek. I'll be right back. Absolutely nothing on the right side. How are you feeling about this side? I heard shots, but I can't see anything. I've got women running. Hmm. Either we hold up tight here or we are uh, double back around either straight ahead of me up the train line or around the back of the bank. I think. Maybe if we cut yeah around around the train station, get around behind the saloon. A bit more cover. Yep. Alright, let's uh let's let's get to the let's get to the next bit of cover. How's it looking? Should we get to the, like near the gunsmith? Should we get to the uh, that that cart yep. there with the hay bales on it? Yep, let's do that. to the to the stables oh I see somebody you see him over, yeah, over that way to the left of the stables yeah I think he's behind the baker sounds good
somebody up this way. I guess while they're still fire, maybe we get across the street. Yep. In the confusion. Oh, we got one dead on that roof. Couldn't get to the rock in time. Oh no, Frank out of nowhere. Oh, and there's Wolf. I thought we were just dealing with Lou, but then there's Frank. Surprise, Frank. <laughs> I hope Spindle's still going. Spindle! <laughs> oh, there's the governor! <laughs> there's the governor names. Uh, I'm using Q to zoom out and Z to zoom in. And then I can use A and D to move around a little bit. Just like a little radius around me. Yeah, you'd think like mouse wheel or something, but no, yeah, Q and Z, A and E, W and S. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Help! 
<laughs> Help! Hello. Oh, oh my god. I got you. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, Hello. How are you? you? I got you. I got you. Those are the hardest rubber bullets I've ever felt. I I know. I I think some people just had um stronger rubber bullets. I guess. Delivery. That was kind of fun, not gonna lie. Well, yeah, it was pretty good. Where are we putting these boys? I'm sorry. No, no, I'm saying up. I kept getting knocked out. Look, I was laying on the floor. <laughs> what were you doing oh, there for? Uh, I was trying to get up. I sorry, don't know. sorry. We're trying to have a rest. We was trying not to. Not at all. <laughs> Frank got Wake me up, sir. It is hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. It's Frank was Frank in the oh, was Frank in the horses there. <laughs> uh, maybe. Smiling. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just get you up on your feet, Did Mr. You Hughes. Win? Oh! Sorry, Mr. Hughes. You'll be fine. Oh! Uh, Feel better? God damn. Yeah. Oh, thank uh, you, William. Uh, sorry, Mr. Hughes. Second laugh. Ow. That was fun. I think we should have another round. We, uh, we ran out of ammo. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Nice you. Huh? We're at the doctor, sorry. Right here. Oh, cool. We'll oh, put him around yeah. here. Just Congratulations. Just <laughs> is, there, is there still people going? No. no. no doctor. The uh, Marshall Ames and Smiley Joe have won. Nice. Rigged. Another round. Very well done, Potter. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, rigged my God. fucking ass. Holy yeah. shit. Check their ammo. I don't think it's rigged like the other ones are. Three for all? <laughs> uh. I thought Spindle, Spindle and I were just dealing with Lieutenant, and then Frank, surprise yeah, Frank out of nowhere. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we I came second. Some, well done, oh, boys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got, got into the sheriff's office. Y'all did really good. good. I got another one. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I found another box ammo in my goddamn pocket. Good wow. fight, boys. Yeah. Holy. Wow. Good job, Spindle. Fun. Good fight. Cheers. We just, yeah. Su surprise, Frank! But it happens to everyone. <laughs> the work. So. Ow, that hurt. I'll take that. I got help. Um, the horse kicked me in the head. You know that gentleman that we saw before, Marshall. You, you wouldn't have to see where that boy went, did you? Oh, uh, thought they went uh, around. Shit, that was funny. Uh, we'll graves. Be... Yeah. Graves. Some of the graves. Mm. Just behind us. They helped me up, and I got kicked in the head by the horse. Oh no. Right. After that, no idea. Oh yeah, there's some spectators oh, yeah, on, on another stuff. roof and we kept shooting them. Good stuff. Good I, ones, uh... man. That, that hurt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you shot me, Woodman. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. yes, oh. Oh, sorry. Good we just saw movement on a roof. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. That was my bad. That was. Uh, I, I I went over to a roof oh, and then sorry. I was just like, oh, I just want a better view, and then you shot me. I was like, never mind, no view for me. Spider, do you want a good laugh? Mm, yeah, we had to jump onto the roof. Yeah, whatever. What, you, you, you need a drink after up. that, Margus? Yeah, yeah to be honest, I think so. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe that, that is maybe Lou wants a drink. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. He did really yeah, well. Just shot myself as well. Kicked. Fuck, that hurt. So, well, maybe. I hope y'all had fun. <laughs> so, man, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was you want Yeah, look, it's just... I'm good, thank you, sir. Maybe a bit later. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was fun. You should have. Uh, would, you know, would you like a lemon tea or something like that? No, I'm fine. I who's drink. Thank who's you. the governor? Give oh, me some. All right. How about you, son? You you want to do anything? You want taco? You want to? 
both anything. Would you like a, a, a you know, a drink, a, a taco? I want to say not to a taco, so that's oh, well, possible. Oh man, I can't hear What's your name again, sir? Hey. Yeah, your name. William Soldier. Hey, I'm a doctor. That's right. Yeah, we uh, started shooting at people uh, in the room. Uh, we one five nine. What was going on? <laughs> oh, oh, do you need uh, my assistance? Oh, that's specific. I appreciate it, sir. Bella coming down hey, the stairs. When did you join the East Law? Galaxy! Uh, Every just, Tuesday, just the blue this vest. will happen. Taco oh, Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays. Tuesday, how are you? Taco you? Tuesdays, Tuesdays and shooting other sheriffs. Legally. I can't, I can't get past this. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're a bit tired. Yeah, that's what it comes with age, apparently. I think that guy that came down the stairs yeah. is the one that was in the... There, Oh, you're oh, a little God. bit taller than uh, me. With good woman? Yeah, I'm about right. down. I think I'll down three people at least. Sorry, I was just coming down to get my taco. Boys, I got oh, a little oh, yeah. Lou. What was that? Oh, sorry. I think uh, you <laughs> shot right next to my head. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Station. I lost oh, well, my bullet. We got a big shot next to your head, I'm sorry. The free taco? Thank you. Yeah. Who was with you, woman? Uh, oh, me, I got me, uh, I have, uh, Mr. Hector here. ID. Oh, I got to put. Is this I only a lore room to leave or something? Not gonna lie, I did laugh. You're running it. off in the bushes. Yeah. You know, sucked. Hey, that's probably why. I don't know. Right up. Listen. That bitch would have been here and knows how to camouflage. You think what we do? It's that guy. That guy I've seen around in the governor's ear and in here blowing up places in Marmadil the other night. It's the guy that's walking around. I'll get some information on him. So I think we all head down to the, uh, the underground bar. And Mr. Hughes, I think you tell the governor I want to have a private chat with you. Lead him there. You got, So you guys will go ahead and I lead him there? Just the I two of us? I think that would be the best thing. Yep. Tell him to meet his uh, assistants up at Blackwater. We just want to have a little private chat. L like, do you want me to go get him now? Uh, whenever, you, whenever all this is finished. Do you, you, know where this, you know where this place is, right, Mr. Hughes? Oh yeah, uh, it's a. Uh, you take us one of the south roads, like it's like uh, southeast from here. So yep. you, go, you go and hug the mountain and around to the, you know, when it goes around, it's the first building up around the corner. There, you hug that mountain. Yeah, Will, uh, William Seliger took myself and Miss Wheeler there good, the other good. week. Good. Um, okay, good. Because the, the the governor might be here till nine thirty, I think. Okay. Based on his poster. Right. Okay. So we then will leave about that nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so nine onwards, I, I get him away from everyone. Meech is there. Yeah, just say it's really private. I need to have a word with you. Just say it's about the sheriff position and, and just bring him over. Or so, I make yeah. up something. Who knows? Maybe, maybe even make it sound like, you know, you might be handing your resignation or something. Okay, make it real yeah, serious. Okay, uh, got, mysterious it. got it. Mysterious just left out the front of the saloon. I think he's leaving oh, just oh, an oh, FYI. Okay. Okay, nine onwards. Got it, Wolf. Got it. Fuck. Tactical Tuesday. Ooh. Oh, what a great time. Oh, I'm hey, no one Hughes. Uh, sorry, I'm just feeling a bit off. Oh, you feeling alright, sir? Do you need a glass of water or another taco? No, I just... This is killing me. No, you uh, sweating a bit there. Are you you over to exert yourself? You need a bad taco or something like that? You need some, a cup of tea or something? Uh, I don't know. I might sit down for a bit. Yeah, have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah, take it easy, sir. Just, yeah, kick back. It's Taco Tuesday, after all. Oh, it's the greatest day. I had bad to feel oh, like this smoke. on a day. I had Woodman in his whistle again. Yeah, he really loves that whistle. You alright there, sir? Did you eat? How many tacos did you eat? Governor? Six? I had like six of them. Six? That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of tacos there, Paul. Oh, yeah, I like my tacos. It's only been an, over an hour, just over an hour, sir. That's, like, I love a taco as much as the next man, but six? Oh, well, I can't have any alcohol today, apparently, so tacos are filling the void. So, I'd, I'd ease up on the up on the tacos. Um, yeah, I think I might. 
Yeah, just w while, while we're enjoying the festivities, so I wouldn't mind just having a, a chat to you soon. Just once you've, you know, cooled yeah. down a bit. Yeah. But I, I know you grabbed me your chest there. Like, are you sure you're right? You're not... You, you don't feel like, you know, you're fuzzy in the head or anything like that? Uh, I just uh, I feel tired, but it's been a long day. It's pr probably just ride, riding around and looking at paperwork and all that stuff. Uh, sorry, Mr. Hughes, you... Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm Oh, what were we talking about? Oh, just, yeah, you know, just, yeah, soon if you, I'd love to just bend your ear about something. Uh, what's that, son? Oh, it's, 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 it's private, sir. It's. Oh, I can step away if you like. Oh, uh, let's, well, let's go for a walk. Maybe, might make me feel a little better. You want to go for a little ride somewhere private? Oh, sure, partner. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, jumping off of the table doesn't seem. Oh no! Where's Lou? Good lord. Fucking that horse just ripped through that crap, people. Holy shit. <laughs> Do, who owns the horse? Should we, uh, should oh we, should God. we take your wagon, oh. sir? Dead man. Uh, yeah, let's go take my wagon. Do uh, take our horse? Who owns that horse? <laughs> oh no, I think that's mine. Oh my oh, bad. Shit. Sheriff. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> That's can you can you boys just let Wolf and Lieutenant know that I'm just taking the governor for a ride to have a chat? Sure. sure. Yes, sir. You having a heart attack? Uh, no, I'm just. I think I just haven't run around in quite a while. I just taken it out of me. Uh. Come on, sir. We'll go somewhere private and just chill out. Maybe just you're getting uh, too many people around. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, Todd, can you just let the other... I'm just taking Where the... Where are you guys the, going? Just, uh, just going to go clear our heads a little bit. i got to run something by the governor. We'll be right back. All right, Hughes. Keep him safe. Will do. <laughs> I'll just bring it up here, sir, to spin it around. Oh, no, you're all good. Show you... Yeah, you, you, you've been drinking water, right? Uh, I've been having lemon teas. Lemon teas? Yeah. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm maybe a... Cold. a I have to lay off the alcohol, so... Maybe leave, maybe a... Maybe loosen the necktie a bit or something? Can you breathe all right? Uh, yeah, I might take it off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh! God, it is dusty out here. Yeah. Oh, it also is really hot. It is hot, isn't it, sir? It looks, like, it looks, uh, looks like the sun's going down for the night, so it should be a, a uh, bit cooler. Hopefully, it cools down. I'm feeling real hot. Yeah, so I know a really good, um, like, you what, you say you you don't want to, you're off the drink, are you? Yeah, yeah, I just... Fuck. I've been told by my personal assistants, I've been told by the doctors, I've been told by everyone I need to stop drinking. Aw, oh, not even one just every now and again on a Friday night? Uh, that's what I said, but they said, no, you should cut it all out. Aw, oh, well, I understand that, like, I've, I've been kept uh, cutting off the drink as well just because I was uh, you know because you know when I threw up on myself at that dance so I've just yeah. been wanting to not make a fool of myself and I'm glad I did that in, you know back then so I could be ready for now when I'm sheriff oh, I understand so I'm sorry uh, yeah um, what are we talking about oh you want to well, yeah, we're just, uh, I know there's this really great place nearby. It's a, it's really quiet, nice and cool. Maybe, maybe just, uh, you give you a chance to cool down, clear your head, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of people talking and, and all that. You know, clear your head and then we'll go, and then we'll come back. Oh, I just, yeah, I just, when we're there, I, I just want to talk about just, you know, the job and, and that. You know, it's nothing yeah. bad, just. Oh, I hope it's just something good. I need some good news. 
think I may have gone the long way. I do apologize, sir, but it's it's looking. Oh, sorry, I just got to cut through the cacti a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, sir. Oh, 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 sorry, I missed yeah. the turn. Oh. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Woo. It's not this one. Yeah, this is really. Have you ever heard have heard of these uh underground bars? Look like these private bars? No, I've never heard of one of these. Like, look, I don't want to. I don't want to send people away from a, the saloon for Taco Tuesday. But if you ever just want like a private, private place, uh, this is the one, sir. I, yeah, I, I was shown it by the uh, the doctors recently. I couldn't believe it. I, uh, I would have loved nothing more than that. I, actually, I've been. Uh, I, I the last couple of weeks, I've just really been wanting to drink. Nothing more than a good old cold. Oh, uh, look, sir. Look, even I myself, you know, with the with the pressures of the job as sheriff of the West, there have been times where I've been thinking, y'all, just one little drink wouldn't hurt. You know, I did bring down a. I just haven't had a nice bottle of tequila on me, just in case the uh, the moment ever arises. Do you like tequila, sir? Uh, I love tequila, son. It's good. It, does it? Uh, have you ever been down to Mexico? Uh, I haven't been there personally myself. I got close to the border, but that was only to stop a couple of uh, a couple of Mexicans coming over right before I, you know, back in my sheriff days. All right. How was your uh, How was your sheriff days, sir? Do you have any uh, good stories from that? Ah, uh, they're just all. It all kind of blends into each other, son. You, you, you're doing what you think's the right, and then, you know, you I'm know how it goes, son. You've got to have those days that haunt you every single day. Imagine you could really, having that previous sheriff experience, you'd really have some wisdom to, to bestow on me, um, just with everything I've been dealing with. But I think we're here. Let me, uh... The only wisdom I'll give you, son, is keep your work and your love life separate. Oh no, love life going on, sir. There's, yeah, Miss Wheel and I, we're just uh, we're just friends. It's platonic. Uh, I believe yeah. this is the place. Oh, oh, we got Lou. Oh, howdy, Frank. Oh, so Lou, that's Frank. Huh? How you doing, Frank? Oh, Mr. Wolf. Oh, fellas, you enjoy this. You enjoy this underground bar as well. No fucking way, y'all. Oh, <laughs> oh Lou. No. What the? How, fu how did y'all even know about this? Hey, great minds think alike. Well. Well, while you're all here, yeah, the governor, I was just going to get some wisdom from the governor about being a sheriff and just, you know, I got some, I just need to get some things off my chest. We're just going to, we're just going to pop inside. Let's go. Let, let's go. Let's get, oh, let's get out of here. This is uh, insane. Come this on, is, sir. Let's get you inside. Oh yeah, just follow Lou here. Let's go. Call him for treat, I tell you that. It's a really nice place. Oh, if Miss Vanessa's on tonight, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. It's really well, great. For a secret place, y'all seem to know a lot about it. Literally underground. It's so neat. I love it. Beautiful. The doctors love it, and now we love it. Well, I didn't know that these fellas loved it, but it's... Hold on. Like I always said this was secret. How do so many people know about it? Oh, the doctors stumbled yeah, across Mr. it. Well, holy... <laughs> well... I do like the sound of. Oh, look how nice uh, it is, sir. Look at the furnishings. Well, look at you. It's beautiful, isn't Are it? Are you interested in some company? Oh, look! It, look, Lou's oh, at the I bar and everything. Is one handsome man today. <laughs> Whiskey. Right. Well, that's too bad for uh, you. I shouldn't be drinking, boys. But oh, come on, governor. Hey, man, you shouldn't oh. be drinking. Have another one, mate. Look, sir. Uh, like I said, I brought a bottle of tequila just in case. The the mo a moment nice. comes up, and look! Look at all this. We got all the the leaders of the alone, of the free world here. Uh, 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 all right, boys. Well, I'll whisk you. <laughs> there you go. One. Uh, right, there you go, Mister Smart. <laughs> there you go, Mister Smart. Uh, <laughs> thank you, son. <laughs> no problem. Luckily, I am. Oh, I might the make this chest pain go away. Oh, cheers, sir. Oh, cheers. You boys want to come get your, uh, your drink? Gentlemen, to the governor. To the governor. To the governor. To to the governor. governor. Well, well to boys, the governor. I don't, I don't think I deserve yeah. it. I mean, 
Well, I, I oh. think we all fought Can't hard today in that in that here. bonding exercise. And, That's true. Uh, oh, well, the marshal did a lot of the work. I just. Well, oh, God. Hey, just a bonding exercise, just in general. You know, you're doing so well out there. My and it must be so fucking hard, a man in your position, to do all that, you know. Without people, people to bond places. with. Yeah, I got my, my, my assistants now. They they help me kind of get past the, the loneliness of being behind the desk. You should come out on patrol with us. Uh, that, that would be uh, nice. You know what, after today, uh, even though my chest is killing, I, 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 I think I would... Uh, I would very much love to get back on the horse and maybe do a patrol one day, but yeah, we'd love to have you. I, yeah, I've been I've been going to Wolf here for a lot of guidance as to how to conduct myself as an effective sheriff, and you know, I'd I'd love to get your side of it as well, sir, because you know sometimes I just the pressure of you know, you know I've got these I've got these weird business owners and these like gang people they're all in my ears they're pressuring me to do stuff telling me that i've uh you know that they've warned me about stuff and it's just the the, the stress sir it's a it's a lot oh yeah it comes with the territory son you know being a sheriff you're going to be hearing a lot of things you're going to be dealing with a lot of things uh, you know it's not it's not much less you know it's pretty similar to my role you're going to be you're going to be hearing things you're going to be doing things and you know it's a lot to take in. Oh. Sorry, give me one second, boys. Oh. Take a seat over there, Mr. Governor. Yeah, I could use a seat. Oh. Yeah, I might grab another whiskey. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm glad I got a lot of tacos. You gentlemen can take a seat. I'll stand. Oh, thank you, Lewis. Very kind of you. No All right, sorry, boys. This, my oh, chest is good. killing me. Ah, it does feel good knowing that you know whenever I, the pressures of the job gets too much, that I got a a network of other fellow leaders in the in the law departments that I can, you know, confide in about well pretty much anything. It really means a lot. Well, I'm glad you boys are all getting along and you know working together. Sounds oh, like yeah. uh, things are going good. It was a very terrifying today, sir. Before leaving for Taco Tuesday, I was on the street with a uh, Miss Wheeler in a uh, in Blackwater, and uh, then these two gentlemen jumped us with guns. Um, they tell me they they hogtied us and they went to kidnap Miss Wheeler, and they tell me we warned you, Hughes, we warned you. And I'm thinking I've had about one bajillion meetings over the last few days. What the hell they warned me about? But I'm I'm just so thankful that Woodman was there, uh, Lily Summers, Jeb. They all, they saved us. I just, I don't know what I would have done if Miss Wheeler was taken, but I just, it's just, it's really important to, you know, lean on, lean on your friends whenever you're in trouble. Bother, They've son. always got your back. So good. That's good to hear that, son. It sounds like you're, uh, you've got a lot of people who are, you know, cheering for you and make, wanting to see a difference in this county, so... You know, I'm, I'm all, you know, I'm glad to hear all this. Oh, well, well Wolf's left a bottle of whiskey. You want another quick shot? Uh, I, I, I shouldn't, boys. My chest ain't feeling good at all. Yeah, no. Gentlemen, please. Got some clean glasses here, at least. Please. Right? Uh, Use. Oh, look, I'll even have just another little quick one. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you, boss. Special occasion? Uh, all right, I'll I have one more. Yeah, why not? I have one. Just a little. <coughs> it's definitely been a. It's been nice being down here this way again for a uh, for Taco Tuesday. I know. I know. I always speak so highly of Taco Tuesday, but just a. Uh, it's a lot better than the last time I was down this way. It was a. Uh, it was actually when I bumped into into you, Governor. Um, we were we down here, and uh, I think it's last time I saw you drinking, and uh, there was explosions in the street, and y you had a meeting or something. How did that go?
Sir? Um, yeah, my meeting went fine. So, is there something you want to ask about? You're trying to get to the point of? No, just it's just it, this this Taco Tuesday has been a lot more. It's been a more relaxing affair in New Austin than explode. You know, explosions in the street. Oh, it's much better. Explosions. I don't remember any explosions, but then again, I don't remember much about that day. I do thank you, though, for dragging me out of the street on that day. And not one of my proudest moments, but I do do thank you for that. What do you... Hmm, <laughs> Mr. Governor. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Gosh, I tell you what, Barry, must be hard. Must be hard, man. In your position, so I mean, it has its days, but I ain't. I bet. I bet it has its days. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have our days too, right, gentlemen? Do indeed. Yeah. Do indeed. Definitely do. Uh, we definitely do. <laughs> Are you finding the uh, oh, governor yeah. position at the <laughs> moment, Smiley? Uh, it's, it's fine, gentlemen. It's real fine. <laughs> right. How's uh, the sheriff business going? Mm, it's been good. Yeah, we're good cleaning up on the east side there, you know. Folks starting to get some identification together, which is which is all good. Um, you know, folks are starting to uh, less rob folk, which is good. Don't fuck I guess they're more concentrating on store robberies and, you know, stuff like that now. So that's good. Starting to leave the folk alone, which is good. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear my sheriffs are making a difference out there. Yeah, well, we're trying, you know, I guess with the limited numbers, you know, Governor, we're having to start to, you know, team up a bit more, you know, and travel mm. into, you know, each other's jurisdiction, you know. So I guess we're uh, concentrating fire on, you know, an area or two kind of clean up. And then, uh, you know, that way it uh, enables us to kind of come together more before you know, we get some more numbers, you know, so being able to uh and yeah, be around be around each other and and uh yeah we, we've got some good bonding sessions out there right gentlemen oh, we do on the field constant mm -hmm. bonding constant man yeah, fantastic All i'm loving this bonding <laughs> yeah um <laughs> so uh <laughs> so i take it everything's fine then Hmm. Well, almost. <laughs> almost. Almost, Mister. Uh, Mr. Almost. Joe. Well, almost. We just have a slight discrepancy. Do. do just do. a slight one. It just keeps, just keeps kind of, just you know, just it's in the back of the, in the side of the neck there. Really tickling really. the back of the throat. Oh Picking yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Keeps, keeps me coughing all the fucking time, Stage all the time. <laughs> Well, boys, the cat got your tongue. We wanted someone to talk about it. Well, I might as well just start it off then. <laughs> Kick it off, Mr. Tenet. We were hoping Mr. Governor would have given us some more insight. All right, Mr. Governor, we got to, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. What? Okay. What is this, boys? Bonding. What is this? Bonding. We were drinking some whiskey. It's Tuesday. Drink with the boys. Drink with the I'm boys. Sorry. I'm sorry. That is so serious. It was you know, I've been dealing with a lot no, of the east. You know, I'm bonding. I gotta loosen up a bit. It's like a rubber bullet. Rubber <laughs> bullet. I'm, I'm very monotone. You know, I've been a bit of tacos in you. There's nothing to worry about. A bit, bit formal, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we had, what, we had having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, seriously. This fucking cigar. <laughs> well, I guess 
Sorry, sorry, Tenet. What, 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 what do you, what do you need to say? No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. That's all. You know, just a couple of friendly questions. All right, shoot, sir. <laughs> well, you know, you don't have to lure me down to a bar to have a few questions. You can always talk to me. Uh, no normal bars. It's a good old it's, titty exactly. Bar. Exactly. <laughs> I just wanted to ask a couple of questions about one of your assistants in particular, Mister Joe. Yeah, which one? Dottie Goldsworth. Um, what about it? How did Miss Goldsworth become a personal assistant to you? Well, I was having too much work and I couldn't keep track of all the meetings and things, so I put out an advertisement and mm-hmm. I got a telegram a few days later saying, you know, with her application, she came in, did an application, and, uh, you know, from there on, I gave her a trial run for two for two days, and she passed with flying colors. And well, by every day, she's been actually a massive help to me. Okay, do you do background I'm checks? I'm hoping on to make enough money assistant? to learn how to read. Uh, boys, I've already talked to some of you sheriffs about this. About yes, that, right? I know that she had a previous criminal record, and she had an outstanding fine at the time. I paid off the fine, and she's working off with me at now, the time. But do you know that she's still? Running around with those same criminal groups? Oh, son, you can't... What, we're just going to start locking people up for association? Well, I believe I was told that when she started working with you, that her and a one Cowden Wiles had uh, ended their relationship. Is that correct? Well, when, when that was at the time, I believe, yes, they were having some relationship problems. But, son, I... I, I I ain't talk. Why, why are you asking for gossip? This sounds like gossip. It's, it's, it's not really gossip. I'm just trying to put an end to a large-scale investigation. Absolutely. Putting all the pieces to the puzzle, Governor, you know, exactly. as you would as you would want us to do, you know, as as uh, as lawmen that you trust, you know. To, well, to... doing our I, job. Over the drinks with the boys. Hunters. Well, as boys, I've already had a discussion with one of the sheriffs regarding this information, and I said the exact same thing. You give me evidence of anything that's happened since I've employed her, and that she will no longer be under my employment. All right, let, let, let me just let me just continue with my investigation a little bit, Mr. <laughs> Joe. Just hear what I have to say. I'm not pointing fingers at you, okay? Now, Miss Doddy said that her, her relationship with Cowden Wiles did end. Now, I've been following a trio of bank robbers that have been at Blackwater, that have been at uh, Saint Denis. They all dress in black. And each one of them have a particular item of clothing that stands out. Now there were two males and one female suspect. <coughs> the female suspect had a double loadout on her on her vest and specific buckles that were on her hat and belt. Now these bank robberies they stopped after. She, you know, she became the governor's assistant. Now, Mr. Hughes, I believe, had a meeting with Caldern Wiles up on a tree in the Great Plains. Is that correct, Mr. Hughes? That's right. Never, never shied away from that fact. Yep. Now, I was in the bushes watching that meeting the whole time. There was about, I'd say, 18 to 20 riders all dressed in black. Mm-hmm. Correct, Mr. Hughes? That, yep. That we were severely outnumbered. Now, there was a lady there with that specific loadout on her chest with the specific belt buckle on her... Specific, sorry, specific belt buckle, specific bucket... Sorry. <laughs> belt buckle and buckle on her hat, dressed in black. She seemed to be leading the group, almost... Now, that same woman came to me while I was working at a ranch down in Hillhaven and said, hey, Lou, would you like to be a hostage for me in a bank? I said, sure, why not? That's perfect opportunity for me to take evidence, to take note on who's doing what. It was Miss Doddy Goldsworth. Now, oh, oh. surprise, surprise. I don't know who the other gentlemen were, but I do have confirmation that was her. Now, let's fast forward a couple of uh, days later. Cowden Wiles, 
<laughs> was arrested. Uh, lost the weapon. Also, I believe prior to that, Dodie Goldworth, Goldsworth was uh, broken out of prison. Don't have uh, evidence on who broke her out, but she was broken out. Now, when I said Cowden got arrested, he had a weapon taken off him. And I believe he was not happy about that. Skip a couple of days later. We, I wake up, St. Denis, gunshot. I walk out. There's a lot of people standing up the front of the doctor's office. I creep up to see what the commotion is. Look in the window and see Cowden Wiles laying dead on the floor. Dodie Goldsworth crying over her former partner. Now, Jeb was upset. I spoke to Jeb and Dinger saying, what's going on out here? Jeb was saying that, well, Dinger was saying that he and Jeb shot at Cowden and Jeb did the final blow, killing Cowden Wiles. I said to Dinger, what's going on at, uh, in the uh, department there? Why is the, uh, why is Dottie inside there with the governor? And I, I followed you guys for a while. He said that, uh, he believes that the, that gun that Cowdoon was angry about has been returned to her. Is that correct, Mr. Governor? That is true. Okay. Now, that gun has been returned. Now, Mr. Wolf here the other day was by himself in Rhodes, attending to a bank robbery. I was doing my thing in the bushes, you know, just hiding. And out of nowhere... On the back of Dodie Goldsworth's horse was a man. Now, this man walked up to, I'm not going to mention names, to a certain civilian, and that civilian said, Hey, Cal. Cal is in Cal Dern. Cal Dern. Now, hmm. he's alive, and this Dodie Goldsworth knows about it. So what do you know about Mr. Cowdern being uh, alive, Mr. Governor? What I know, boys, is that I was with Miss Dolores, who denounced the boy dead. The boy was dead for over five minutes. I withheld a death, a death certificate to try and contact the next of kin. The next of kin didn't show for quite some time, so I told Miss Dolores to put through a death certificate. And then that's the end of where I left, boys. Right. Would this be the same Dolores we uh, have had reports of standing with cronies gunning down people in the streets of Blackwater? Excuse me? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, you heard right, Governor. Absolutely. The head, the head doctor, Mr. Lores, sitting in the saloon while folk are getting shot to fucking shit. And we got one of her doctors, Miss Wheeler, running around, patching everybody up, multiple casualties. And she up there sitting up in the fucking saloon, having, having a little sipping on whiskey with Marcus well, Dunn and all his cronies. Well, shit, boys. Ladies deserves a lab of break as well, like everyone else. I encourage you uh, boys me, to take a break. Let me put in there. Uh, doctor, <sighs> swallow on the book to help injure whenever they are injured. That's her oath that she took. You don't just sit by idly and let people die. I'm That's me saying here that here. I see four people up the are road shooting up folk. Oh, it's my day off. What am I going to do? What, what, what do you mean? No, I'm a fucking ranger. I deal with it. Same as she should. Yeah. She's a doctor. She deals with the injured. Helps the poor. That's her oath that she took. That might be your how you work, son, but a lot of people also deserve a break, and I believe that people should take a break when they need to, especially if it's for them, making sure they come back and are able to do the job. Now, whether, whether, regardless of the situation, whether she, you know, was, you know, had taken a break or should have been doing the job, that's up, that's up to y'all to decide. I can't decide on anything like that. As far as I'm aware, Mr. Loris does a fantastic job, and that's that. All you so far, all you boys have told me is either incidents that have happened in the past or what what rumors of hearing things. No, I have a photo of Cowden being alive, but my question is, 
do you think that this is maybe a ploy that Dotty Goldsworth maybe got close to you and then this whole death of Cowdern Wiles was staged just to get that gun back? Oh. I heard it. I heard that gun meant a lot to them. You really think people have gone out of their way, the amount of effort, time to really go over all this just for a gun? Think about all the think about all the time and effort we all do just to get a bit of information. Look well, what we did here today. Um, well, that's my you, point, yeah. son. You've given me nothing, but all you've given me is rumors. I haven't Co seen correspondence. Con con has not has not been sent to you, Governor, because we 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 have felt that there there is a security breach with Ms. Goldsworth as your assistant. We can't trust the fact that we hear we hear we hear and we see and we've got you know all these things here that uh, you know it's just way way too much and way too high sensitive information to just be going you know here here it is you know for everybody to see everybody Frank, to know did we not have a conversation about a week and a half ago about me asking you to you know put out a little have a little scope out on miss uh miss goldsworth to make sure she's uh not doing anything uh inappropriate in her spare time did i not make make that call to you you did brother well the reason I did that is because I heard y'all were concerned. And I was like, well, I'll take things into my own hands to make to ease y'all y'all mind. Now, has anything come up, Frank, that you believe that I should be concerned about? Only stuff that's come up is the stuff that Lou's been talking about. So, the things that you've pretty much brought up have been since the prior to me, uh, be, her being in my employment. Well, technically, right now, she's aiding and abetting a wanted criminal. Aiding, abetting a wanted criminal. Now, so Mr. Mr. Cowden Wiles did shoot at Tessa. The uh, East Department did have to bring him down, leading to his so-called death. Now, I believe that if he was alive, he would be sent to Siska, fine. But his uh, his body was what taken, and uh, somehow the dead are walking, Mr. Cho. That's right. And he was sold to the doctor before these events just happened, which doctor. which led to breaking the the agreement where Mr. Hughes and him had, where within he, days, know, would, within days, not so, even a week. So if I was to go through Saint Denis, shoot everybody I see, and be like, I'm dead, do I get out of the Cisco free? Boys, we, we have literally a, we had have... the head doctor pronounce the person dead. There is a death certificate regarding that. I okay, don't know so what you want from me. Let me let me slip you a little photo, Mister Smiley. Miss Goldsworth was also found in Valentine the other day in an incident where she was shot in the middle of town with another man. And we also have a record where a doctor responded to that. The man would not give his name out, and she also was questioned by the deputy on site, which we responded to the doctor's call which led us there. And she would not give us a fucking thing. The attitude changed from when she's around you to when, where she was in the back of the fucking graves. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey, MJ. Uh... Hey, Ash. We would not be, you know, having this conversation, Governor, if we were all not on the fucking same page here. All of us. You see that man in the middle there? That's... uh Cowdard talking to Phoenix Savannah and an unknown assailant to the left. He came riding in with Dottie Goldsworth. How is someone dead walking? Yeah, talking? that's right. That's right. And trust me, we, we, we've asked folk. We've asked folk plain and outright, you know, who the fuck is this? You know, and what we're getting is we're getting, we just get bullshit story after bullshit story. And my question is, boys, why are you raising this to me? Right now, it sounds like you've got an investigation you're working out, and y'all are pestering me about doing. this. Isn't this what I pay you boys to do? And that's what we're doing. So yeah, why no, am I here? So is it true or untrue that yourself approached Miss Wheeler and told her to keep her nose out of things she don't need to be keeping her nose in? I told Miss Wheeler that she needs to stop going around and questioning her head doctor because her job is at stake. Question her head doctor about what? About this whole conspiracy about me. I, I made the call. You didn't. What, 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 what conspiracy about you? 
but about me. I didn't say about me. I said the yeah. whole conspiracy about this. But boys, you think I? This is the first time I'm hearing this. All right, let me, I've already let me, had two sheriffs come up to me about this. You've had two sheriffs come up about about Dottie Goldsworth, not about you. Let me throw a little. Why am I you. getting brought into this? She's your assistant, and I'll have some other questions as well. So just boys, quickly. you are, you all are walking on thin ice here. You understand that, right? I do understand that, and this, you know what? This is all you can put this all on me. I'm willing to uh, risk it all, but smiley. Another question is. You said that you told Dolores to hold off with the uh, the death certificate until you find next of kin, right? Correct. Now, why is it that after sites of uh, Cowder and Wiles start appearing, the death certificate all of a sudden is out? Well, that I can't answer you, son, because I didn't know there were sites of this boy. And if that is... The, do you even know if this is actually the boy? Have you actually got evidence? Have you got an ID? Have you got anything to go on? Well, what I'm hearing, boys, is y'all y'all hey, yeah. are listening to rumors... And you're not getting to the bottom of it. And that's what I pay y'all to do. Get to the bottom of it. And like I said, this is what we're doing right now. Well, that doesn't we're sound like it. What it sounds like is y'all trying to bring me into the mix here. I'm not trying to bring you into the mix. Like I said, we're just asking you a couple of questions. We haven't pinned anything onto you. At maybe, the end of the day, maybe we should ask maybe we should ask Mr. Cowden's brother. Yeah, y'all all know his brother, right? No, I didn't even know he had a brother. Oh. Oldsworth mentioned him. All right. What was his name again? Ugh, I can't even remember. Was it uh, Dean? I think that rings a bell. Rings a bell. I see. And what's he here? In town, is he? Maybe well, picking up know, some. Son. Maybe picking up some belongings. What belongings would be left there? Mr. Cal Derns and a family member would be picking up for him after the fact. Long after the fact. I can't answer that, son. That's more of that's something you might have to Geraldine talk to Miss Goldsworth to or uh that girl needs to be more careful. Talk to Mr. Dean himself. Let's see. It's strange, Governor, you, you failed to mention that. When you think that you you know, that that would be something that you would bring up, you know, so everyone was 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 able to know who who in the zoo there. What do you mean I should have brought up? I just told well, you. I well, we're asking questions of Mr. Cather and we're asking questions of Mr. Goldsworth. You ain't, you ain't felt, you ain't think to mention that, you know, he, he got other family, stuff like that. Son, I don't know any of that information. Again, I don't take every single word I hear on the street as fact. Did you not just say Miss Goldsworth told, mentioned, mentioned his name? I said she you? may have mentioned it offhand. I didn't say I, I, that was a certainty. Like I said, boys, I got work to do half the time. I don't have them sit around and tell me their life stories. They got jobs to do as well. Interesting. Do you, can you tell me also anything else about the disappearance of Sage Penny on the night that you, her, and Dottie went to the sheriff's department to go grab that weapon? Mr. T Wait, on the excuse me? Say that whole again thing again? Can you tell me anything about when Miss Pena was missing after the night Cowden got shot. Because I remember seeing you, her, and Dottie walk up to the Sheriff's Department. God, it happened so long ago, son. I can't even remember where I went. I think I, I think after that, I went and after I, you know, was making sure Miss uh, Goldsworth was okay... I walked over to the sheriff's department and I think I, uh, you know, I, I think I couldn't handle hearing, uh, you know, all the, the grieving and everything happened. And I had to go head over back to my office and I took a nap to try and forget the day even happened. Okay. You said that she went home. Do you know who she went home with? I didn't say she went home, son. I said I went home. Uh, you, the other day in Valentine, you told me that she walked home. And I still remember when I said she never made it home. Oh, you're talking about Miss Pena again. Miss Pena again. I, I, yes. I assume from the as I said, son, the moment I left those, those doctors, uh, the doctors, I and went to the sheriff's office, and then went back to mine. I don't know where they went. Okay, you can't tell me any information because you did walk in at the back of the Walter God's gun shop, and there she was. Son, that was a couple of days. That well, I think you're getting your times messed up, son. No. Nope. So what are you asking? You asking? You asking if they? For, about what happened when Miss Pena went missing? Or are you asking um, when I'm asking, we you know finished? what happened when she went missing and how and why she was found in the uh, back of Walt Gold's? I told so. you everything on the day, son. Me and 
me and Miss Goldsworth were going around trying to find her because she hadn't showed up for work for two days. And then we just happened to go to Valentine and uh, to say, you know, we've, we've heard a lot of things from Mr. Mr. Gold. So we thought we'll go and have a chat with him. Maybe he had heard something or seen something. And then just so happened when I was, you know, Miss Goldsworth told me there was a, maybe I should go check my telegrams just in case I got something. And the next thing I know, I see her laying on the ground in the back of Mr. Gold's gun uh, smith. Okay, fair enough. Do you need me to tell you that a third time? <laughs> if you'd like to. <laughs> now, boys, I really hope this is leading somewhere because I've got meetings to be at soon, and this is, this sounds like you're circling on information that's rumors and nothing with evidence. What you talking about? We're, we're telling you all, you know, as much as we, you know, we're there, you know, you've been given a photo, you know. There's a, there's a there's a there's an individual on the back of a horse there that matches the description, Mr. Calvin. Boys, if, if if let's say this is a brother or whatever, would it not make sense they would look similar? I've had multiple people tell me that they said that Calvin's alive. Again, I had a source you're, you're come up to it. me. That sounds like rumors. At the end it's of the day, not, it's... it's up to you boys to go up and find evidence. And if you don't have evidence, then why are we here? Because that's part of my job is to question everything. And Correct. That is exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't mean I question everything and everyone. Well, I can't fault you on that, boys. And no. If I wasn't doing my job and let this all go, then that would be quite concerning, wouldn't it, Mr. Smiley? It would very much so. And this is why I'm getting concerned, boys. You do realize what you're, if you're trying to put me into the mix of this, this could be, uh, a bit of a problem, a big problem, especially for me, because I need yeah. to make sure those voters come in next year, and I'm definitely not going to get a vote if they think something's up and something's funny, right? You do understand the problem with that. Yeah, yeah, no, we do. We we understand. Yeah, we absolutely understand. Those those votes must be, you know, they would be very important. Uh, so you're saying I, you think I would I would put all that on the fucking line? Well, we'd hope not. Let me tell you something, Caldern, Is this what you're thinking? Let me just say you something. Just because I'm asking you questions, okay, as a pink what what I go by is everybody is innocent until I find them guilty. Right now you're not you're not guilty of anything. It's oh. just questioning. Now, see, this is where I'd love to believe you some, but you know, I'm I, I stretch my legs. I used to be a sheriff back in my time and I also know what it's like to, you know, lure a man into thinking he's gonna be having a good time with a bunch of, you know, colleagues and stuff and then all of a sudden start interrogating him you're not having a good time well i can't i can't say it's leaving Looks a sour like taste in my mouth i'll be honest with that that's oh, true. I was about enjoying that's just, just the alcohol around. mr joe but uh like i said it's just a couple of questions you're not you're not blamed for anything we're just trying to get to the bottom of it you know it's really all it's itching this partner you know you can imagine governor you know it's just that one extra itch you know, not only are we dealing, you know, with new jurisdictions, you know, folk, our deputies are dealing with, uh, you know, new sheriffs. You know, there, there's a lot of stress on us. You know, the Pinkertons are getting more and more investigations. You know, the Rangers are under fucking stress. You know, they get, you know, they hear that recruits are, you know, in and out, in and out. They're to stay, they're to come, they're to go. You know, poor fucking Miles, you know. And it's, uh, you know. We're just trying to, we're all just trying to really get to the bottom of something that's, you know, that's coming up, you know, just keeps popping up, keeps popping up. No, I understand, Paul. No, I understand. Just, well, look, what is, what is there anything you need to ask me, boys? Because there's nothing else I can tell you that you haven't already asked. We're just concerned because this guy kills doctors, he kills people, and he's on the streets loose again. And that's what I'm... And all all this could be happening right under your nose, Governor. You I know. understand that, boys, but unless y'all have evidence, there's nothing I can do about it. Just one question from me that I just Jesus. can't get my head around is this gentleman I keep seeing around. I see him at law leadership meetings. I see him at Taco Tuesdays. And then I see him staring, staring us down in the streets of Armadillo with explosions, and then he rides off on a horse with you on the back for a meeting. I, I don't know. Is this a marshal we haven't met, or no, 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 no? no. He's the, uh, he's one of the boys from up in New York. He, uh, pretty rugged he's... for a New York fella. 
yeah, he just, you know, he's, 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 you know, trying to, you know, get used to the, the, you know, the, the, the county air down here and he's trying to dress the part. Doesn't want, you know, wants to blend in and everything. He wants to blend in. Well, unfortunately, Governor, you don't blend in too well. Is that right, Mr. Hughes? No, it's just, it, it's hard to forget the face of a man staring you down the street while explosions ring around. Um, do, imagine as a fellow from New York, he'd, he'd have a name or there'd be an ID or something. Well, boys, that's, that's none of your business what his name is. That's for me to know and that's it. Sorry, boys, just need to quickly grab some food. I'm starving. No problem. <laughs> but I'm sure you can see our concerns here, Mr. Joe. Well, you don't have to be concerned about him. He's completely fine. I trust him and with my whole goddamn heart. At least I need to put my trust in him. Why would that be? <laughs> Sorry, nothing. Um, <laughs> oh, why would you need to put your trust in this man? We don't even know this man. He says he's from New York and he rugged as hell. You know, we, we see him whispering things to you as well on that meeting. Not phased by explosions. No, definitely not. No, definitely and, not. No, that man that was <laughs> well, well, didn't even wince. And uh, he, Mr. Hughes, he has a meeting with you out in the desert. Without any uh any assistance, I nothing. Not even a security detail. It, 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 boys, that is confidential governor stuff. I oh, need to. I okay. need. I I only talk with him and the other boys in New York. That's understandable, but why would you go out all the way into the desert for a meeting when you have a nice, comfy courthouse up in Blackwater with you know those fancy chairs with the eagle on it? Oh, you know what? It, wouldn't you know what it's like as a Pinkerton? There's ears everywhere. Yeah. I'm sure your more... assistants could make sure there's no pioneers. Well, I don't even need my... I don't want my assistants knowing about those conversations. As I said, boys, it's, it's confidential governor things. Confidential governor things, I see. <laughs> mm. well, look, the boys, other... is, there, is there anything else y'all need from me? Because I got meetings to be at. But the other marshals know about this uh, gentleman. No. No one knows. No, it's, just no, me. it's just things that only a governor needs to know. It's governor things. Like don't, don't you think that got, they're going to raise a couple questions? Well, if you boys are so good at uh, doing these investigations like you've done with me, well, I'm sure you'll find out one way or another, won't you? I guess we're going to have to then. I guess we will, you know. I guess we'll, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's, gentlemen. You know, that's just what we do, governor, you know. Unless, you know, there is something that, you know, maybe you do want to say to us all while we're here, you know. No. You know, since we gave you the respect, you know, bring you somewhere nice and quiet. Well, boys, you if know. you want to give me some respect, how about you stop asking questions about me and you start getting to the bottom of these goddamn criminals and policies? How about that? Hey, you know, we, we've been doing that. We've been doing that, but it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit hard, you know, when uh, we, we come up through, you know, respond to things and, uh, you know, we get, uh, you know, multiple you know man blacked out you know on black horses returning back to blackwater shooting up the saloon you know about that mr governor uh, no but is it getting real hot in here no no it's actually quite ventilated down here this is this is one place down in uh, armadillo where you go up on the ground somewhere and it's uh it's nice and cool that's why i used to take my rangers you look like you're sweating there governor a lot to be I... honest from a man who's uh you know ain't, ain't got nothing you know to hide oh it's just i ain't run around with you know with the sheriffs in quite a bit and it took it out of me you you yeah, you, you late to a meeting yeah, I got a, I got a head of a meeting. Well, well I'm one. sure we could uh, give you a security detail to your meeting. Hundred wow. percent. You know, you don't look too well. You know, and if you're sweating down here, you, you might not be feeling too well. Uh, we can uh, escort you just in case you do. Have Definitely a bit of can't right? risk dehydration down here, especially if you come up out the ground here. Mm, that sun gonna beam down on you. Uh, sure.
Oh, well, you know, you know what else helps with bonding? A nice road trip with the boys? Well, I guess. Oh, Hello. let me guess. Let me You're involved with this too? Damn right. Drink shit. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. Hope the wagon's still there. It's probably gone. <laughs> And there's going to be a bunch of people with guns. Oh. Where we uh where we heading to, sir? Blackwater. How dare you? You fucking leave, leave us. us. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, ladies, I just We went throughout the entire New Austin trying to find you. Stressing yeah. out that you'd been killed. Um, I'm sorry, ladies, I just the fuck is wrong with you? At least tell us you're being taken by your sheriffs. Ladies, there is bigger fish to fry right now, all right? Like what? La uh, uh, uh. Wait, are you doing okay? Right? Sir? Are you smelling toast again? Are you Please don't smell toast, what do you mean I'm sorry. Again? Hey, hey, smell? it's okay, no. just breathe in and out. We're not really mad, no. we were just worried. No. We Anybody got some water? Oh, shit! Smell? Okay. Can you lay down? Can you speak? Oh. Oh. Do we need to call a oh. doctor? We need a doctor. Just, yeah, we need a doctor. George, get a doctor. Come on, come on. We'll, Smiley, we'll, please. we'll move you over here. You're going to be okay. All right. He's on his side. He, oh, he's no. going to be all right. Just breathe in and out. Is there a doctor? Is there a doctor in the area? What happened? Get word to the yeah. nearest local. I've... I've I think a local's running to find a doctor. The governor, he's a. Uh, what did he's you guys do out. to him? What's wrong with him? We're all drinking. What's wrong with him? Drinking? Are thing? you serious? He can't drink. We're just drinking. You guys trying to he fucking can't kill drink? He's on medication. Are you guys serious? But he loves a good drink. He can't drink. Dolores has said that he's not allowed to have a drink. But yeah, he never mentioned that. He, he was of having course a throwback. not. Back. He's a fucking alcoholic. He was drunk at. Armadillo before he even got oh here. Oh my no, god! He was. Oh. Yes, he was. You read the bills. Hold up, let me uh, let me help him. Out. Also, is a Ames? Are you okay? Smiley, please oh, wake oh. up. God, I hope the doctor gets here soon. I'm gonna take off his shirt and just uh, just position him right, just so he's uh, breathing properly. <laughs> also, hello, Dill. Hello, Tom Loy. Sorry, a lot's happening. I'm gonna take your hands and place them to the front of your body. It, okay. it, what's he? Is he? Is he? Uh, Not sure. What are they checking? They check his uh, uh, you know, his, wrist his or pulse. his neck. Yep, he's got a steady pulse. Oh, what the fuck did I get hit by? His uh, his heart seems to be beating pretty fast, oh. right? Oh, hang on. Oh, what the hell did I get hit by? A horse. Oh, okay. I'll go. Oh, no. I sit down. Come on, Smiley. Just breathe, please. Please. I'm going to kind of keep his mouth open just so the airflow can go through his body. Go. Governor, sir, the doctors should be coming. If you can hear me, just uh, yes. think of... What's his happy place? Does he have a happy place? He's your Taco office. Tuesday usually, yeah. but people keep ruining it. His, uh, <laughs> his heartbeat is uh, erratic at the moment. Uh, I think he may have had a, a heart attack. What? He's been... Come on, Smiley. You're going to be okay, all right? You're, you're going to be fine. We'll, we'll have a taco day. I can't uh, we'll just... to. Please. Smiley, please. Does... Does anyone have like a bit of cloth? Like, can we get a bit of water and a cloth and put it on his head or someone, something? Someone go grab me a water cloth, please. 
Uh, just dab it on his forehead or something? I don't know. Yeah. Has anyone alerted a doctor yet? Yeah, they should be coming. The locals around here are pretty reliable. Okay. Please wake up. We promise to Thank be less stressful. Oh my god. Put a bottle of water on it. Smiley. I'm just gonna dab it on his head. Sage. <laughs> Does he no, I can't. We can't do this. Does he feel can't hot do this again? Does he feel hot? Uh, he does. Yeah, he does. He's, he was sweating before. How's his breathing? He's uh, it's, it's slower, but I'm trying to keep the airways open. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Try as much as I can to keep it open until the doctor gets here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe save as a backup, like wave a taco under his nose. You know, like the salts. And we could do that if we're not going to taco. Yeah, yeah, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> so much I can do from at the moment till the doctor gets here. Smiley. <laughs> uh... Wake up, Smiley. Look, it's tacos. It's your happy place. Tacos. With Sage and Dotty. He's <laughs> uh, uh, getting a bit more faster. Let's, oh let's God! Move, let's move those tackers away from. Oh. Okay. Look, all right. Maybe we should um maybe think of paperwork. Yeah, paperwork. Actually, I think that makes it worse. Um. Doesn't that like? Isn't that shit he does uh, to just? I don't think that relaxes. Uh, oh, result. Stupid. Yeah, it's got me. Hell, do we do? Oh, I don't know. The doctors. Where are the doctors? They should be on their the way. Fuck is going they, on? I've, I've got know. a feeling they're coming. A horse. The horse ran up into the carriage there, which has knocked them, knocked them all over. What type uh, of medication makes him fucking woozy? From uh, what do you mean medication? Well, this is on medication. Yeah, well, he's an alcoholic. You know. This is news to me. Fuck, my head hurts. Yeah, I'd okay, be I'll interested to find that out. That don't make sense either. What kind of what medication would you give to an alcoholic that would suppress alcohol? Uh, I suppress would make him have a fucking stroke, essentially. I just, do you think the doctors would just give him more cigarettes or something? All I know to help with alcoholism is to just not fucking drink it. It'll make you surely. Can anyone hear that? Going... Sound like horses what? or something? The horse riding off in the distance. Horse, horse, rear, white with a white horse. Does that look like a doctor? Hopefully they. We know the white hair is only stress. <laughs> it's not age. He had like six tacos within an hour, MT. Just let him, let him rest a bit. Wait for the doctor to get here. At the moment, I've got him positioned so his arms are at the front of his body to the side. And his airways are open in his mouth. Looks like. Oh, rider right yeah. on the horizon. Doctor? Louisa? Uh, yeah. Louisa, we got the doctor. He's uh, having a heart attack or something. What? What's, what's happened? I think you may have had a heart attack. We've uh, 
I've moved his hands to the side and, and opened his mouth to clear the airways. Um, yep. We've got a wet cloth and we just dabbed it on his head to sort of right. keep him calm. Are doing chest compressions? Not yet. His, uh, his heartbeat okay. is beating erratically. Yeah. So we're okay. trying to calm him down. Sure. Um, I'm going to... How's his temperature been? Uh, pretty hot. I'm right. sweating. Right. Sweating. He was, he was drinking. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if he just died. <laughs> It'd be so fucked. Need help with anything, Louisa? Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing. It's okay. Shit. Yeah, it's happening. Has he had an allergic reaction to tacos before Sage or Dottie? No. Yeah, was it just a... He wasn't meant to be drinking. He said he ate about six of them within an hour. Oh, right. Oh, he, that's fine. He's done that a few times. It's He's just done that drinking. many times. Oh. He wasn't meant to be drinking. Well, we we, we hardly drank down there. We, we just sipped yeah. on a whiskey. Hon honestly, we weren't throwing up no bag, no nothing. I mean... As I said, he smelled like booze. We, we assumed he was he was already drinking. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, was a storm coming. Oh, storm coming from the south. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. No. His uh, pulse is now a bit stable. Tells stable. What's going on? Oh! So, uh, the governor here, with, I think he may have had a heart attack. Alright, he needs nitroglycerin. There you go. Natural uh, what? Sorry. Just I've cleared the airways. Moved the, the moved his hands around the front of his body just so he can uh, yeah. open up the passage. Dab his, uh, what? Do, do we know what brought this up? I think alcohol. He was sweating a lot. Yep. After the uh, gun party, he said he had chest pain. Here, All right, this is a uh, nitroglycerin, and uh, it should start absorbing pretty quickly. Now, otherwise, um, do you have any aspirin on you, William? We can crush that up with some saline. Yeah, always. It should help dilate his vessels. Uh, Miss Louisa, what have you done so far? To have you been compressing? And oh, I had some issues with my hearing at the start, so I couldn't do anything. They uh... He's not too, he's not too far gone. That's good. He's stable, actually. What was he like when you got here, Louisa? Was go. he worse? Yeah, his heartbeat was erratic. But... All 
All right. Hopefully that'll do the trick, but he's going to need to uh, be evaluated properly, probably by a senior doctor in case he needs any surgery. But this is, yeah, usually after a heart attack like this. Back, so I was wrong with the governor. Chance of them happening again. Say, Jerry didn't tell me that I needed surgery. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I got a good strong heart. Well, you are younger than him, and <laughs> they tend to be as at risk of reoccurring heart attack. By a million years, yeah. I also think, Miss Dottie, to correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think you have a drinking problem. <laughs> yeah, it goes to blood thinner. It puts a lot of pressure on the heart. He has been drinking. All right, Governor. Now, if I can get, uh, William, if you can splash a little bit of cold water on his face, just a little bit, see if we can get that, uh, auto autonomic response going. Should get him to gasp for some air. Right. All right. Mr. Governor. Just gonna look out for wolves. Smiley Joe. Mm. Did he at any point stop breathing completely, Louisa? No. Uh, so it couldn't be hypoxia. Should we try something a little more extreme? Yeah, what do you suggest? <laughs> what happened to the governor? Um, Focus. I've got something. What's that? Not a bullet. Oh. Thanks for the nope. biddies, M Day. What What do you got in your needle there, William? Smiley, if you, you don't you wake up, I'm gonna go. Medicine? Yeah, I'm gonna go Sorry, rob a no, fucking no. bank. Yep. Can you yeah. two kill all please the sheriffs? We're trying to clear the gate, please. Yeah, maybe step back. Well, what have you got in him. the vial? What do you got? Not a vial. What's in Just the syringe? Needle. Oh, you, wait, syringe. you just want to use the needle itself. Oh, you just want to stab him. Just a little. All right, yeah, go into his finger. You ever heard That's of Eastern you know. medicine? No, I, un I understand Eastern medicine. Let's move back from the doctors. Good. I guess, yeah. I want everyone to take the uh, perimeter. Might, might need more Look space. Look out for wolves. This place is infested with them. Some... Hey. That's all right. Let them let them patrol. What do you, where do you need me? Let's go. Let's go back at the governor. Okay. No, it's getting. There's just too many people, and the doctors were getting a bit antsy. Smiley. I didn't expect that to happen. Have we tried to... Uh, no, me either. He's, uh... I'm whispering, by the way. Have we tried getting it out of the system? Yeah, there's, uh... Making... I saw him sweating what? and grabbing his I don't chest. think we should do that right now because he just had his medication, was, uh, and if we put charcoal in him to make him throw up, it's going to neutralize the, other night, the medication he was we just put in him, then it's going to... Kind of similar, just so stressed where he was just... Yeah. Just really not Unless himself. we repeat treatment, we make him throw up yeah, and then some, we do that anyway. We give him yeah. the nitroglycerin again. I do have more. It's gotta be that, yeah, that, could be that guy he claims is from New York. Yes. You got I just feel like he's, he always seems stressed when he's around. Well, he was happy to answer questions about what happened the first part of that meeting. And then the second part of that meeting, he got real nervous. I'll roll him into the recovery. Like bullshit, he's from New York. He looks like he's... Crawled out of he's a hole. He's gonna need to be on his side if he's gonna throw up. We exactly. don't want him to aspirate. My thing is, someone with a high stature like that in New York, how right. do the marshals? A little bit of saline, a little bit of charcoal, right into him. Should make him throw like, up. They, they, yeah, they had a meeting. So uh, yeah. out here at like Rat Scala really Fork, whatever you call it, and there was explosions like, in Armadillo, and that guy, he was just staring at me down the street. 
I caught a yeah. glimpse of him with my binoculars, and I was there just Miss Wheeler carting the governor into the build into the doctor's office. It was terrifying. I bet. We thought someone Please. was going to throw in dynamite into the doctor's office. Jeez. And the governor, he was down here by himself, drunk off his face. The question is, like I said to him, he has that fancy new office, and why do you want to go down to Rascala Fork? There's nothing down there. It's it's private. You got that the wall with the gates. So and what is he hiding? And just I don't know. We had we had no idea because we were tra tailing him out of town. They just rode off on a horse together, him and that fella. Yeah. And um, we just Miss Wheeler and I put our heads together, thinking, you know, what's what's some you know places nearby that'd be suitable for a meeting. And Miss Wheeler just figured, you know, secluded place with a wall, and he just happened to be there, and he was still so so stressed. No sign of the other fella. It's interesting. We need to find out who this other fella is and why he has the marshal, oh, sorry, marshal, the governor so stressed out. He's been here. You saw him at Taco Tuesday. He's touching base with him. We might not, like, he might be at the next Taco Tuesday, but we we, we, we might not see him again until the uh, next law leadership meeting, which is still, you know, just under a month away. We could set up something where I know this is going to be a bit out of the ordinary, but we kidnap him. The governor. Not the governor. The man. We grab him at the next Taco Tuesday or law meeting? Either one. We've got to figure out who he is. I mean, if we have to... Are we taking him? Use... Un Let's just say unorthodox methods. We have to get the governor to St. Danny. We can do it. Oh. I'm... Okay, let's... Let's talk about this later. With. Yeah, okay. Do you want to Should we bring his wagon? I mean, all right. Let's not get everyone escorting, but a decent amount would be good. All right. So Sorry. 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 You want to ride with me, Todd? With you Lou? I figured he'll need his carriage. Got a seat for one more. Uh, Frank, uh, do you want to meet us up at St. Denis? Yeah, I'll follow you as well. Sounds good. Yeah, so something seems quite off. Oh, fuck. Jeez, Sorry. It's okay. I didn't Only see. You know what it was? It was a state. That's early sunrise glare. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, again. That's okay. Go around the bush. All right. <laughs> you know when they say beating around the bush, it ain't that too good? Yeah. Sorry. Like, this is one of those situations where beating around My the bush bad. is great. That's okay. I'm just oh, sorry. Legs, Mr. Hughes. So I've never <laughs> driven this wagon before. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, we need to figure out who he is. He's, um,. Like I said, I'm all down for unorthodox methods, if we have to. But, uh, I mean, we need to find more proof on this man. More evidence on who he is. Which man? Is he uh, Did you see the fella the governor was going to chat to on the balcony every now and again? Today? Yeah. No. Was, yeah, it was... That he was around. I don't know. And then he was at the law leadership meeting when Wolf and I were sworn in as sheriffs. He was in the corner watching. And then the other night... Uh, I wasn't there again either. Oh. And then there was another night when Miss Wheel and I came down to Armadillo to get away from everything for a while. The governor comes out of the saloon, drunk. And then there's uh, that man. He's standing up the street. And the next thing I know, there's explosions on both sides of the street. And then the governor and him ride off on a horse for a meeting. It's just, it's just weird. Actually, I have a question. Oh, I've taken a wrong turn. Oh, Hickey's robbing the bank. Okay, um, so my question is, that man that you're talking about, has he ever worn, like, a bluish coat? 
Yeah, but it's always like it's always a big coat. But I think he may okay. have changed colours. Yeah, I was in Saint Denis at one time. And Did he you guys see that? What? Bank robbery in Broads. Yeah. Oh God. So I was at Saint Denis in the uh, saloon one day. He came asking for a Marcus Dunn. You you sure it's the same guy? I'm pretty sure. Shit like this sort of. Yeah, I've never heard him speak, so I. Yeah. I think it was like that. Well, that sounds like. It sounded old. Like I ain't telling you how to do your job. I think yeah, you and Frank. I think that's your. Yeah. When there's nothing else going on. This this what guy. Who the hell is he? Definitely, definitely. Gotta be Calvin's brother. No, the uh, the old man that was at Taco Tuesday. He's apparently he was at the uh, law leadership meeting. And just staring me and Miss Wheeler down in armadillo before explosions went off. And then he had a meeting with the governor one on one. He's just he's just always around. And the bit the piece that just keeps me up at night is when I had that sit down with Cal Dern. He slipped up that. He mentioned that while all us lawmen report to marshals and governors and whatnot, he's he hinted that they, like gangs, they report oh, to someone God. too. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, my horseshoes. Oh, oh we yeah, got one spare oh, seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, we do. Oh, thank Just goodness. Yeah, thank go. fucking goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, I know the I'm deputies sorry. are with the marshal or governor. Um, oh. fucking, um, the only marshal. That's it. There's that, that's it. Okay. My fucking horseshoes. So I'll keep it going slow. Okay. Sir? Fantastic. Oh. I'm out. Oh, I'm what the sorry. fuck are you guys? I don't know. Get it rolling, Lou, and I'll jump on. I'll hand you the reins. <laughs> I'll hand you the reins, Mr. Hughes. No pressure. Okay. Just yeah, um, Saint Denis. Yeah, it's all. I keep trying to push you over. Nah, I just yeah, just get us to Saint Denis. It's all right. We'll, we'll, we can take turns. It's fine. I'm sorry. In what my did eyes, the bank robber. Oh, yeah. This is all the doctors, and then them. Um... I hope they don't go through roads. <sighs> I can't believe his assistants just left his carriage there. Oh, this seems this looks mighty expensive. Blast all our bodies, don't give a damn. <laughs> Can I keep the carriage? Um, unless you want to get thought off by the governor when he wakes up. Sure. I'll just paint it in color and yours. say it's fine. Wouldn't it be something that the assistants would mention to everybody, you know, down there at least, you know, you know, or at least said something. Did anybody hear anything about the governor being taken medication? Well, exactly. They should have said something. Right. Yeah. I, I would assume that that would have been the first thing to come out of their mouth when, uh, the, yeah. you know, a anyone was introducing themselves, you know, to say hello or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I, I dare say, I, I never heard nothing about that. Well, well, how did they know we were there? That's another thing. How did they know that, yeah, to sit on that building? When I when I uh, took him out, um, he mentioned that he had just stopped drinking. It it didn't it didn't sort of imply that it was due to medical reasons. It sounded more like a, you know, a lifestyle thing due to stress and stuff. But he didn't mention any medication. Interesting. There we go. I wanted to fucking slam my hand on the dead, on that table so many goddamn fucking times. So I know. By the neck. I know. Just tell us who the fuck's this guy from New York. He ain't from fucking That's New some, York. That is some bull shit right there. You should have seen the way he stared at me down the Armadillo Street before explosions went off. That, that man is scary. Where are you going? Listen, don't question my Oh methods. god! Oh! Oh! But see, we're fine. See, look at that. You never, never question Mr. Tanner's methods. 
He will get you to A, B, and C on no, arm. It's not my fault <laughs> someone put a path that led to nowhere. Yeah, but we should only be going from A to D. I'm a Dillo to uh, St. Denis rather than Blackwater in between. Listen, I, that was actually pretty good. I like you. You're right. <laughs> I've ridden in the, in the uh, governor's wagon before, and he hates it when we damage his wagon. Yeah. <sighs> Ah. He's gonna blame me when he sees me coming up over there like Lou. I told you not to damage my wagon last week. He Unless he's angry dead. at me. Well, then that solves my problem. He but might not know. even remember all this. Yeah. He doesn't even remember meeting that fella down in New Austin the other night. How yeah, fucking he, he, convenient. He, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't too. He, he was. He really kind of backed himself up when we mentioned when you mentioned him. Ah, uh, yeah. I was yeah. saving that guy for last. Yeah, yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping so. My question was, how do the marshals not know if he's in New York? Don't the marshals go, come from New York? Yeah, yeah, they do. And you know the way he's all stressed tonight? He was just like that before and after the meeting with that mystery man. And it was cool as hell down there, wasn't it, gentlemen? How nice was it down there? Yeah! Well, it was beautiful. He, he was super Absolutely. stressed off to the shootout, though. That's what he said he had um, so chest. Yeah. That's what I reckon he well, had. What exactly chat. happened when he collapsed? Hey? I don't know. The, oh, the, horse, the horse came, hit the carriage, bonk, bonk, the side of the carriage, and yeah, those two just kind of fell over. He was grabbing his chest. A few times during the meeting. So well, because we were about to escort him to his next meeting in Blackwater, and just before he got on the wagon, he killed over. Well, it wasn't well, who, who else was at the meeting with you guys, by the way? Because we saw a guy running away. It was the head of the departments and myself and Miss Ames. So who was that that was running away? It was running. Oh, away. that would have been uh, the ranger. The ranger oh, went back okay. down to uh, train right. the recruits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. None of this adds up. We need to keep a close no. eye on that Blackwater Saloon, Dolores. Yep, absolutely, yep. Um, I, yeah, I would assume business as usual. Um, I mean, you know. We were sipping whiskey down there, it, you know, that's that's the honest truth, and we were just having a lot of chats. It's good to, uh, you know, acknowledge that uh, we've become sheriffs and everybody's doing well in, in their jurisdictions, and that's, I think, uh, as, much, as much as we should say, gentlemen. And Marcus, exactly. did Miss Cynthia tell you what happened before we left Blackwater? Yes. <sighs> we believe one of them was the Blacks. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we think it might have been John Black's son. Oh, oh, wow. John Black's son? Yeah. yeah. Was he wearing purple? That's what Cynthia said. Big, and yeah, big, flower hat. big flower, big black hat with flowers, purple flowers. Yeah, the only one I know wears that's Mr. Black's son. Jeez, and they'll tell me, we warned you, Hughes. I mean, what the fuck? what they warn me about? I don't know. What's his son's name? Interesting. Uh... Joseph Black, is it? Yes, that's right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Joseph Black. Joe yeah. Black, yes. I've Does it go by Jack White, maybe? No, uh, by that no, I haven't met a Jack White. I remember. Uh, remember how uh, you guys had me in the prisoner's outfit? Uh, the West. I think Harkness will remember. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I met him there with uh, Ivory Black. Oh, okay. Joe Black. So they, they're... They're getting to the point now where they're going to be trying to capture my friends to fucking get to me now, by the looks of it. So I'm going to be taking every every chance, like every night, I'm going to be uh, laying low, uh, uh, you know, take Miss Wheeler up to lay low at the Strawberry Lodge and, and bunk there. I would, walk, I would walk the streets every night, partner, and ride them down in the middle with my fucking shotgun right beside me. Oh, good What's thing, uh, good thing Harkness and I were, not Harkness and I, Jen, Jen, what the hell is this? This is one of those, uh, people what? that, uh, they're, they're one of those horse-stealing groups. Don't love uh, this. 
Oh, and that's a horse someone has to steal? Yeah. Oh, no, I think that might be someone's actual horse. Oh. And they left it here. That horse there to the right is one of them. Should shoot it. Nope. So, uh... I'm gonna... So, are we gonna stop this bank robbery and roads or just ignore it? Uh, it's up to you guys. I can make yeah. a pit stop. Well, it's ah, probably so almost we, done we, by we, now. Yeah, we need to get to Saint Denis and we, we need to make sure that the governor is, uh... Hopefully there's some other deputies on duty. Yep. Yeah, if we don't get this carriage back, we'll be all here about, oh, boy, I got the vote coming up, boys. Yeah, where's my carriage? I guess he can tell me off. Do you want any of us to go there, or? Uh, up to you guys. I'm... Yeah, it's up to you, gentlemen, unless you want to, you want to, um, we'll just go, side. go pack, go past there anyway, at least, and, and just, just see if well, there's anything. Well, we already know who it is yeah. from the alert, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, very right, we'll make a quick shift spot. Oh, is this a uh, wagon going funny for anyone else? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is that all yeah. just mud, mud in the uh, folks there, you reckon? It yeah. is. Yeah. In my eyes, I'm still trying to push Mr. Hughes off the wagon. <laughs> oh, God. It's all right. On my end, it's all good. Looks like I keep giving you a nice back massage every five seconds, Mr. Hughes. I appreciate it. No it's been a stressful day. Oh, we looked after Miss Cynthia as well while you were in your meeting. I, I figure as much. I really appreciate that. God knows who they're going to target next to try and get through to Lawman. Oh, hey, oh, that's right. <laughs> you guys missed out on the freaking absolute idiot that we had in Blackwater just before. Oh, a guy just going around to ladies saying uh, horrible things and taking his clothes off. Oh. So uh, he ran away from us, so I shot him in the, uh, you know, in the back and jumped in the water. And uh, five minutes later, he comes back again. So uh, Harkness and I tied him up and uh, took him out to flat neck bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, so we've uh, sent all the details across to the upper government, etc. We uh, we had eyes on it all, so yeah. Hopefully, we won't be seeing him again. Small detour, boys. We're putting the trains out on us. Right, I'm not. Please oh, tell God. me there's no train. Please tell me oh, there's God. no train. Well, you better pray that there isn't. Uh oh, gentlemen. What? No, no train. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there's no escape. We've got to jump in the alligator waters if oh, there is. We would. Yeah, I would. Oh, behind us. Please, no, no, no. I'm, no. Jo I'm jo okay. I'm joking. Well, I mean, hey, look, if this, if there is a train and the wagon is destroyed. Yeah, there, there, there's this whistle now. Oh. oh I'm in trouble. Yo, Cam, I'm doing good. It's been an interesting night. Oh, there they are. There's them the gators.
So what do we think is gonna we, we get we get to the doctors? What do you think's happened to the governor? Not sure, partner. Not sure. We gotta get there and find out. We gotta make sure they get the out there safe. If anything happened to them on the road, I'm I'll be pissed. I only did my shoes the other day. Well, if things keep going the way they are... I'm telling you, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about it, Hughes. I've, I've been really, really trying to struggle, really struggling to, to keep it all in, you know? Because if, if, you know, if, really if we can't am. even trust our governor and everything going on, what's the point of the badge? We may as well take matters into our own hands. Mm -hmm. Might as well mask up. That's right. Giddy up. Fuck, if, he, if, 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 if shit gets worse, I reckon you bot across both jurisdictions. Just, Done. just, we go on, we on strike, and we just... Done. Done. We mask up, and we, we go for a ride. We take it to all these gangs, and this fucking mystery man, and these yeah, dead men man. walking. Just say the fucking word. So you've been a doctor, right? We are pretty human. Yeah, I assume they've gone to the doctor's office here, so they got the best yeah, equipment. Yeah, they would have had to. Yeah, they would have to do surgery. Man, it's they the cleanest. Isn't Mr. Yuri the surgeon? There they are. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> We're here. Don't worry, the carriage is fine. All right, he's been transported to the uh, St. Denny intensive care unit behind closed doors. Uh, they'll give us some word and hopefully a few days about what's going on. William's writing a report right now to submit to uh, patient records. I can hear you inside, um, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm yelling for a reason. Oh, hello. But uh, George, Lou, Marcus, I need to talk to you. How's... House. How are you two? George Hughes, if you don't get your butt over oh. here right now. Sheriff. So I thought you just said Wolf and Tannen. Now, as I was riding with him into the gates of St. Denny, he uh, was whispering in his unconscious state, saying they have the photos. I got to get them back. So I don't know what you showed him. But I assume you showed him the photo of Caldern. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck. It's not getting it back because it's not no. going to be able to get it off. Lou, there. they're going to... Make, make copies, that's all I'm saying. You got to get that somewhere safe. Well, like I said, good luck trying to find me. If the, if also, I wanna... Lou, I don't know what Dolores told you, but she told me she doesn't trust me. And she doesn't trust all the lawmen, so... Oh, my God. I think Dolores is a bit stressed at the moment. I understand why. Um, yeah, well, she's painting. Yeah, she's, she's she's yeah, she's painting her own her own picture there. Yeah, something's by, going on. By hanging around with the folk that she's hanging around. Oh well, right. yeah, but she and being told me. All, yeah, we had a bit of a chat to her today. Um, to be honest, I think she may have been dragged into this, and uh, some of that has to do with the governor. To be honest, uh, regarding yeah. the death certificate. But yeah, the other, well. yeah, the other stuff is on her. But, yeah, there's a lot to look into on this. That's before right. I before I start pointing the fingers at people, I need to have enough evidence first. She came to me. Um, yeah, yeah I think she was the, yapping about some yeah. document she wanted to give you. Yeah, she's given me a document of the confessional of everything that's happened. I think uh, you two try and hatch it out a little bit. I think she may, like I said, may have just been dragged in on this. Mm -hmm. But, um, I'll no, take care you of You don't it. have to talk too much about it. I just wanted to let you know that she's, you know, yeah. got some issues going on in case you weren't aware. But I'm going to turn in for the night. I'm going to take the opportunity here and just stay in St. Denny because it seems like all my troubles are in the West, to be honest. You sure mm -hmm. you don't? Yeah, I, I, I could take you up to Wapiti. I'll be safe here, George. All right. 
and then that way I can check on my intensive patients. So. All right, if you're sure. I'm sure. You gentlemen, stay safe. You too. You too, Miss Wheeler. Too. Thank you. Interesting. He's got the photos. Oh. Miss Wheeler. Yeah, he mm. stressed about them photos. Well, unfortunately for him, the, that uh, photo is going to be locked up into the uh, evidence locker. It's not him, is it? Who's that in the back of the horse? Who the fuck is that? It's not meant to be there. Sure. Alright, don't worry about that. Yeah. Oh. He, yeah, he must have got lost in the uh, only one way to the intensive care unit. Yeah, yeah. I found it. It was laying in the middle of the road. Please have a moment with Put him on the ground. Just... Can they at least... And then we'll take Can, him can you inform him? Yeah. Can you inform these ladies what's happening before you uh, yep. send him off, just so yep, that they let's... can? To, he's got a. Hey, Potter. Yeah. Where'd you find him? Uh, in the middle of the road on the way here. We're about to the middle of the road on the way here. Laying in the dirt. Just you show up us. The, you show uh, us exactly the, uh, where. Come with me. With Jamal, Mr. Hughes. Harkness okay, needs help at the bank. See ya, Cynthia. Right here. Okay. All right, partner. Thank you so much for that. What was your name again? Clyde. 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 What? What was your last name there? Uh, Clyde Little. Clyde Little. Yo, yo, finds at the uh, Saint Denis Sheriff's Office. Uh, I don't believe so. All right. I think uh, you're out. All right, partner. Take Have care. a good one, Sheriff. All right. You up for a quick trip to Rhodes? Uh, not too much to think about at the moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, partner. I absolutely. think it'll be help out Hogness here, and then I think I'll be... Turn it in, yeah, same. Yeah, I got... A, it's a lot to think about. Yeah, it's just... <sighs> what a fucking mess. It's hard. It's it's cause I, the, the thought that crossed my mind was when they when they were nearly taking Cynthia is you know they got masks like they run off. How do I like, how do I even how do I even determine who's who when they when they're masked up? Yeah. How do I find them? You know I can barely hear their voice. We just it's just feels so powerless to deal with some of the crime sometimes. We think we found somewhere down in New Austin, we believe, uh, you know, there was, there was a little campsite down there. We, we may think, you know, some of these riders, they go all the way down to New Austin. Really? Hmm. And yeah, we got the governor going all the way down there for meetings. That don't. <sighs> New York, my ass. God, I hope Harkness hasn't been shot. Give me a moment. 
how did I beat you two when I left first and second? Horses and then no lassos inside town. Right, okay. How many of them in there? Uh, five. Five? Two hostages. Shit. Okay, five. Five of them? Yeah. Five. Okay. Wait, what was it again? Uh, um, safe passage, no lassos in town. No lassos, no lassos in, in town. town is safe ass than the last ass on horse, I think it sounds last like. Last ass on horse, okay. Well, safe passage to their horse, that's all they said, so. We'll still get a bit of a run, though, to be fair. Which way they're going? Towards the red barn? Ask them. Bad things go down, suddenly. He's in intense care. Yeah, they are rocked up. We waited uh -huh. so long, they are rocked up. I think there's a fair few now. Hey, man. Hickey boys. Yeah, so we got our third hostage here. <laughs> that'd be a bitch that swear to now. So I'm thinking could use that for sure. I mean how I'm many of you are in there? If, if, what, four? Maybe five? Yeah. Alright, cool. How about now nah, okay, what about this for this hostage in? You see that red barn to the left? Y'all don't take us till we hit that barn. Fuck no. Is that a bit too far? Okay, how about yeah, those rock, that little rocky cliff. Oh, where's the black fence? <laughs> little oh, rocky fence? cliff. Okay, but y'all hang out at the gun store. Alright, uh, y'all hang there. We hang there. Okay, well, we're all gonna live together. So, and until until we all live together, you know, no funny business. Who's that in the brown vest? Is that, that old man? Is that, hey, who are you? Is that George? He looks different. George, I don't, I don't like your new outfit. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let me check. Are we all ready? So remember, we leave together. Get the horses. We're gonna go. Can't there. chase They're because my horse is. Oh, the jump the on over there. The tree. The tree. Checking tree. We head left. Go from there. Alright, it's just. Alright, Lama, y'all wanna get on the last one? That's against night time as well. Fuck. That does not help. That fucking game. sucks. Wow. This must be the longest bank robbery ever, though. Um, statue. Uh, wait. Organs, I won't be able to, uh, I won't be able to ride, partner, because my horse's, uh, horse's shoes is broken. You want us at the statue? Oh God! Uh, when can we give chase? That, that, that your horse. That's hey, that's my horse. Yes, yeah, sorry, partner. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get on him. Yeah. Just make sure we're yeah. Hang on, we're all we're still waiting. We we'll yell out when we're leaving. All right, everybody on, and we'll all leave uh, together. Is that all of us? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Start boosting it. You tell us when. There's one left. Oh no! I pushed oh, it out, Pana. <laughs> There's nowhere never. to run. Oh, never surrender. Run, run, brother. You heard it from the rest of your boys on stop! Make this easier on yourself! Um, you ain't yeah, making it through that you. field! Hey. I'm on you like sting on shit, partner! You I got the like whole shit, boy! <laughs> you don't know what Philly Cheese they can do, I haven't hit the high gear yet! Hey. Oh, oh shit! Oh, why didn't he stop? Ah! Georgie! I'm sorry, girl. I thought they'd fall over. Oh, no! Oh, no, which way did they go? Oh, fuck! Oh shit! No! Law department! 
Oh, George. Louisa. Uh, I've got something important to tell you. Um, because I know Cynthia trusts you. Um, I'm on my way to, uh, to get up another doctor, but, um, so, uh, the lady in red and blue who were with the governor, I can't think of their names right now. Dottie um, and, uh, yeah, the other one escapes yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, uh, so they were, they had a moment with the governor before, okay, and, uh, they were whispering really close, um, something about photos, they were looking for photos, they said it might be in a desk, and then, uh, they were trying to get a response from him, and, uh, then they said something like, uh, if, if he, if you die, the sheriffs are fucked, and if you die, the, the county will be, will burn. Oh my, so, are these they, photos, they, do they lose photos? I, I don't know, they, they, they're just... They weren't sure where the photos were, whether they, he had them on him, or if they were in, in, a, in a desk or something. So, yeah, they they mentioned something about photos, and I, I don't know, I couldn't hear what what the photos were. Okay, I'll clarify that with Lou um, okay. about the photos. So, what? Without the governor, it, things get worse somehow. Yeah. If well, that's what they said. They they threatened him, like he, they they want him to survive, and if he does, the the sheriffs are fucked. And the county will burn. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'll get a telegram to Lou as soon as I'm done with this. We'll just chase some bank robbers out of roads, but I lost them. My, oh, okay. my horse, my poor horse, uh, took a tumble. Yeah, uh, I came across county, so I didn't, uh, so I didn't see anyone. Sorry, but oh, you're I'm all right. Get going. Thank you for the heads up, Louisa. Uh, you're welcome. Shit. Oh dear. Damn. Hope they got him. We had a, we were chasing down um, uh, bank robbers that were fleeing roads, and I tried to cut one off, um, but he just plowed through my horse. I fell off my horse, and my horse went down, but he kept on going, unfortunately, so I lost him. Worth a shot. You go, uh, I tried to cut one off, but he knocked me and my horse over. Yeah, I got knocked off my horse too. Just jump on for a sec, please. No, no, no. Lou! Shot. Lou, I got, what, I got new information for you. What's that? Jump on, uh, jump on, tell me real quick. I need to give something to you. Wait, what? We'll I, be back. We'll be back a sec. I just, uh, I just saw Louisa. She wanted yeah. to pass on that, uh, more information that we, Cynthia was saying that, uh, yeah, the, the lady in the blue and the red with the governor, they were panicking about photos or a photo or something. It, I don't know if it was your photo. They were saying something about it might be on him or in a desk. Okay, they know then because they were called to me when they wrote out of the uh, that, that doctor's office. I said, everything all right, the governor? They're like, I don't know, and just wrote off. So, yeah, I, I'm assuming it's your photo or the governor's yep. got a photo or something in a desk. Maybe uh, both. And then they also said that they were basically threatened that, you know, if the governor was to die, that basically the, not only the law department, but the entire yep. county would burn. Right. Well, uh, I've got that photo locked up, and uh, they're not going to get it, so... I just... I don't know. Just keep your eyes... ears open. I don't know. that Maybe the governor's got one in his desk? I don't know. No, I, uh, I showed him the photo. I didn't give him it. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just how Louisa described it. It's almost like, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. She wasn't exactly clear. Um, she's just going off what she, bits and pieces she heard. That's um, okay. They, well, what they're going to do is, uh, let me whisper. They're going to lead themselves into a trap, let's just say. Right. They're going to catch themselves. They're going to get themselves caught red-handed because they're panicking. All I did was show a photo. So... If they've got something to hide and they're panicking, then 
Yeah. As you say, you lead the, the uh, mouse to the cheese. Okay. All right. If you're sure. But yeah, I'm that's sure. all. Lu Louisa just told me that on the ride in, back in town. Why would they be... Think about it like this. Why would they be, be, be panicking? What have they got to hide? Oh, God knows what. Whole exactly. lot. Exactly. But uh, speaking of something to hide, I've got something for you. Oh. I hate this stable. Sir, would you just let me talk to you? Thank you. Throw this away. <laughs> I like to give presents to the uh, departments right. over here. Now, I'll tell you what happened. Myself and Mr. Wolf, well, myself, I found a uh, a little grow spot. One of every drug. Oh, yeah, you mentioned you're going to give us samples yeah. or something. That's correct. Mr. Wolf and I went over there and uh, we grew them. Now, I know that sounds wrong, but I like to take photos of the different steps involved in... Yeah, so we can identify yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let's just say that. Now, I grew these for scientific purposes where... I want to give some to the department so they know what they're looking for. Yeah. And if you happen to throw them in your ledger or destroy them, that's up to you. But uh, yep, here you yep. go. Goodness. Y'all have been busy. Yeah, it's not it's not a big amount. There's like five for all the departments, but I don't want to grow in mass numbers and then Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, that's a big truck dealer. No, 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 no. I I trust yeah. what y'all are doing. Y'all are doing. It's okay. Yeah. So I like to, I start to sort of share the wealth with the uh departments. No, we appreciate that. It's yeah. um Sounds good. So whenever I find a big score like that, I'll give you guys a cut. I'll put them in the uh, the locker and I'll let all the boys know to take a look so they know what we're looking for. Sounds good. And then uh, once everyone's aware, we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, get rid of them. Sounds good. Appreciate well, it, Lou. So we'll get back to the bank. Yeah. Sounds like we got our work cut out for us over the next few weeks. Yeah, we do. Something just doesn't seem right. No. Well, you heard that. It's yeah. The the assistants are worried. Yeah. If the governor was to die, the law department. And the entire county is in the bin. Exactly. The floodgates would be open, so to speak. The floodgates will be open, but we have four jurisdictions on them. All three jurisdictions. I say four, including Pickerton. And I, if, the law, if the law can work together on this to bring it down before it... Oh, for sure. Explodes. But yeah, you yeah. heard Wolf and I. If shit ever got so bad and we had to leave the department and take things in our own hands... I'm just down. say the just say the word. Just say the word, and the mask will be on. Take the fight to the. We start our own gang that's called the Anti Gang or something. Exactly. Take the, the fight to them. What do you reckon the uncorruptibles? <laughs> Where's Mr. Wolf gone? Did you take one into the department? Didn't you, Scatter? Not too sure. Oh, Frank. Hey, bud. Ah. <sighs> No one got any? Yeah, I got no, knocked no, off no, my I'm horse. To Marcus. Yeah, I got knocked off my horse too, and then my horse was gassed. That was it. <laughs> I don't know what Marcus is called. It's a fan by a horse just over there. I lost sight of him. Shit. Gentlemen, Mr. Frank and I are going to depart. Yep. We have to have a chat. Um, 
I'll put that in front of your pocket. I'll put a photo in your pocket too, Lou. Yeah, uh, do you want to hand it to me before I go? There you go. Thanks, mate. I'll take a look at that. Uh, you guys have a great night and stay safe. Oh, you're not going to see us again tonight? Uh, we might, but uh, go. I've got some uh, a lot of meetings we need to discuss. Yeah, I bet. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna just go take a few, care of a few errands, and then I'll probably turn in for the night as well, gentlemen. Oh, really? Uh, have a good night, boys. I just, yeah, it's been a big one. Lots to think about, but I'll, I'll be back tomorrow night, no doubt. If not, oh, good. If, if say if something comes up, if not Wednesday night, then Thursday night. Okay, sounds it. Um, but I should be. I'm just, you know, just being realistic. Don't try to find Mr. Wolf. Well, you stay safe, Jibs. You too, fellas. Yeah, you too. Well. Just. And yeah, everyone keep in contact, okay? Definitely will. Do you want to address the uh, casual, Frank? Yeah, I'll get changed. Nice. Alright, gentlemen. Pleasure seeing you all. Ta -ta. Okay. Until next time, fellas. Bloody hell. But yo, MJ, oh god, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Um. I I really don't know where to start. Um, uh, Cynthia Wheeler was nearly kidnapped earlier. Uh, we tried questioning the governor at Taco Tuesday. We I don't know if we really learnt anything. Um, and then he had like a heart attack, and we had to everyone had to band together to get him back to Saint Denis safely. Um, There's, yeah, it seems there's trouble in the government. It seems there's trouble in, with the head doctors. We, we, we just still don't have lots of numbers of lawmen to appropriately, you know, effectively deal with everything. Um, there's, yeah, there's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. Actually, and it's like trying to trying to think of how to deal with things as a sheriff, and then there's all these like extra things piled on top. It's like, Damn, man! I what can be done? Yeah, one of the staff members is playing as like the governor. Which is like oversees the marshals and the law and everything. Um, that's played by staff, and then there's some assist. Then he's got some assistants, which are also played by staff. Uh, and then you've, yeah, you've got the you got some marshals that are played by staff and or uh, trustworthy players that have been around since the start. Uh, then you've got the server owner. He'll sometimes play as like government officials or villains or whatever's uh whatever's needed for whatever's going on at the time sort of like a interjects himself almost like as a like a dungeon master or something but i think those are really the only high up roles we've got
Well, you you could just you could just be you could just role play as a hitman. Like you just do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am quite tired. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was pretty much like unofficial security for the doctors for a, for a bunch of days there. Um, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was saved by uh, the game where I didn't get some stuff stolen. Um, yeah, we ended up, he was caught for other stuff. So I ended up finding him for horse theft and stuff. And then also I took one of his guns. Oh, I gotta be on duty to access that. Uh, the usual, MJ, you know, like murder, like literally anything, any other crimes to the time period. Bank robberies, murder, the usual.
Sheriff Hughes, you in there? Oh. Where are you at, Sheriff? Hello? Where are where are you? The front or the back? Outside. The front? Hello? Who who is it? Can you come to the window? It it's William. What's William? You all right? I need to talk to you. Oh, let me get let me unlock the door for you. Oh, come on in. The right one should be unlocked. Let me just get that. Some concerning people around these days. Bro, what can I do for you? So, Cynthia told me about the meeting of this meeting you had. Meeting? Yeah, with the governor. Right. Were you aware he was on medication? No, not at all. Apparently it slipped his assistant's minds even when we were treating him. No, he did, I, when I mean, he uh, when he talked about alcohol, it sounded like he was just wanting to kick it um, just because it you know, just wasn't feeling good with him. There was no mention of medication. Yeah, Marshall Ames told me he was on pills and that his assistants knew about it. I need to know for his medical history what happened. Oh, really? Um, yeah, we just went off to have a, you know, like a law leadership get together, have a bit of a chat. Um, and then a couple of the other fellas started cracking open, you know, like tequila, whiskey and whatnot. And uh, just offered him, offered him, you know, you know, if you'd like, like to have a glass just to uh, have one with the, with the fellas. And, um, uh, um, at first he was reluctant and people said, you know, you know, uh, if you want, and then he, he agreed to have a glass of whiskey and then he, uh, he shot it back quite quickly, which caught us off by surprise. He just downed it in one go. That's it. That was, that's, that's the only alcohol I saw him drink. The rest of us just sipped it. How long after that did he, uh, have his heart attack? Oh goodness! Oh, we were we were chatting about all sorts of things for a good God, thirty could have been up to sixty minutes. I don't, I don't know for sure. And then he was he was very uh, certain that he had a meeting to get to. So then we offered to take him there as a security. So we went out, and just before he climbed onto the carriage, he uh, yeah fell to the ground, keeled over. There wasn't any heated discussion or raised tension. Oh, just just you know, mainly us discussing our concerns and uh, you know just expressing our concerns about you know assistance like Dottie and stuff. But uh, he was he we noticed he started sweating up and he was grabbing his chest a bit. We, you know, we kept asking you know, do you need do you need to sit down? Do you need to cool off? Do you need a glass of water? He's always you know, I'm fine, mm. I'm fine. All right. Listen, I know there's some shady stuff going on, Mr. Hughes, but I don't think he had any intentions with this. I'm just saying I need to know. But if that's all there is to it, then yeah. That, no, that was it. We that's, just that's all right. It was just uh, we just offered him a drink. Um, he seemed reluctant at first, but then he uh, yeah, he just felt like he really needed one, and he. He drank it quite quickly, but yeah, he, he, right. he didn't ever mention any medication. It all sounded just, you know, sort of like the way I've kicked the drink. You know, I don't really want to, you know, get into situations where I embarrass myself because I'm had too much to drink. It sounded yeah, yeah. like that. It sounded like a lifestyle choice rather than like a medical thing. I would agree. I did offer to buy him some drinks because I just uh, invested in the Armadillo Saloon, but. He didn't want any, and I guess that's why. Well, I, I kind of got it, because yeah, considering how drunk I saw him in Armadillo a couple of nights previous, I got it. But yeah, there was no, you know, false in the drink in his hand or anything. It was just, you know, it was very, you know, a bunch of fellas, you know, come on, have a drink, you know, you know, drink with the boys, sure. you know, just that kind of 
kind of atmosphere. All right. Well, I'm glad I could catch in at least get that side of the story. Nah, happy to happy to happy right. to help. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Uh, you have a nice night. No worries. I'll go get the door for you. Oh, yeah, now it's the right one. Take it easy. You too. Um, <laughs> shoot him, shoot him. My goodness. That's just bang. Um, Three dollars. <laughs> I don't know, MJ. We 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 currently don't really have like tabs on a lot of criminals. There, there is a wanted poster mechanic. There's literally a notice board near the law departments.
Oh god. Fucking hell. Shit, yeah, I thought, figured there was still two. Shit, they've got the numbers. Oh, God. Oh god. No, I threw you you in this shit.
Fine, are you okay? No, mate. I'm kind of uh, tied up here. I know. I'm going to cut you free. Thanks, I'll... mate. What the hell was that all about? I don't know. They just came down and had their knickers in and off. Tried to rob. Shit. Let's get inside the stables in case they come back. They've uh, killed both my friends, though. Jesus Christ. I was just coming up to Strawberry to spend the night. And I saw that, so I was just hiding behind there. There's too many of them. Yeah, they just killed two of my friends. Shit, have you called a doctor? Yeah, I tried, but then these guys are... outside me. Shit, uh, where, where's your other friend? Um, he was here. Oh, fuck, All right, I'll get... I'll call out a doctor. They ended up taking my gun, so I can't really... I can't really do anything, so... Fuck, just to just keep pressure on this guy's wounds. Let me get let me get word out to the doctors. Alright, I'll I'll keep pressure on him. Okay. Now hopefully hopefully word gets out. And uh let me uh let me let me call the uh, other sheriffs as well. Thank you, appreciate it. Are you, are you a sheriff, are you? Yeah, just just your luck, partner. I'm the uh, I'm Sheriff George Hughes of the West. Oh, nice. Whoa, Todd, 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 it's me, it's me. Fuck, I just got robbed. You did. Yeah, in fucking strawberry. Do they have wolf masks hats? On? No, there's. Uh, wait, what? Like what? No, there's. What for? Two masks? Other people there that have been tied up that have bear masks on. Yeah, they're the ones that robbed us, and and killed my two friends. Right. Well, I just got robbed by four guys in black. What the fuck? Yeah, they took my my Springfield with the scope on. I'm so angry. Oh, for. Well, I, I just got here, I saw this happening, so I was hiding behind the, I don't know, the thing in the pen there. Yeah, this poor, these poor fellas getting robbed by a yeah, group of like four or five people in your white, 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 white bear hats. Right, because Alexis got a white bear hat and he's in town right now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not even joking, do you want to pick up, Shuba's in town, you want to pick up the body, take it down? To Shuba? Is it safe to go in Strawberry right now? Yes, Shuba's there. Uh, Alexi and his friend uh, who have the bear masks on, but they seem fine towards me. Uh, the guys in black robbed them, though. Fucking hell. Okay, uh, partner partner with the bow, what's your name? My name's Mike. Mike? If you, you mind carrying your friend, we'll carry him into town to the doctor? Yeah, yeah. But Yeah, this is uh, Deputy Sh Todd Woodman. We'll, we'll go with you. I, I, I got an alert and went to town, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. And then I just got grabbed and, um, yeah, my shit stole. Law Department! Who the fuck is that? Oh, God damn it! they took my Navy as well. Law Department! Who are you? Let me put my gun away. What's your name, partner? Conroy Spindle. Oh, Spindle! That was your friend from the thing. I couldn't tell from there. Spindle, yeah, we just, uh... These fellas got robbed and shot. We're getting them to the doctor in Strawberry. Yeah, nice. Oh, who the fuck is this now? That's us. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Rangers? Oh, Rangers. Rangers. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger. Oh, thank oh, God. You gentlemen are around. We got a couple of reports out this way. Robbed in Strawberry. You're a kid. By uh, four guys wearing black. Oh, that's why we, we were down in Valentine. We got the call, so we... Oh. All right. My apologies, yeah. gentlemen. All right, so there's, there's a... I'm going to need to see some hands, bear mask. <laughs> he was one of them. I, what? What did I do? I've seen he you and your group that in robbed. that exact outfit robbing these men down here at the Strawberry Stables right now. Okay, you, yeah, the... <laughs> not exactly the story, but it is. <laughs> the hell is you mind on? tell me then why I see a group of people in white bear masks shooting yep, and robbing yep. people at the Strawberry Absolutely. Stable? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so one of my friends got robbed. So we were trying to find the person. We found a dead body outside the stable. So, and we found this other guy. We tied him up. We asked for our shit back. 
And then we got shot at by some other fucking people. I don't even know and then, who. And uh, the ones that robbed me. No, uh, no, no, not yeah. BMS, the, the black man. Yeah. We Dude, were I trying didn't to be civil. stuff, but you guys just robbed me anyway. Uh, don't look at me, I didn't fucking do shit. It was your friend that identified the other bloke that was there, but you still robbed me. I did not. You and all I, the I didn't. I have not touched you. Oh, you were there. I saw a group yeah, of five, there. all dressed uh, exactly yeah, as yeah. you are. Yeah, I was there. And then I they didn't threw him, rob you. They threw him in the shit in the pan. Uh, yeah, they took my guns. I don't fucking have my guns. <laughs> what are you thinking, Mark? You can go talk to the doctors treating one of my others uh, down at the doctor's thing. If you want to go, all right, find, we're gonna we're gonna need a, have better. Can someone yeah, cough this lady? We're gonna get a second of. We're gonna get another mm -hmm. statement from the other. From Baby Bear. <laughs> Thank you. Todd, you can't get some cuffs on her? Right. Okay. Let's get to the doctors. Please, please come with us, ma'am. Don't do anything silly. I am not a silly do, do, person. Do you two know uh, where uh, the mine is at Mount Shan up there? God, goodness, I should have just clocked off in Blackwater. You see where Shuba was, Jack? Yeah, Shuba's the one up here. Yeah, I'm right here. He's Shuba. How's the how's a baby bear looking? Why is my friend oh. cuffed? He's just fine. Yeah. What? What? I found. Okay, hold on, you. Hold... I found them tied up when I got here. Yeah, and I found I found this group of fucking whoa, whoa, bears whoa. robbing and tying up people outside Strawberry uh... Stable. You didn't find anything, because that's not what we were doing. I we saw, were, watched it from behind the pen, thank you very much. We were alerting the law and the doctors, which you can find the reports, because they robbed my friend, and we were waiting you for the doctors me. to show up. You we didn't... Me. I didn't you take anything gave, from you. you Gonna need to see some hands. Instructions to your friends to rob everything off me. Then... One Whoa. of their friends came up and shot me in the back. He was hiding in the stable. But then another group rolled through. And blasted us all and robbed my other friend and Woodman as well. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was here when they had these two tied up on the ground. And I was bears on, on the ground. I was explaining to Woodman everything that happened and then he got robbed. Yeah. So I turned out I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, but this is the one that gave the order for his friends to rob me. That's right, and I saw it with my own two eyes. A group of people in this exact same outfit. Shooting and, ro and robbing people outside the strawberry t stable. Three people. And then they're gonna rope him through the pig shit. No. It, you can, you can say whatever you fucking want. I saw it. Did throw me. Well, you should have seen that my friend got robbed in the first place. We, we were the ones that alerted the doctors. Why would we, the and, and the law, why would we alert the law if we, are the vic oh, yeah, if we weren't the victims here? I didn't receive We just wanted it. our stuff back. Bad, you asked Woodman. I ain't really helping your case. You're all wearing masks when you know there's no masks in towns. Uh, we were riding through and got robbed. Can we move the guns away from the doctor's office, please? I'll follow up. I'll follow up. Do you want us to go up to the office where I can actually have a conversation with you? Uh, Alexi, take off your mask. It's good for the photo. All right, Law, let's take the bear cubs up. Uh, All right, follow all Mr. Harkness, please. All we want is our stuff back. And I want my stuff back. Give it yeah, back. and when we get our stuff back, you get your stuff back. That, that's not how this works. I didn't rob you, so give me my shit. Uh, so what did they what did they steal from you? Uh, they're taking my gun off me. Uh, what gun was that? Hughes, find me if you need a witness. A okay. Uh, what kind of revolver? Uh, I don't know what it was. It was uh, Schofield, I think. 
it's good for you. Uh, it, it, it helps I a think, lot. I think I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly what it was. It was just a little while. I don't want to know it was a little while. Um, where did that happen? At the stable? Yeah, at the stable, yeah. Um, he, he wasn't the one that actually robbed me. He gave the instructions to his friends. To, his uh, exact words were, take everything that he owns. Um, and how many were there? Two or three or...? No, there was about five of them. Five of them? Oh. But a bunch of them rode off because they, they started gonna... shooting at some guys in black. Some guys in black came down and these guys started shooting at them. So they ran off. And then that's when they gave the instruction to rob everything that I had on me. Right. You want me to just wait out here or...? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to need some privacy in there. Uh, Cole, yeah. if you're... Cole, if you're up for it, Shuba says he's got a statement about the whole situation if you want to talk to him. Oh, okay. So, uh, our friend got... Hang on, I'll wait till George is back. Um, wait until that door's closed before I take my mask off. Mm. Alright, stand in front of me, George. So... Okay, it's me, Alexia, okay? So, what had happened was, we were I was working up at Pronghorn Ranch with Bennett, which he can confirm. I have my wagon up there because we're doing hay. The Grizzlies attack us all the time. That's why we wear Grizzlies. It's an inside joke. Then, Mateus comes up to us saying that he's been robbed, his horse has been shot. So, we went to go find these guys. We found them outside the stable, which you saw us. One is down for some reason. We alerted the doctors so that way they could come, and we wanted our stuff back. That guy ref refused to acknowledge that that was his friend. So we had to check him to see if he had the rolling block that was stolen from us. And we had to check the serial numbers. That's why we took it from him. We weren't stealing from him. We were just checking the serial numbers. You understand from my point of view, I'm riding up oh, into I town to come, no, no, I come have a good understand. night's sleep. And I see yes. three men held on the ground outside of the stable by a group of five people, all dressed the same outfit with guns no, no. out. You understand only, how that looks, there's right? Only th there's only three of us. There was more than three. Wait, hang on, sorry. I don't know where Mateus was because he was inside getting his... At um, the end there, I saw two people four. around the stables and two, at least another two rolled over into town. All right. So there's only four of us that are wearing the bear things because that's what we wear up at the ranch when we're working. And the guy that was dead on the ground has our stuff. But we were checking that guy because we don't know if he was... Because that's his friend and may have had it. So we needed to check the serial numbers. Then this third dickhead wearing all black and a mask rolls in. We tell him to stick his hands up because... Yeah, but I saw he, that. Yep. And then he... Instead of complying with us and jumping off the horse, he rolled off. That's why we shot. Then in under a minute, he now has two extra friends somehow that are in the vicinity immediately. And apparently, and then um, uh, the person to my left here takes me to the local doctor. She gets hogtied and robbed. Harkness, because uh, we'd already alerted the law. That's when Woodman showed up. Because why would we alert the law if we're not the victims? They didn't. I'm not on duty, so I didn't no, hear no. anything so, about that. Yeah, so, I did get an alert. So... We're waiting. Woodman rocks up, and then I'm explaining to the situation that we have a uh, miscommunication with these idiots because th they're like, why are you shooting at our friends? I'm like, you rolled up wearing a mask after you just robbed our friend. And they said they're not with them. I'm like, well, it's clearly a miscommunication here. They rob um, my friend here, and then they rob Woodman. You know, there's a there's a really great little step that would have helped this whole situation. Rather Which, than y'all taking in your own hands to get your gun back we if you alerted, alerted the everything. sheriff's department. We did. So this, what gun, what gun was it you need the serial number of? Uh, the rolling block. Mat so when uh, the rolling block was stolen tonight, was it? Yes. I, I, I don't know if they took anything else, but he definitely took a rolling block. Then um, Ellie over here got her Springfield taken, and so did Woodman get a Springfield taken. Hmm. Like, how are we all being, being robbed if we're not the victims here? Sorry, can like, I Like I got to my original point, from my Sorry, perspective, this... y'all were in the wrong. So, so we that's why we're questioning so y'all to get everyone's no, no, stories no. to piece it together. Now, if Which you could I just can... get to the facts rather than fucking what going around in fucking circles, Alexi. No, no, there's no get to the fucking I'm point. To it to you. Because y'all ain't exactly to, innocent here. No, you we could were, have waited for the law the department to show up. Did. You could not be wearing masks in town. We, we were the Is that fair? Is that a fair assessment? Yes. Yes. I understand. So you understand? We weren't in town wearing masks. When she was when she took me to the doctors, we were. But you dress we like a gang. Dress like right. a gang. We are just ranch workers, up at the ranch, and my wagon is. That's up there a fucking piss poor fucking it, uniform for ranch you, walkers. Oh, if I ever fucking did say it. 
Do you know how many grizzlies are up there? It's an inside joke that every time we fall asleep out there, a grizzly wakes up. I don't us. fucking care if it is an inside All right. joke. All right. How are we but supposed to know that from a distance? Boys. Which I can understand this, and this is why I'm explaining it to you. But well, you I'm going to just... need to see this fucking uniform removed. I don't care how fucking funny it is. That's fine. Because you're making our fucking jobs harder. You could be in the right here, but you're not doing yourself any fucking favors. You hear me? We don't wear this in town. We wear this up at the ranch. We're only in town because my friend got robbed when we were trying to get back to the ranch. There's no reason for us to wear this. In right. Town I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need see some IDs. Could sorry. This has nothing to do with this, but I I cannot see shit right now. My like my Are vision's you... fucked. Can I just quickly train out real quick and train back in? Like, is that gonna mess anything up? Shouldn't do. Okay, no, I'm, gonna quick, I'm gonna quickly do that, sorry. While you're doing that, Alexi, you got some ID to produce? Hey, you got a new son? I only have Cal's. Yeah, it's pretty good. You only have I'm whose? Very good. I have Cal Dern's ID on me because I was bringing it to Marcus. <sighs> Alexi. Pardon? How many thought, chats have I had with you and all oh, your wait, fucking friends wait, 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 about wait, 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 IDs wait, wait, and long wait, arms and masks wait, wait, and fucking second. gang colors? Wait, How many wait, fucking times second. have we wait, had this wait. fucking conversation? We have not had this conversation before. Can I just step forward? That's a crock of crock of shit. The amount of times I've, I've told y'all around Blackwater to fucking pull your fucking heads in is ridiculous. You, have, I think you're confused you should fucking know else. by now. You've had Pinkertons knocking on your fucking door. You should have an ID on you by now. Yeah, hey, one second. Just stop yelling at me. Give me a second. There. Thank you very much. Yeah, just that's what I asked for, not Cal Dern's fucking ID. Yeah, I was bringing this because you can even ask Harkness because I had a conversation with him about this. Last I don't night. think you understand this. You're in our department now. We are asking the questions. You will answer our questions. Stop giving us these fucking sob stories. Get the fucking masks off. Quit it with the gang colors and fucking give us the information we need. Oh, bears, it's not a gang colors. I can understand that this is from your point of view, but this is just what we're I wearing. I didn't fucking ask for your opinion right now, did I? I fucking gave you a statement. Now, we're going to get a statement from Shuba. And I really want to believe that y'all are innocent in all this. But just ain't like I've said multiple times now. You're not doing yourself any fucking favors. Now, we've got gangs from here to from Blackwater up to fucking Valentine. All fucking rolling into each other's fucking houses. With masks on, long arms out, fucking speeding through town, and it's getting ridiculous. And you oh. of all people, and your friend Zoe, Terrence, Ale Yuri and all that should fucking know better by now. But instead you just give us fucking grief, you just fucking laugh when, at, when, at myself and the other lawmen, well, and you just don't fucking show us any fucking respect. Oh, come on, George. If anybody is in this fucking county, I give you the most respect. You can just speak to Harkins or anybody. The amount of fucking information that I've given you, fucking idiots, and you still do nothing about it, and you're the one that's fucking letting the hickeys run rampant with masks shooting up towns and doing nothing about them. What about this? You know, fucking Blackwater with a fucking war zone because you uh, wouldn't arrest these idiots. How do you miss? Are you able to follow me down? Well, as soon as we get some more recruits yeah. and we've got the numbers, we got people yeah. going around in larger groups oh, than they should be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so from, uh, Saint I'm Louis, constantly so. giving you the fucking locations. And you do nothing about this. I ain't hearing these. I ain't hearing this well, information. Speak to, speak to Harkness. Well, have, if it's not I him just, passing on the information, oh, I don't know what he, what he's oh, been doing. Shit. You Sorry, know, he's I'm had the little upset. boys Look. camp information for over a week, and it was only last night I that he went moved. looking. Now no, they've moved. moved ages ago. They were moved, and I've given him the new location. Yeah. Harkness, is this true? Is Lexi giving you information? I think I told. Is there a report about this? I don't. Have you I told anyone? Should have been. I've told. Uh, I bring. Pinkertons. I bring it up to Marcus all the time. I bring it up to whoever you fucking ask me because I told you the one thing that after this whole Pinkerton in, uh, fuck up that you guys did was me. All you had to do was come up to me and ask me a simple question, and I would have given you an answer. But no, you like to play these games. You like to get all these detective works that takes over a month for nothing. You think I'm some sort of hardened criminal? I've probably given you the most fucking leads out of anybody in this county, and nothing happens to this. And is this all going to Harkness? Harkness, too, Wolf, yeah. Woodman, just fucking name it. Zane, anybody that asks me. None of this is getting to my desk. But then I've only been sheriff, what, fucking less than a week. Yes, and it's your deputies holding out the information, which they probably should be speaking up to you. 
there's no point me bringing the sheriff directly information what because this makes that? me look bad. I bring it to Thank one you of your that. lackeys. They bring it to you. Woodman, is Alexi passing information on you? Please about do not campsites be shouting. and shit. I only just got the old campsite last night. Sorry, sorry. Okay, hold up, hold up. I've just walked in on another thing. Please, oh, what's going on? Well, good. Where well, the heck your brothers are? We know what that is, yeah. Yeah, we know what that is. Yeah, why? I give you little brothers. I give you hickey brothers. You tell me who you want, uh, and I can I know, probably I know give where it to the little you. brothers are as well. When did we uh, learn that? I, the east side there. Oh God, I can't say because it's from earlier where I no. came from. So but. they used to be at the Aurora Basin. Now they're. About I did the mention that to everyone beforehand. Is anybody putting these in reports? No. Is anyone bringing this to me, or communicating to the entire department? Because this is all news to me. I told you about the Hickey scam. Y yesterday. Yeah. But Alexi here is implying that he's been passing on stuff for how long? For a while. And for the, a uh, while. Okay, I did inform everyone beforehand where I was. When? And why is that, Harkness? That's, that was uh, vital information that I gave you. That was about a couple of days ago. That was about a week ago. Because I gave you this because I believe that Clyde Little is the one that robbed Zoe of her pink guns. Oh, yeah, we try to be catching him all the time. And it's not up to me to arrest him. I give you the information of where he, oh, his, little, trying to arrest him his little merry band is. And I don't know what else you want from me. I alert the sheriffs. I still get blamed. I do. I give you information. I still get blamed. What more do you want from me, George? It's kind of interesting. The second I handed that information over to Lou, it disappeared. The camp vanished. Jesus Christ. What a fucking shit show. And the camp, me... uh, oh, that one I did mention a while ago. Um, that... Do you what guys mind it? if I have a quick private word to George? That's okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Sorry. See if Cole's got that statement. Uh, um, I did mention that to him. Uh, come here, what's, what's up, George? Cool. Um, so, yeah, this, uh, uh, this lady here, do we want to do anything with? Her or... what, what was Sh what was Shuba's information? Ah, uh, Shuba, I don't know where he where he went. He disappeared. No, he wasn't at the doctor's office. Ah, uh, no, I spoke to the gentleman that got robbed though. Um, I think he said he lost to Schofield, but I'm not. He wasn't sure what gun it was. So that, that's what All he right. said, but he wasn't sure exactly. We're gonna uh, D from this lady here. Uh, uh, uh she she said her name's Ellie uh Rid Ridley. Um, yeah, yeah, we've met. I'll just check her ID. Yep. Okay. I thought I recognized uh, the voice. Yep. Uh, I do have some more information for you, George. Yep. The deputy speaking, Alexi. Yeah, you you actually want to hear this? I yep. Would prefer. I would yep. Prefer the you, deputy um, is asking me some things to process this lady. Give me one second, please. Okay. Uh, do you want me to charge her with with uh, you know, like mask on in town and armed robbery or? <sighs> This is where the this is where dominoes in real life gets really out of hand, because it's one group doing something, they're reacting to something else, but then they're wearing masks, and mm -hmm. it just gets out of hand, and everyone's the fucking giving the wrong done to them, but no one's fucking done anything wrong. Mm. I'm gonna need a warning oh, wow. on ID. Do you, do you guys uh, do you guys belong to a gang or anything or an organization? No. Uh, you don't call you call yourselves anything. No, we uh, literally just have a camp to obviously get it's some not even money. Our, it's not even our camp. It's the one at the mm. ranch. We just work yeah. at the ranch. Look, nothing's coming across my desk about Ellie. She seems fine. Just can we get it it on the record that this group has been warned about masks and IDs and just mm -hmm. you know, please attempt to wait for the law before taking things in your own hands, please. Apart from I'm that. So Apart from that, Cole, and uh, your best judgment. Thank you. Uh, um, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm not going to fine you. Actually, All right, Cole's uh, got I'm going to fine you for wearing a mask in town. Cause... Uh, I want to know how the governor is. He's sick. Is this uh, from all the alcohol you gave him? Where'd you learn that from? Yeah, I know a lot of things. 
Instead of playing this coy fucking act, how about you tell me something fucking straight if you're such a fucking hero? Well, I know that you, uh, had a nice little meeting with the governor. How, how about you shut, cut the fucking crap, Alexi, and stop waving this around? If you got nothing fucking productive to say, you can get the fuck out of my office. Well, I'm just saying. Well, look at you, Alexi, hiding in the shadows with your network, con conducting affairs with Cal Dern and John Black and that. Look how fucking righteous you are. With Pinkertons knocking on your door when you're just, when you're so fucking innocent. Look at the fucking high ground you stand upon. Get the fuck out of my office. If I see a fucking mask on you another time, you're getting fucking fined or Cisco time. You understand me? No, that's fine. And you keep your fucking shitty opinions to yourself. You All go right. fucking talk to your network of shadows in your own fucking time. We don't want to fucking hear about it unless you got something fucking solid for us. Then you let us do our fucking job. Listen, I've tried everything in my power to help you do your job and you still do nothing about it. Pull you your fucking one... head out of your fucking ass. Get the fuck out of our department. Go fucking run your little rumor mill. Uh, it's, it's not really a rumor when I was there. Have a good night. Hello, Mr. Alexi. You got one second? Yep. Yeah, uh, I actually can't find the penal code for wearing a mask. Is that ch been changed? Have you tried the search function? I want to go to bed. Um, <laughs> yeah, There's right. right. nice little tabs that are run along the side of the book. You tried searching it up? This is why I'm not an actor. Actually, to my I knowledge, don't like sorry, conflict. Uh, sure, Fuse, is there actually a penal code regarding uh, hiding identity? There is some um, failure to identify, but that's that's not what she's done. It's it's the mask thing, but I I, I can do uh, disturbing the peace. Um, well, that that would you definitely doing. Uh, it'd probably count at least. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a thirty dollar fine for disturbing the peace. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. No worries. Thank you. Um, out of curiosity, if how would I find out if someone resells my gun? Um. If you have a, if you have I've a, I've got serial codes, so. Okay. Um, it's 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 rough. Uh, yeah. Finding a gun among criminals is like it's like <laughs> a needle in a haystack. Criminals have a lot of guns, and yep. we take a lot of guns. Um, but if you specifically know which department you know might have got it, that helps. If we have it, if a criminal has it, um, yeah. Oh, a criminal has it. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what their name is? Do you know what their <laughs> No, like. they wore black and had masks. Uh, Yo, Fatal, thanks for um, the raid, man. Sorry, right in the middle I of I, I hate. You don't, you don't want to give more information. I hate getting. I hate getting angry at people for real, and I hate. And I hate, and I hate acting like I'm angry <laughs> I wish at people. I knew who they were, but I don't. I really, I really hate getting angry at people, and I hate pretending to be angry at people. Like, like, dude, I'm like, I'm like half shaking, dude. I'd, but uh, it's the like these criminal characters, they're pushing it, dude. They are pushing us to the edge, like... Oh, I can't. Oh, would you better check? I can't check. Oh, I just want to fucking... Sheriff, I don't. I want to go to yeah, bed, man. I want to go to bed. I don't, I don't like getting like that. Like, I know it's just roleplay. He's pretty much waving in front of us, like, Oh, I know this, and I've got all these contacts, and... Here. Oh, I've done nothing wrong, and... Oh, la, 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 and it's like... No, we know you're full of shit. Um, I'm gonna make it 20, because you've been really... Nice and compliant. Oh, um, so I'm yeah, not a criminal, uh, I promise. Oh, the <laughs> poor horse, right. fatal. Um, the poor horse. It just, just didn't stop anything. Just area. barreled through it. Yeah. Just barreled yeah, on I, through yeah. it. Yeah. Nice <laughs> anyway, you, you're, you're free to go. Um, I've been all the way up there. There's a fine for $20. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I've been all possible. the way up there, around, and I was up there on that I appreciate roof. it. Good salad. Go back to fucking I'll Valentine's, sit on my uh, gun shop's doorstep, and just chill there. <laughs> um, would you better take her cuffs off? I don't think it's working for me. Let me give it a go. Thank you. Damn, if you guys just wanted to keep me cuff, you could have just said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Can I'm you sorry, move into the middle of the room for me? Shit. Uh, Jack, you got any luck on coughing or I'd... Cause I'm not on duty, that might play a factor. Should uncover, hopefully. There we Phew. go. Okay. Oof, thank goodness. Thank, thank you for your patience, ma'am. No, it's alright. Sorry about the disturbance. No, it's... And the, I'm sorry to hear that your stuff's been robbed. It's just, we've got to follow it oh, piece I by piece. I, if we did yeah, do yeah. that... 
we'd have more people complaining about us. I understand. On top of the already big pile. I assume those people in black anyway that wanted for much more than just fucking stealing my shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Possibly for shooting me as well. Uh, yeah. The other day. They're all in wearing black? Yep, all wearing black and a mask. Are uh, the kind of the hat with a little feather in it? Is anyone wearing that? Oh, I don't uh, know, kind actually. Of hat. I know there was a guy that had, like, he was a bit bigger. He had, like, a brown hair, kind of tan skin, maybe. Besides that, I don't know. Sorry. Was it long hair? It was kind of medium. So it was just kind of, like, slicked person. back, I think. Ah. Yeah. No, I think uh, so. No. That's all right. Anything I can do to help? <laughs> no, everyone's right, coming. Well, here. thank you. Apologies again. No worries, ma'am. Hopefully, I don't get no caught worries. up in shit again. <laughs> yeah, hey, Hammer. Thanks for the raid as well. I should have well, just clocked off in Blackwater. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hughes. I feel like I just walked in on that one. No, no, it's it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, from so from oh, my no, side, I, I come I, up I on the here. I come up on the pen at the stables, and there's here, a group of them. Hog tying and shooting, robbing people in front of it. I go help him once they clear out, because obviously I'm outnumbered. Then I, you know, we, we're trying to get medical attention inside. Then Woodman runs up, tells us he's just been robbed. Coming to town, we learn that the, the people that were robbing the people at the strawberry stables then getting robbed by a group in black and masks. Jesus Christ, these gangs are getting out of control. And they're all claiming they're, they're innocent. They're all claiming the right to do it because the other one started it, but no one knows who actually started it. That's, yeah, like, we've got to follow it, all the leads, but we've got literally nothing solid to, to clearly indicate who's in the wrong, who's in the right. It's fine, it looks like they're all wrong, but... Well, at that point, you just start slapping fans on people and just eventually hope it peters out, but... God, at this point, it's fucking terrible. I'd be surprised if you guys don't come down to New Austin for a holiday at this point. It's, and that's the other thing. We got these, like, it, imagine if Woodman and Jack and that hadn't been in the area. I was literally riding up out of duty to come uh, spend the night at the lodge. Like, how am I supposed to combat two gangs? How is any lawman supposed to combat two gangs? Oh, no, not at all. At that point, you may as well just sit down, because there's nothing you can do. There's not enough bullets in your guns that can save you from that situation. No. No, there's not. It's, just gotta, uh... Just gotta play it out. You just gotta let them, let them, uh, let them have their fun, get it out of their system. And I gotta listen to all their bullshit, like... Oh, my God. Oh, we dress like this because it's, a, it's an in-joke at the ranch. Oh, whoop de fucking do It's a fashion statement. There's a couple people I'm, I saw out in New Austin... They're wearing whatever fucking, whatever outfit they're wearing. It's like, what the hell are you wearing this for? One, it's terrible weather for it. You got a fur coat on. It's 30-something degrees outside. You insane? I'll pick your ass up from heat stroke. And fucking. And then they're like, oh, but it's a skin bear that my daddy got. It's like, T then leave it at home. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, there's always some bullshit excuse. And let the record show this, that Alexi... He's pretty oh, much waving in our Ooh. face. His little network of fucking gossipers. He's already got wind about, and there's already like rumors going around that they're trying to put out there that we force fed the governor a bunch of alcohol and all that. That's already reached him, and he's waving that in our face. He's They're who laughing the at us. Who the hell would have said that? Because I don't fucking know any of that. All I know, all right, this is what I know so far. So Miles asked me, just to run interference, right? That was it. So I saw the two women that worked for the, the governor ride out, and I went out with a couple of recruits to try to help them find the governor. We got people running, down, running everywhere down there. And, and all I know is that a couple of the oh, higher ups in the department had, to, had, had a quick well, meeting with the, the governor about official out. business, and that was it. I didn't know you guys shared drinks on this. Fucking hell, where was mine? Where's my shot out of all of Alexi, oh, we what? He's got flowers on the walls that come back to him? I don't, I don't know, but it, the, the only people involved was, yeah, a bunch of lawmen, uh, the, the governor's assistants, and a couple of doctors. Well, look. The only lead you can go on off that one, forgive me for stepping on, on to it, is the doctors then, but the doctors know that we're all on the same side here, because if the doctors can't be trusted, then we can't even call them out to situations. 
We got a whole limit gunpoint every time we one of us is down. Yeah. It's that it's that sharing relationship. If we if we can't trust each other, we can't trust ducks, we can't trust departments, it's just it's gonna end up fucking terribly. It's a fucking mess. It is fucking at this point I can't even trust my rangers. I asked them to sit down at the fucking Is that are they still there? Oh thank god. I asked them to sit out in front of the bank down there. I asked them to get a perimeter, they won't fucking wander off. I know they're recruits, but fuck, it's pretty simple just to keep it location. No, it's yeah, some some people can't even follow basic basic instructions and it's it's is there something in the water? Is it okay. is there something we're doing wrong? Uh, like, before before they leave, I guarantee they'll be able to follow an order. I appreciate that. Yeah, just you know, just you gotta be one hundred and ten percent sure that they're rock no, solid because we we can't have another Richard Gray on our hands. Yeah, I've heard rumors on that one. Look, I, Miles says he wants to move him off after a week. I'll talk to him. I'll see if we can keep him around for a bit longer. Let him at least spend some time down at Rangers. And then venture out like this every once in a while. Get used to the out other side. And then we can pass him off to you guys. So it's, I think that might be a better idea. It's a... is It's small hole, isn't it? No, uh, no, it's all suck, sir. Oh, so fuck me. God, I'm bad with names. I'm you, so sorry. No, I'm that's so fine, good with that's faces, fine. though. Well, I, sometimes. I'm just, no, uh, it's just, yeah, all the fundamentals, you know, how to arrest someone, how to send someone to Cisco, the penal code, yeah. um, you know, negotiations. It's all that. But then it's the principles of being a lawman, and it's the basic exactly. fucking principles like fucking do as you're told, respect, respect your fellow lawmen, respect the rank above you. Do your fucking exactly. job. And you're not, you're not here to make a fucking quick buck. You're here to fucking uphold the law. And if that ain't your fucking... If they don't, if they don't get you up in the morning, then get the fuck out. Well, look, at least at least they followed that one. There have been a couple of situations where I've had to deal with some of the high higher level criminals out there. And I've just told the rangers to take a walk. Because it's not, it's not going to be any good situation to get a recruit shot on their first day. No. No, I fucking uh, ran into those Hickey brothers. Out in uh, New Austin, you know, you fucking hell, there's a report for that. I'll, I'll, I'll I have to give you the number for it when I write it, but it's a fucking doozy. And then I ran into him again, uh, Valentine. And now there, they're fucking all of them, are like five, six of them. And that, uh, and that lady that's rolling around with them as well. That's they came, yeah. Oh, a or, sister? Uh, redhead? Yeah, yeah, Lady Hickey, they like to call her now. Oh, God. So it must be a sister or something like uh, that. A cousin, apparently. Fuck. It's fucking talk the fucking can, babysitter. Talk about can uh, not picking your family, right? So I end up with those, not just look at the rangers. Rangers take a walk because we're outnumbered. I'm not gonna if if anyone's gonna get shot, it's just gonna be me today. So I had a nice conversation. I believe they're in the business of uh, manufacturing and uh, drug dealing now. I have a feeling on that one because when I saw them out in New Austin, they were asking questions about the wells. Uh, those uh, those wells that dried up, that have those places hidden around in them. If you're not sure about it, I can explain a bit more later on. But ah, uh, uh, I have a feeling they might stop. Yeah, yeah, I, might, I have a gotcha. feeling they might stop manufacturing and uh, distribu distribution of uh, of drugs. That doesn't surprise me. What a mess. We just yeah, like look, we we just need we need the numbers in the east and the west so that we can appropriately have. A presence in you know multiple locations at the same time and then the numbers to combat these large groups because like i said they they're not always in you know the numbers they should be um yeah well uh, it makes it very difficult to know when when and not when and when not to engage when i finally finish writing down that report you're gonna find something interesting i reckon there's a few people pulling strings around county it's um, not just, uh, sorry, what was that call? I was going to say, uh, Shuba is here if you still wanted to get, uh, yeah. uh here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, let's hear it. I'll to get these rangers moving. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'll be certain to share that report number. So see if you guys can at least have a read of it. Thanks, Ozark. I pre it's no always well. fantastic seeing the rangers. And yeah, like I said, like, we are oh, very yes. desperate for numbers, but we can't have the numbers at the cost of oh, them. Of course. No one having all the pillars that make up a lawman. Exactly. You don't want half baked cookies, that's for sure. No, we need we need it done right. Exactly. Alright, look, I'll talk to Miles, I'll see if uh, we can switch it up, change it to uh 
when we feel they're ready and uh, they've had a bit of time actually venturing out here along with rangers and alongside you guys as well before actually handing them over all right uh, that might be a better idea I'd, I'll, I'll pitch it to miles and see if he's happy with it and obviously he can get back to you on that sounds good we appreciate it no worries at all sheriff harkness all right pleasure gentlemen so yeah well, it's a pleasure oh dear ah shuba all right so i was riding into town uh oh back behind the not the front side but the back side of the surgery right like between the surgery and the um the stables coming down that hill yeah and uh as i do down across the bridge i saw about four fellas running out in all black some of them doubled up on horses black horses too i don't know and they're getting out of town rather quick look a little suspicious so i rounded the surgery seeing if anyone and once you know it i see two folks hog tied up and one shot in the back and one of them was woodman there he was the one that was tied up not shot so cut everyone free tended to our friend in the bear mask do y'all do y'all know his name uh we sorry uh, the fella in the bear mask. Y'all know his name, I assume? Uh, there was Alexi and uh, Ellie. Mm -hmm. So Alexi was the one that was shot in the back. So I tended his wounds, and I got another alert that someone was shot up at the stable. So I sent Ellie. I was like, Ellie, can you... I didn't know her name. But I was like, ma'am, can you go uh, check that out and bring them down here? Yeah, that would have been me with Mark patient. and his friend and Woodman. Mm -hmm. So I sent her up there to bring down the patient, whoever that would be. And uh, that's when y'all rolled up. But uh, I don't know how that pertains to your investigation. It sounds like it might be something else. But in this case of today, they were victims. Well, not from, 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 like I came up from Blackwater. I'm about to pass by mm -hmm. the stables. I see, I hear gunshots outside the stables. So I quickly get off my horse. I hide behind the, I don't know, where the, <coughs> where the animals get shelter in the pen. I don't know what you fucking call it. And I see... Mm -hmm. About four, uh, four, uh, four people in black outfits with that that white bear mm. headpiece on. They're they're hog tying, they're robbing, they're shooting people outside the strawberry stables, and they're like throwing them around in the pan. They're gonna drag them around through the mud. That's that's what I saw. So it almost yeah. feels like to me, Alexi's group robbing people, and then their group then getting robbed by the the group all dressed in black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, if they somehow like it's just so much going on at once but but then you know everyone claims to be the fucking victim right right i'm just saying of what i saw they were the victims today well i there were i certainly saw a handful of victims at their hands as well <laughs> that, that that's fair so I'm make of that you what you job. will i saw that with my own two right. eyes and i got a couple of photos right right and like i said george i'm not telling you how to do your job I'm just giving a statement Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now we got that's what that's what that's what we do, you know. As lawmen, we you know we follow the laws, we uphold the laws of this country, right, right. and we give everyone a fair chance, and we listen to everything until we can finally put the jigsaw puzzle together. And that's really fucking hard to do. Sometimes, but we got yeah. but we got to fucking try. And uh, you mind if I pick your brain about something? Sure. I heard one of my doctors was in danger today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was. You think uh, she was a target of opportunity or something bigger. It's. It seems like they were wanting to grab her to get to me. Okay. They target uh of opportunity then. They uh, they hogtied the two of us at gunpoint, and they they kept exclaiming, "We've warned you, George. We've warned you, Hughes," and they were their only intention was to take, take her on the back of their horses and ride out God knows where. But I'm very, mm -hmm. very thankful that Woodman, Lily Summers, and Jeb were nearby to spook, to scare him off, or else I don't know what would have happened today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first question, are you okay? No, I'm not. Can you talk about it? I mean, not here in front of everyone, but... You yeah, if you got it. a minute. Always. But I've just tried to stay strong all through Taco Tuesday, because that's what the that's what the departments need right now. They desperately, they desperately just they need, need tacos. They just, they, they need, they need figureheads of the departments. You know, people to, people to have their back, and to hopefully make the right call. And I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to do that. But 
Yeah, I've been holding up these frustrations all day. So yeah, if you got a mm -hmm. man, I'd love love to have a chat. Absolutely. Right Let's now. make it a private one, not in front of yeah, all the boys. Yeah, no, it's alright. I just want to have a quick chat to Jack because then you don't believe I know who one of those ones who held up is. All right, yeah, but yeah, Bro, Harkness, Todd, uh, yeah. great work today, Colt. I'm to you, George. You probably know who he is too. He held you up. I've heard a number oh, of boy. things. I think you boys are on the right, right yeah, idea. Just, like, son, just, you, said, fellas, just all I ask of you is, is just to keep holding on until we get more oh, numbers. Well. Like Sled should be back soon. More yeah, in the east should be coming tomorrow. back. More recruits on the way. We just got to, we just got to hold on. I just got to ask everyone to hold the fuck on. Uh -oh. What's the saying? What's the saying? Hughes, uh, desperate times test the mantle of the man and the steel that he's made of. Oh, yeah. Very true. But yeah, yeah. You fellas, walk, you fellas, enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe, all right. Stay safe. All right. Cold, cold. Great work as always. You're doing oh, a fantastic I don't job. Know you're cold, but take care. Uh, thank you. Good day. All right, Shuba. I'll I'll grab the door. Oh, thank you, Cole. Look at that. Look at that. He's even getting the door on the way out. Uh, how about how about you come over here? Come come have a seat and talk to Schuber. Talk to Schuber. All right, it's time to do some acting. Yeah, I brought Matthias, the guy that was robbed. Oh, well, they can deal with that. It's time to do some acting, boys. All right. Talk to me, boss. What's? Ah, oh, Schuber. Oh, I might be too far away. Oh, so I am whispering. All right. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, I'm not good, Shuba. I'm not good at all. Okay. You know, we'd come down and we were told we were going to have a vote as to as to who was going to become the new West Sheriff. And then it's laid mm -hmm. on us that Wolf and I have been put in place, which I think a lot of people ain't happy with. And then a lot of low right. people getting getting chewed out by the by the governor and. Uh, you know, then they're expecting just everybody, you know, holding hands, fucking seeing Kumbaya get in line and mm -hmm. follow these two new sheriffs just out of fucking nowhere. And uh, then we're dealing with, you know, concerns he's got fucking Dottie, whatever her fucking last name is, working his mm -hmm. desk, handling all his fucking paperwork coming in and out of his office. We've got, we've got gangs all throughout the country. Riding around in big packs. Mm -hmm. We we can't get a fucking solid recruit in for weeks. We got a number of people on leave, and I ain't faulting that. But we just don't have the numbers. We we've barely got the numbers to have a strong presence in Blackwater, let alone send one out on patrol. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying real hard to to try and find the time to instill everything I learned when I. When I went through my training, that maybe some of these boys haven't heard, just to get them in the right frame of mind. But then we just we can't even get that opportunity because we've got we've got our backs against the wall. We've got everything against us, and then I can't even. And now it's at the point I can't even just stop to to have a safe conversation with my with my dear friend. With with now, with now it seems they're going to be. If they're not just targeting me, they're, targeting, they're going to be targeting lawmen and uh, kidnapping kidnapping those that are important to them to get to them. It's 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 disgusting. Well, let's unpack this a little bit. You talked about how you were put in this position and and the stress that that's put on you and how people are receiving that, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's really hard. Well, you also talked about you want to instill in these boys, you know, what it means to be a good lawman, right? Yeah. Well, what does that look like to you? What is being a good lawman? Well, you know, on the surface, it's, you know, respecting the lawman next to you. It's respecting the ranks mm -hmm. above you. You know, just following the orders, you know, taking pride in your appearance and how you how you handle people around the country but then it's also knowing when to be tough because we it's our duty to be upholding the laws of this country so that everyone could get it have their fair chance to live a safe and productive life 
without fear of being robbed or assaulted or God knows what. Mm. And so it's it's navigating a lot of difficult waters. So it's important that every lawman has has a degree of you know integrity and initiative and a whole lot of qualities that will allow them to handle all this shit. So, put those two things together. You know what it takes to mantle a sheriff or a lawman. And well, I, how I, to wear that. I, so I, leap sometimes I feel like those. I think I did. I don't know if I do anymore. Well, you think I, you fucked up somewhere? I don't know if I don't know if anything we're doing is working. Gangs are getting out of control, and people are wondering why aren't you dealing with this? Why aren't you dealing with that? We. Mm -hmm. Unless we're in the unless we're around, we can't find them, and then where we are around, we don't have the numbers to deal with it. How how's how's just two of us supposed to talk down a group of like six, and then like tonight, you know, we're coming across two get two groups dealing with each other. How are we supposed to then get in the middle of that and walk away with our lives? You're familiar with the word triage, ain't you? Oh. Not really. Eh, well, triage is where we get up to a scene and we see six people who are shot at the same time, right? Six. Six. It's just an arbitrary number. More, more than a handful. And we assess them one by one to see who we can tend to first and who is in the most dire need. Now, part of that job is we might find someone who's too long gone and we could put an hour's worth of work into them and not save them. But at the same time, we might assess three other people that if we put that same hour into them, we could save those three. Uh, you, you, you just prioritize it. Exactly. So as you're looking at the problems of the county, of these gangs and what they're doing and what tools you have on hand, triage it what can you take action against what can you save oh well i'm looking at it like i need to be i need to be sitting down with each of the current lawmen and mm. finding out what it is what's going through their heads get right. into their heads where i'm coming from with the, the what i believe is the pillars of the average productive lawman right so that then when the new recruits come in it's a matter of them passing it on to them and so on and so forth. Because yeah. a lot of these things we can't tackle without the numbers. So a bit of it is the waiting game. So ideally, I would love to be preparing all these boys so that they can deal with that in due time. But it's we we got Taco Tuesday nonsense and this and that. And we just we don't even get the time to. It's hard to get a hold of everybody and just sit down and. Discuss it without hearing that there's someone handing out poison up in Wapiti. Oh. So then we're huh. running across the country, and then we run into this, run into that. And the whole ship's gone by, and I can't even can't even find the find an opportune time to sit down with one of the boys and just ask, how are you? Yeah. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Uh, okay. Do you know what the part who the or I'm gonna go back to my triage analogy here, all right? Do you know who the first person you tend to in a triage situation? I uh, imagine Imagine the person that's in the most pain, closest to death's door. In a medic yeah. you mean in a medical sense? Yeah, yeah, in a medical sense. Uh, I guess I look at it like that. You know, if there's someone with a sprained ankle, they can wait while the person that's, you know, blood on the outside probably needs attention first. Nah, that, that, a lot of people think that, but the first person you tend to is yourself. Because if you ain't taking care of yourself, you don't have your tools available, you don't have your mind in the right place there ain't no way you're going to be helping someone else so as you look to the inspire these boys you first gotta 
take care of yourself, put your mind in the right place, and they'll fall right in line behind you. Show them by example. Strong leader is one that's confident, not one that leads with an iron fist, one that knows himself in and out, knows that can get the job done. And I ain't doubting your skills. I think you can do it. I'm just trying to throw into the mix what I can while I've, this opportunity has been laid at my feet. But then there's another part of me that I'm I'm looking forward to that next vault. And if someone else gets it, mm -hmm. power to them. Right. But this is the cards you have now, not then. Yeah. So I just got to keep at it until that vote comes around. Mm -hmm. But you know you can do this, right? I guess. A lot of people say they a, they see that in me, but it's just yeah, I just need more tools. Need more need more men. Yeah. Just need a bit more time. Just need to go to bed. <laughs> Triage your problems. Find what you can take care of. What do you have the numbers for? Yeah, maybe you can't put it, stamp out a gang or a posse or something. You sure as hell save a hostage in a bank robbery. Yeah, a lot of the time that's that's our main priority. Is a you know it's a bonus if we can catch any of them on the ride out. But the main thing is that making sure that everybody that's had their day interrupted gets to go back. Go back to normal life as soon as it's done without any, any, any issue. Mm -hmm. I can't bear the thought of seeing a hostage get, get shot. Yeah. I hope I never, hope that never happens. I don't think I, it just, that would tell me that we failed. Not necessarily. When I pull a bullet out of someone, I do everything I can, pumping them full of saline and stitching them back together. And they die on my table. Did I fail? Well, I've, I've heard... Yeah, I've heard of the incidents lately with like people like Jeb and the people that have been treating the people that he's dealt with. And mm -hmm. from, from my point of view, yeah, you've done everything you can. It's just... Dealt, dealt a bad hand. You just don't have that card in your deck. And you can't help that. You've got all the... Exactly. You've done everything else you can, but it's just this one piece missing. And it's no fault of yours. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. <laughs> well, listen to yourself right now. Yeah. We both work in professions that deal with one element that crosses over between them. Do you know what that is? People. Exactly. It's people. And people are chaotic, yeah. unpredictable. That They're, they are. Uh -huh. People are Selfish. ridiculous. Yeah. People are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, are they? You got to explain like to them why, why it's... Why it's dangerous to be speeding, like riding a wagon through town, full pelt. They they don't, they don't care if they. They're not thinking about the other person. They're not thinking that someone could step out, and uh, lose their life just because you were in too much of a rush to get somewhere. They a lot of people they don't think about the other person. They don't. They just don't care. They don't think about that baby pram that got out of the the maid's hand and is rolling across the street to St. Denis, right? That's right. Everyone's just, they're in it for themselves. Light night down there. And it's just, you know, this is like, we why did we, why, why did we go to all this trouble of, you know, we gained our independence. Mm. We fought for the rights of people that needed more rights. Looking after people, trying to trying to build a, a better place 
where everyone doesn't have to worry about fucking some some place across the seas taxing you and dis and taking you for granted or or people that are being judged for things out of their control made to work for someone else but then now they can't even walk down the street safely it's like it's pissing in the wind again everything we've tried to we've tried to achieve in this country oh fucking hell i'm gonna go to bed do you know why ah! i don't mind pulling bullets out of criminals so you can put them back in <laughs> No. Whoopsie daisy. Because I firmly believe that there are some people out there that just need a little kindness in their life. Where are these people, Shuba? I'd love to meet I, them. You know, when I find them, I'll tell you. But it's just something in my core that believes that, you know, they might have robbed that bank one day, but me talking to them and helping them maybe they see hey i don't have to do this anymore there's another path see the problem is i've tried i've tried just talking to these people i've tried to just yeah. explain it in a civil way that the things they're doing is wrong for multiple reasons and the effects it has and where we're coming from with it they they just they're not willing to listen they don't care yeah But that's why we try again and again and again. That's what separates us from them. And one of the many things, but our investment in other people is what our character is. I just wonder how many times we're supposed to try before we, you know, because then that's... Yeah. In some, in, a, in some sick way, that's that's then that's a problem solved. That, you know, you take away, you know, if someone's sick, you take away the sickness. Look, I wouldn't really be losing too much sleep getting rid of some of these people that plague our society. Yeah, but I'm not the the judge or jury that's going to make that call. And until I am, which God help me, I don't ever want to be. I'm going to choose to be kind. I just... I've tried being kind with these... with these mobs. Mm-hmm. And it ain't... it ain't got me nowhere. Well, kindness doesn't mean you're weak. You don't have to be gentle on them. But kindness is understanding once you have them kicked to the ground that you stop kicking. You offer them a hand. I guess. But I don't know if kindness is going to stop... Stop scum from kidnapping my friends. I don't know. I mean, pond scum always seems to regrow. Different color, different flavor. Oh, yuck. <laughs> you never had pond scum tea? No? Should I have? Neither. No, neither have I. That's nasty. <gasps> but I firmly believe we should invest in people. And that's why we do the job that we do. I signed up. I signed up for the law department because I saw firsthand when I was younger just how out of hand people in the wrong mindset can get. And I've seen I've seen firsthand what can happen to innocent mm -hmm. people caught in that. Mm -hmm. And when I joined up, I had every intent on doing everything I can to ensure that doesn't happen to anyone else if it's if possible. that's the ethical question then you said you want to make sure that doesn't happen to anyone else what happens if it happens to someone you don't like <sighs> do they have it coming mm -hmm. 
<laughs> how how firm are you in that standpoint? And there's not necessarily an answer to it until you're in the situation. But if you knew a fella robbed someone else and they themselves got robbed, would you give them the same treatment you'd give any other victim or would you treat them differently? Hmm. Well, I suppose this is an in strawberry tonight shows my standpoint on that. I felt mm -hmm. like I felt like this group in the the white bear hats are full of shit. And I clearly saw them robbing people, which is wrong. Right, right. But but then as well, it's wrong that they were robbed as well. Just be nice is someone along the chain fucking owned up to it and put a stop to it. Instead of this fucking eye for an eye bullshit. Mm hmm. But in a sense, <gasps> isn't that the same thing that some sheriffs do? <sighs> well, I could have just. We could have easily just find them all, confiscated everyone's weapons. But no, we listened to each every each and every one of them that we could. Even though we feel like they're full of shit. We gave them the chance to give their side. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm getting at here is that our jobs ain't easy. And I can't imagine the pressure you're under right now. But at the end of the day, how we conduct ourselves, how we stand by our morals, defines us as both men and for you, a lawman. Yeah. And that's what those boys need. They need a pillar that they can look to and be inspired by. And that means encouraging them when they are when they're down it means correcting them with a firm hand but a gentle touch when they're wrong and you lay that foundation brick by brick to make a better department than the way you found it i'm trying i'm i'm trying that as best i can i know it and i know you have the capability to do this thank you shuba yeah let me go. <laughs> Just don't go chasing a bottle over it. I've seen men waste away doing that. No, I, I'm steering clear of the drink. I, I, I had one. I had just one tonight, though. Just well, one's one's fine. We were, we were getting together, a bunch of law leadership and the governor, just to. You know, a bit of bonding, as they say, and just have a, you know, just clear the air about some things. And, you know, we, we had, we shared a drink and then we can't even do that because now it's words getting around country somehow really quickly that, you know, they're, they're spinning it that we forced the governor to drink excess amounts and that when it was all just, it was all just offered. He, he could have just stayed, stayed, stayed his feet and said no. Yeah. Would you believe I've I've heard that since like I wrote in maybe 20 minutes before you got there, maybe 10. And I had already heard that as well. How? How did it, how did it get to you? It doesn't matter. Can't say anything what? in this county. Nope, word travels faster than fire. Ah! You're going to be all right, Hughes. I'll be better after a good night's sleep. Which was, yeah. which was why I was coming up to Strawberry in the first place. I enjoyed staying at the tavern. or well, the lodge, whatever you want to call it. The peace and quiet out here. Mountain air. Mm -hmm. And I ran into all that. I you should have had chamomile tea? Can't say I have. Get you some. It'll help you sleep. That'd be nice. Can't can't do much without a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Anytime you need to talk, you find me. All right. I will. Will do, Shuba. Appreciate that. <laughs> all, all right. right. 
If you could just make sure I get to the the lodge safely. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll hold your hand. We can skip down. How about that? That'd be that'd be amazing. <laughs> like, oh, who's that silver fox? Uses holding hands with. <laughs> oh dear. All right. I know. It's just around the corner. It's literally right around this rock. Literally, but you never I know. But I get to. I get Sometimes to. I can't go ten feet without people. Oh, sheriff! I got to tell you about this. My cat stuck <laughs> up in a tree. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, Hughes. Thank you, Shuba. I really appreciate you. Anytime. All right. I'll see you later this week. Yeah. Take care. See you, partner. <laughs> what battle tanker? Hughes gets the good bed. A choo choo train. God damn it. Ugh. Hey, we, ma we made it onto the bed this time.